zero. And you are live with Nick. I'm pretty sure they were live the whole time through your countdown. <laughs> and when, and when you press that replay button. <laughs> I didn't press the replay and button. And when you press the replay button. Oh. There we go, here's the Northumbria Kings B roster. Anything to talk about in there, Nick? Well, yeah, number 52 and number 75 have both got COVID, so they're not here. <laughs> Brilliant. Thought I'd do you a favour and not bring them. Brilliant, that's probably a good idea. Um, aside from that, happy go lucky team. You got only got one, one Durham player in your team? Uh, no, two. Two? Is Jess, that? Jess, 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 Jess. Yeah. Um, but no, um, a lot of angels in there. Probably pretty yeah. tired from this morning. Um, but no. Intrigued to see what uh, what they're going to bring. Excellent. And here's the Kent's roster. Any comment on these, Nick? Um, from memory, yesterday, uh, number 63, Jones, ran the show. Jones. Um, looking forward to see it again. But um, Kent, uh, been around for quite a while, some of the names on this list. Uh, intrigued to see what they can do. But this is the battle for second and third in this division. And if, if, you, if you press the uh, primary Ooh. bug... You know, what do you put the game summary up for? It's got the wrong stats on it. Press primary and bug. There we yeah, go. Yeah, I know that one works. That's why it's what game summary did. What does the comedy book game, do? Game summary, obviously, is post-game because it's the yeah. summary of the game. Yeah, I just wanted to see if it was What does the that? comedy button do? That's the same as just Nick. Replay. Same as Nick, but it categorises it differently. Oh. Puts it in a very special folder. 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 Oh, Dave, Dave's, Dave's off to the penalty box. Oh, taking his, his he's, he's just making use of it. He won't be there next weekend, so... <laughs> And we're off. And off go Kent. Number 63. Already got someone po posted out right in front of the net. Yeah, seems like a good tactic. Chance comes out round to the point. No one's marking this point. Oh! And shoots and scores. Goal number one. 28 seconds into the game. On the replay. I'm just going to remind you, Rob, of a statement that I made off camera to you a little while ago that the King's position is fairly secure in third in this division. Oh, um, depending on two things. Good save. Um, yeah, depending on two things. Um, the first one being that Sheffield don't beat Manchester, the second one being that the Kings don't lose by more than nine. Uh, less than a minute into the game, it's already two, so. <coughs> um. Anyway, um, two down. Maybe the worst start of any team so far this weekend. Yeah, I think that could be the case, but still got plenty of the game to go. There's Sara Lati from Lati. That was mentioned during your game. Dixon. Picked up. Here's the danger man. 63, inside, outside, back oh, big save excellent. by Jack Anthony. Pads that one away. Neither did the goalie. It's fine. That's rimmed around. There's enough one-sided conversations. Lauren this Saville. So Dean about Waitman. It. Gives that one a big wave or does it waves by? Dixon. Can't get it out of his feet. Oh, Dean Waitman pokes that away. Delayed offside. It's almost nearly in the net. Not the fastest change. Here's Sky Owen, scorer of a goal early. A little ramp shot in off the uh, in off the goalie stick. It seems like such a long time ago. Oh no, an eternity ago. Who's this? Number eleven. Lenny Charles. Or Leone Charles even. <laughs> yep, uh, just confirming there with Joe that Roberto Carlos does play for Sheffield women's uh, women's team uh, with some of the shooting that we saw earlier in one game in particular. Um, uh, the, the, the memory of old school lives on. 
Um, I'm more, I would be more impressed if they actually picked a fresher each year to wear his equipment. <laughs> Harris, nudges that one forward. Here's Joe Muir, the Centurion. That's due to his number of caps, not because he's a daily profession. Uh, he doesn't man Hadrian's wall. Uh, he has a woolly one. Have you uh, not heard the new uh, yeah. the new system, Joe, where they get different coloured, like, is it the logos that change, mm -hmm. depending on how many caps you get? For the, yeah, for the yeah. Kings, if you get a silver, if you get 50 caps, I believe you get a silver logo. Yeah. Is that right? Is it 100? Get Chaps gold? out in front, yeah, 100 for gold. On the front, no, on the front of the uh, hat, the woolly hat. Yes, yeah. yes, you do. I like it. A, a pri a, example being the one on the bench. Look at the bench. The woolly hat. <laughs> but no, I mean, in terms of like the he's badge, got, the badge on vision, the hat. But <laughs> <laughs> Can you see the logo on said hat, Joe? <laughs> How good are your eyes? <laughs> and uh, uh, Joe's what? still not size, on the size, stream. Size 72 Helvetica, is it by any chance? <laughs> so here we go, we've got the uh, Kings trying to get themselves back into this game. They're holding their own a bit more now. Opportunity. It was Dixon tracking back. Dixon again. I think Joe needs to take a trip downstairs because he's full of. Uh, 97, of who's this? Oh, Imri! Oh! Nearly swaps it out of midair. Yeah, I think Joe needs to take a trip downstairs because he's. Uh, Definitely, if you can see that uh, see that font on his laptop that literally Rob is about this big, uh, he could definitely see that cap from here. Hat, cap. He'd probably be able to distinguish which it is. And you're looking through netting as well, which doesn't help. Don't give him excuses. So do you uh, is, say Imre? Is that because his second name is difficult to pronounce? Like you have a go. I don't really would like to because I've been butchering people. Said people were telling me um, how to say Bilic on the um, on the feed. <laughs> yeah, no, that's how I said on the feed. <laughs> they spelled it out phonetically for me. It was lovely. I'm not complaining. Hey, look, the, these players, Imre and Kathleen, whatever they were, whatever their Cesar names are, is completely up to them. No. Is, is it Silent Z or Silent S? I don't know. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Interesting formation the Kings were lining up with there. It was like shotgun. Yeah. It was the shotgun and then it turned to a nickel. I know these terms. I have no idea what they are. I love the eye. The eye. The eye is great. Here's Joe Muir. It's good for a running play. Still can't control that. Uh, here's Bingham. Big, big, bad Dom Bingham. Great defensive play. That's years of playing Madden that tells me that, Joe. <laughs> yep. Let's Harris. just drill it down the middle and take a few yards. <laughs> Dixon. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's get the back camera of that one, please. How long does this sit on the line for? Let's hope I press the right one this time. Yes. Whoop! Oh. Oh, 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 you want that, do you? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> He's not allowed to cover that puck. <laughs> yeah, Joe, Joe's do. coming back finally. I don't know why he ever left. He had to turn it off because Dave sometimes takes over. Yeah, just don't show Dave where that button is. Because <laughs> it's the same button to talk to normally. <laughs> Face off in the King's End. Are you, have you got anything on the, on the, on the live chat? On the live chat. Live chat going? We got, um, I think Dom is a bit hungover. Let's go Kings. Kieran is my dad. Apparently Dom's a defensive rock. Yeah, certainly Dom Bingham not going to the uh, Nathan Dove School of Defence. Oh! 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 Not 
not sure the celly was needed, but it was a nice finish. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Hat trick goal. Hat trick goal. Mm -hmm. a, a, a natural hat trick, as Rambo natural would would yes. would be the only person in the building to inform anybody of. I might have to announce that now. Oh, please do. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Wait till they're about to shoot, though. Yes, that, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Boo! Why didn't announce it? Oh, Timber! Oh. Lauren Savile's down in the corner. Waitman, he can't find the puck either. I think that puck's glued to the floor. <laughs> That's what the comedy board's for, and the fall <laughs> afterwards, and the second oh, fall. And again. We'll see if we got that. Off speed shot, paddled away, chance out in front. Gonna go all the way up the ice. This guy looks like a seasoned professional. Dixon. Oh. Christine Dixon. Oh, he's a, a staff member at North Kent College. Fake shot. Well oh. defended. Well defended by Cali. Dixon. Dixon, covered by Jack Anthony just about. Play last, let's see if we get the comedy one right. No. Oh no, it's just the goal. We pressed comedy, but it didn't, it's just on the last goal. <laughs> Don't know what he's saying. Back in front. Interesting Fisher. defensive play. Oh, he's dropped the gloves. Oh, not quite as exciting as we were hoping for, but. That's a lovely little breakout pass there. He goes, winding it up. Goes past two. Three. No, not, not, not quite. quite, not quite, not, not quite. quite. Big save. Yes, Rob. Rob's there on the buttons. Good save, good save. Roberto Del Granto. All I can say right here, right now, is Northumbria Kings look like a team that is playing that desperately doesn't want to be in the plate. <laughs> I mean, there's merits to being in the, uh, in the other half of the draw. Oh. But that's why we do this this time, and I quite like it, and all the feedback's been quite positive. Imre tries to play that cross, it's not going there. We've got anything on the chat? For those people who were uh, only joining the stream this weekend and didn't join it last weekend, the format of the Nationals has changed slightly, so that at the end of the group stage, the two, the tier splits off into two. It, oh, oh, Imre, what a takeaway. Oh, nice play. Here's Waitman. He's got Imre going back post. That's it, Aaron Cross. <laughs> He's looking for the header, I think. Not even Peter Crouch would have got that one. We've done, uh, done NFL, we're down to football. Another Joe Muir penalty this game. It says, Yuan Kim Jong. There's Cali off the boards. Don Bingham in pursuit. Gets in there. Good stick work, good stick work. Oh, nearly a nice little inside-outside turn. Oh. oh, lovely. Here we go, though. One on two. Oh, next. Here's Calantha. Must be tired. Oh, nice move. Straight up the middle, though. Just gets poke checked. Charlie Johnson, score of a first ever goal earlier after video review. Thanks, guys. Did we, um, did we actually video review something? don't seem to know where to line up for the Vizzle. Seven minutes remaining in this uh, first game of the non-checking one second day. Kent need approximately uh, another six goals to really ruin the day. Oh, That's going to help. 
chance. Down to the back door. Good work by Joe Muir. Spoons that one out of the zone. Oh, Dixon mishandles it. Now you got Harrison Johnson in pursuit. Trivial pursuit. Johnson gets in there. There's three Kent players who are just giving it to each other. Kieran Jones, captain of the day. That's not going to work though. Here's Saralati. Oh, I oh, just can't get through that little gap. Have, have we used all the coffee puns? Yes. Yes, we have. It somehow yesterday ended up someone talking about green lattes, and I didn't really get where oh, that was. Oh, that one hit uh, Joe Muir in the face. Nice to see the Steel Queens posing with the trophy down there. Oh, 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 oh where's it oh, going? Oh, what's going oh, on? Oh. Good pass, Joe Muir. Shoots. Good old spaghetti wrists. <laughs> What happens when you use a stick that's got like 45 flex? <laughs> Jones? That, is that 45 flex after he's cut it down as opposed to before he's cut it down? Yeah. Dixon. Let's just say the um, that stick has the rigidity of a rubber band. Oh, that's Sarah Marty seems to. Setting up a camp under there. Oh, the, the Jones isn't looking very happy. Oh, and he's beat two. Ah, he beat, he beat Wakeman again. <laughs> Boom! Oh! oh, Boom indeed. Wonder if he's screened here. If not, this is certainly the furthest out we've had a goal this weekend. Wow. Absolutely rips this wow. one. Here's Imre. He's trying to try the same trick. Not quite going to work. It's Waitman. Oh! Here's Imre. A chance of a wraparound. The Savile in front. And Waitman, big backhand, it's over the net. Still there. Chance isn't over yet. Kept in by Bingham. Shoots. Ooh, I could have gone anywhere. It's not in the goal, though. Kalantha, good play. Imre, fans of the puck. I thought she had an excellent tournament for the Angels. Mm -hmm. Been a very good addition and will be sorely missed next year. Next year, one and done. Yep, unfortunately so. Here's Don Bingham. Dixon just provides a minimal amount of interference. Bingham digging in the corner. It's all right, you know as well as I do, Rob. You go in the corner and wait the beer, you might not come out. <laughs> oh, because the ice acts like quicksand, sucks you in. That or it throws you out of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Going too slow, you get stuck. Going too fast, you get out. <laughs> It's the quick exit. Here's Imre. Got players lining up in the middle. Nice assist if this goes ooh, ooh. right in the coupon. Almost. No, not, not quite, quite, but there's a breakaway going the other way. Clean in. Shoots. Big save. save. Got no idea where it is. Oh. Rebound falls on Jack Anthony. Let's have a look at that last replay from down the, uh, the Northumbria opportunity. Back down into the game. Face off in the Northumbria King Zone. Oh. What was it? Take on his own players now. I, I thought that was quite funny because the guy, the, the superstar, wanted to keep hold of the puck and was going to take it out of the zone to do this. Yeah. Whereas his teammate kept it in the zone to keep the play going and he got upset with the guy who kept the play going because he wanted to do coast to coast on his own. It's not as much fun when the highlight reel doesn't last for 30 seconds, so. <laughs> Here he goes. Good work by Sarah Lati. Oh, Charlie Kieran Johnson, Jones. that's definitely a trip, but Kieran whoa. Jones. Oh, good defensive play there. Just 
took it off the stick. And let it. To be fair, I'm going to make a very controversial comment here. This guy on this near side, 63 for Kent, as good of a player he is, his attitude absolutely stinks. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I think that... Um, what is that? He's, he's, do, he's, he's all the shots. When he gets the puck, he skates it in. He's all on his own. There's no pass. Are, you, are you on the feed here now, Joe? Yeah, I'm on oh, the feed. Cool. He skates. He picks the puck up in the centre ice. He, he's in the, he was in the attacking zone. He wanted to take it out to skate full ice back to his own net to skate full ice down Ooh. there again. Ooh! See, look, no one wants to celebrate with you. Yeah, it's just not cool. Hashtag, hashtag team player. Someone's put Joe's old man wrists have got no power behind them. Someone says put uh, put him into a checking game and see how he does. Who's that? Um, who said that? Or are they talking about? Uh, they're talking about Kieran Jones. Someone called Dovey94. Well, Nathan, you're not going to hit him. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. Here we go again. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> Watch that blue light, my friend. <laughs> High stake. Biggest cheer of the day, <laughs> of the weekend. I don't even care that there's a penalty incoming. That oh. was, I can't replay that last one because it was comedy. I don't even I don't even care that that's, it's 5-0. I don't even care that he scored all five goals. There's 25 seconds left. And he trips over the blue line. You know what? I think he fell over the hot dog on the blue line. Someone's put... Nathan Dove will sort will short him out. Game, 5-0. Yep. Does that uh, confirm the Kings into third place, were you saying, Nick? No, uh, all depends on, on this, this game. final game, yep. So if Manchester win, that's Kings in third. But someone's going to have to beat this Manchester goalie with a stick in his sleep. Mm. I think that's the only way you're getting past him. Tom McDonald. Bombay. Yeah, Bombay, as his nickname is. But no, I think uh, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to hand over. Oh, seems like DB has not learned tipping rules. He's on about Dom. Dom Bingham. Uh, yeah, Matthias. Uh, yeah. Dom loves his trip to the penalty box. So this next game um, sees us unlucky kings. Well played, Kent Knights. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of Rob. And we're going to be joined by... Oh, oh, there's a... Oh. I don't know who that is, but it's took quite a spill. Is it a Kings? Uh, don't believe so. <laughs> I think it's the Kent coach. Oh. Anyway, hey, so I'm going to leave you. Good to see you, Nick. Yep, well, see, you uh, again see you soon. Bye bye. Oh, you could talk about how awful it is, and I can get your opinion, Mac, on uh, what do you think to the 05 rather than just the 5 on the it's jersey? Not oh, there's, there's an 05, and last week there was an 09 and an 07. To be fair, I give them a break because they used to have over 100 members. And that's where they have to double up on numbers. That yeah, is, but that they don't is. now. They don't now, but historically, that's where they used to do it. So or, if or it's still if a disgrace. Or, or if one's an A-teamer and one's an E-teamer, unless they it's do. nationals, they're never going to play on the same team. So I, I, I'm pretty sure... Or if oh, you have 110, then it, you can't do you that can't, anymore. You can't have 110. No, but what I'm saying is, you, what, in your club... Well, that's what I'm saying, Joe, right? If what Mac was saying was that they could have the 05 because they had over 100 members, so they had every you're number not, taken. You're not allowed 05. Well, yeah. Double IHF rules, you're not allowed a zero. Yeah, but it's still illegal, Mac. You're a referee. Read the rules. Read the rules. Oh, Joe, you missed yesterday. I don't need to know the rules. I'm a ref. <laughs> Mac laid the smackdown on somebody yesterday for not wearing shoulder pads, and he quoted the, the line and page from the rule book to them. 
after speaking he's to Miller. He's the new, he's the new Andrew Miller. Miller. I, I went and got the, the, the num line and thing from Miller, though. Yeah, I was, oh, sat, here we go. I, I was sat next to him as we did the discussion on where said, <laughs> what said rule was. Um, oh, here we go. Metros are missing a player whose car's broke down on the M6, so Nathan Kane is not here for anyone oh. doing stats. Well, <laughs> that's not going to get changed. You'll still be registered as playing this game. You hit submitted on the roster, that's what happens. <laughs> So let's bring up the next rosters, see what's going on. Had a nice chat with uh, with Bombay, for those people who aren't in the know there. Tom McDonald in the goal for Manchester Metro Stars. He's a staff member at Liverpool, Liverpool University is now, in yeah. the chemistry department. And he was telling me yesterday how Liverpool have the second best rated chemistry department in the country. He's very proud what, of a claim, what a claim to fame that is. <laughs> what a great fact that was. But, you know, he also said that he was really impressed with the standard that have, uh, has been played in this uh, Tier 1 non-checking tournament. Can I just make a joke before we move on? Yeah. It was, tier, it was the top rate before Tom tried. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Um, yeah, I mean, we. I have spoke to the Hapgoods, who everyone... <laughs> Sorry, I've you just not seen, seen Max Springer's oh, roster picture. <laughs> wait till you see Luke Watson's next. If you, if, wait till you see Luke Watson's next week for the A oh team. Oh um, That's what we're talking about. Um, Tom McDonald, this uh, being uh, this is Richard Wang. Oh yeah, the the, the 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 standard. Yeah, I was speaking to the Hapgoods about it yesterday. Well, they were texting me about it um, in between the abuse they were giving me for my camera work. <laughs> and um, shot and goal. Um, you're not used we, to this new set No, you've got a stream it. deck. It's, it's, it's very confusing for people of my age. Yeah. Home chance. People of your age? <laughs> <laughs> he came to me yesterday, You're the John. youngest person up here. John, I am not. Philip has sat at the end. <laughs> oh, well. Philip was hiding there. He came to me yesterday, John said. It's a bit weird when you don't know anybody anymore, isn't it? So we, we, we went out for an hour. Was, that was seven years ago we, for me. We all, we all know who you are, though, man. <laughs> <laughs> we went out for an hour yesterday, sat in the pub, and we're like, we don't know anyone, let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> I spent more on taxis going to and from town than I did in town. <laughs> so, that, so that's why you made sure you did that uh, body armor penalty, just so you... you Springy Hughes! Get Ruskin the fame Jimmy back. Rubble. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about safety with me. Is, is Andy your idol, then? I mean, I know, I know you were quite vocal against Andy over the years, and now... He's on the stream. Oh, people can hear him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you seem to be his little protege, I've got to say. I mean, it's the right turnaround. I was never vocal against Andy. I just fought people's corners, as was my job. But th and those people beat anyone against Andy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. This is Robert Harris taking it in the zone. Oh, I remember what I was saying now. Yeah, the standard of the top teams here is ridiculously high for the level. This, I thought we got shafted a few years playing with... Imperial A and Gus Zimmerman playing in our league, but with this, the Oxford, Nottingham, and uh, Glasgow teams, I mean, even at our best, I'm not sure we'd have had much of a chance. Well, I, was, I was saying this yesterday as well. I think that it's, um, you look at the standard of tier one non checking now, in com conversely, the contraction of division two checking. So, yeah. as that's contracted, obviously some teams have come down, and some of that's, oh, that's to do with not knowing who's two. Great call, Tom. I don't know who that guy is, 44, but you've got the call, so. Yeah, that was, that was very um, very demonstrative as he lay on the floor with his hands <laughs> in the air. This referee has the loudest voice out of all the referees. Tom Barrett. Yeah. See? <laughs> you've got the cans on, you can still hear him loud as day. <laughs> nice and clear. <laughs> oh, Tom. You're going to have to try and beat that next time. No, no. <laughs> Cleared out by the Bears. Go! Oh, I thought it was a goal. Great shot and goal there. That was a home chance. Home chance. Play, Play last. last. You have to give it a couple of seconds before you press it. Because otherwise, otherwise it's too early. Too far, yeah. <laughs> um, and if the score bug doesn't come back on, you've got to press that one. Right. I'll be honest, you're teaching me all this, but I'm probably just going to sit and watch this game with you yeah, and then go and Yeah, no, it. but you know, if you come back, it's all right. If I come back? Yeah, you know, if they make it through How, to the next wh stage. What's just happened that a Bears player was on the blue line for Massive a face-off? Massive offside face-off. Okay, that's fine. Just as long as I'm not seeing things. 
Did you enjoy my, our refereeing in the, the women's final? We did say, we commented on how we believe it's the first time we've ever had a married couple officiate a BUIHA final. I, uh, I thought the final was quite specific. I mean, I, I don't know how many games you've ref period as a, as a couple. Oh, loads. All we BUIHA? Did, yeah, we've done, we did all, we basically did all of Metro's at home so it's like all a, year. it's a family day out? <laughs> family day out a day? It doesn't start <laughs> half past 11 at night. <laughs> Do you ever uh, argue over calls? We have disagreements. We had a, dis we had a disagreement this morning. I'm not going to mention it, but oh, fully got really? it wrong. Which, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> He's brave saying that, which you can't hear him. Yeah, <laughs> you, can watch, you can watch the live stream back. We'll ask her. We'll ask her when she walks back uh, over Springer! Oh, Springer! He has scored Never. at Nationals, you know. He has scored at Nationals. <laughs> no, yeah, but you're never going to live down the mist, though. No, yeah, no. no. <laughs> no. You, could, you could literally hot dog it and score 200 goals this weekend. We only ever remember him for one goal <laughs> attempt. <laughs> and that was before he could skate as well. Let's bring it Hughes. Ruskin's younger brother. People have been commenting on the fact that um, that's, all, that's all that you say. Which reminds me, if you commentate next week and Ruskin's playing, you have to refer to him as um, Yannick's older brother every time. Sad time. I'm not going to be here next week. No, me neither. I'm doing, I'm doing real hockey. <laughs> Family things. No. Doing real hockey, you say? Where are you next weekend? I am doing the uh, NHL 2 playoff final, so I say real hockey. Mm. It's good fun, though. I really enjoy it. Good, good group. <laughs> Alex Fruin has just messaged me to say Tom McDonald gets gets called out for being um, old. No, for being part of the second best carriage department. And then I and we get to the first married couple in the BUIJ final. <laughs> Not quite the same level of start. I don't know which one's better. I don't know. Alice and Roy must have done a final. Yeah, but were they married, were they at, the married at the time? Were they married at the time, yeah. Well, when did they get married? No, but then... Like, yeah, but we've had three years of no nationals. Yeah. Yeah, but when did they get married? They've been married... Four from years ago. Oh, then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe not then. I said Roy did give it up for a little bit. He's back though, they, they yeah. roped him in because there's not enough of us. He was a linesman for Philly. Nice. That's offside shot. They're still offside. No, nope, kill it. No, did you like our offside shot call before? Very good. I was very, I was very pleased with that. Is he still assessing when he's on the line as well? <laughs> Roy's always assessing. <laughs> so if, so we'll, go, we'll talk about the hockey here. But if Metros win this, they'll be top of their group undefeated won every game yeah which is unheard of uh, no we've done it before we just normally lose in the final to an a team don't start <laughs> it's st it still hurts I, I love the fact that max channeling his inner sheffield bear by going an a team it's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is an a team we lost to imperial it doesn't matter you don't have to have a checking team yeah but imperial they had gus oh. zimmerman playing yeah but if, if, if that's the team is available to him and he wants to play non-checking. He doesn't, he doesn't have to play checking. He wasn't a league player at the time either. He is now, though, right? He's played at Lee Valley, I think. But the, the thing is, the week after, he played in the BUHI All-Star game. <laughs> <laughs> if he wants to play non-checking, he's allowed to. <laughs> uh, we felt scammed. I mean, uh, we, wait, we, wait, 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 we wait, can wait, always wait. bring up the history of Manchester Metro Stars hey. refusing to get promoted because yeah, <laughs> they didn't want to play top division hockey. I mean, and Nothing did, to do with did me. Didn't Alan Gunn play non-checking once upon a time? No. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he did. No, he got, no he did. I swear. No, I, I can assure Because we can't talk about that other stuff on, on the air, because that would be a GDP average. Oi, that's Ouch. a painful one from close range. That's also too many men for Metros. <laughs> that like I that think hurt. everyone's distracted with the play. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect time to do too many men. Yeah. That was a home chance. Home chance. I'm glad you've told me because I know I've been refing for two days, but I had no idea which the home bench was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, here we go. Oh. He's just so assured, Excellent. isn't Excellent. Let's look at this save from Bombay. He's just so assured. I wish I had a goalkeeper like him. Nice. I tried to get him to play for years as well, and he was never having it, and as soon as I stop, he's back. Well, I was, yes, yesterday he was telling me it's because uh, he's not good enough to play league anymore, so this is his only option. <laughs> And he also he didn't want to play Div 1 weekend because it's Easter, so family things. Yeah. Different priorities. His, his daughter's in year three, he was telling me yesterday. I was like, yeah, wow. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that on Facebook. It's like, no way. He was Witness Wild's goalie coach for a while as yeah, well. I don't, know, I, don't know if that, I don't know if he's still doing that. 
Last time I probably saw Go him on, in person. Go on, Mike. At, um, Sorry. Was it a man, man met AU ball when the Metro Stars won pretty much everything in Division 2 and Miller had to send me as a guardian of the trophies <laughs> because they were asking, can we take them? <laughs> and now you don't even do trophies. No. We do, we do plaques that we can give away. That's probably part of the reason, to be fair. Um, you say that. The Metro's, that. Last year I was coaching, Metro's won everything. We got no plaques. <laughs> no, you need to tell that up with Andy Miller. Uh, it's, it was the, de it was the dentist, del that's why. It was the delivery <laughs> debacle. <laughs> it was the delivery oh. debacle where they got delivered but didn't get delivered. Oh, well, here we go. Who's this? Sean, Sean Wright? Goal! Home, home goal. Hey, guys, watch the replay. I like how uh, Max Spring is nonchalantly driving the net. I taught him all, everything he knows there. <laughs> well, get close enough to celebrate. Glide and wait till Will does something and you can tap it. <laughs> it's 1 0. Top of the group. That's what it's looking like. I know. I am I keep saying I'm amazed. <laughs> anyway, do you, want to see the, do you want to see the best BUHA profile picture this year? Yeah, Considering right. he's texting me and giving me abuse as well. Luke Watson. He was Philip as a bridesmaid at the wedding, one of the bridesmaids at the wedding. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 20, it's 2022. Yeah, it is. Anyway, wait till you see this. Good Look defensive at, play there. Look at it. Oh wow. And he wow. put on the and he put on the special Metro's gloves to do it. Oh, lovely. Look, I think is Rob wearing them today. Uh, Rob Young. Are they? Oh no, he's not wearing them. Oh, they, he might be. Yeah, I think he might be. Yeah. Are they club gloves? He, I, I, I'm not really sure in the story, other than he's got metros and stuff, uh, like, embroidered in them. Look, you can see the old train logo. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what you need to do now is change your kit so dramatically it's different colours. It doesn't <laughs> matter anymore. <laughs> to be fair, if we could, because we, of the, cause oh, of the last same. jerseys we had, we could literally pick an, any <laughs> any colours we yeah. wanted, really. Yellow and blue seemed appropriate. I mean, like, there's not many other teams who wear yellow and blue, are there? I, I, I don't know, is there? <laughs> I don't know either. I, Whole, whole, whole stingrays used to. There you go. Whole eye socks wear yellow and blue, just the other way around. Do they wear blue? Yeah, it's blue on it. Is it? Terrible jerseys, anyway. Anyway, do uh, you know what I really miss? And this is a complete lie, I don't miss it at all. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I really miss? What I really miss is, is shirt numbers with bullet holes in. Yeah, me too. They're, they're completely we had the, we had these They are them. the best jerseys. I've got one of those jerseys. No, oh. no, best. If you buy best, you'd be worst. No, they're about the best. <laughs> is there a way to replay the fist bump at a face-off? Uh, what, did that just happen then? Yeah. No, we didn't. We didn't no, that's not it. the first time. What, are these guys? Yeah, they, 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 there was one of the other face-off spot that they did. So I don't know if it's just the same two coming up for face off, always <laughs> in a fist bump. See, the relationship between Bears and Metros has changed a lot since my days. I think the relationship between many of these clubs has changed since the early days. There's one that's definitely never changed. Well, how everybody feels about the maps. Yeah, everyone hates the maps, yeah. Ooh. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> he can't even hear you because he's not. Oh, yeah. That's... It's Wang. Go on, Wang. I don't even know how to say that person's surname. Lessine, I think it's something like that. Lassine. That's offside. We're not calling it. No. It's a diving shot. He once played against Sheffield E team here and Metro's won 5 0 and he scored all five. <laughs> oh, penalty, Griffin! Oh, in. Ian Bradley. What was the last? Let's see what the last highlight was. No. Oh. Was that Max? I don't know. Maybe he's wearing black socks. Yeah. Oh, he's got an awfully good shot. Like considering, like considering what? Well, he, he's 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 skating until he's weak as part of his game. But yeah. he, he he's got so much better. Like since that first Nationals clip where he couldn't yeah. move his feet and missed an empty net. Yeah. But his shots have always been very like very good. Would you say that National clip has um, egged him on to a certain degree? Oh oh oh! Bit of afters. Egged him on. I don't know. He's, I think he revels in it to be honest. Yeah. Made him infamous, didn't it? Yeah. Look at the reflexes here from uh, Old Man McDonald. Old Man McDonald. <laughs> Just needs to buy himself a farm now. Uh, oh, are Manchester still officially the Metro Stars, or are they actually? No, the they're, they're stars? still the Metro Stars, and they will no, always be the Metro no. Stars. No, so I officially changed it and got told I could. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what you believed us when we said that? To you. <laughs> I, put, I sent the email through. I sent the email through and I got told Probably no. To me. 
It's, it's, unfortunately, yeah. we, we spoke to Wikipedia and they said we weren't allowed to make an edit. <laughs> it was because we, it's when we changed jerseys, we tried to change the name um, to move away. From what? From what? From the Metro Stars. Well, why though? That's well, where's the, the star? Well, the star's on the, on the, yeah, the shoulder. Star. Where's the star? There's on the, the shoulder. On the shoulder right there. <laughs> yeah, but only, like, that only, oh, there's Janet, Ruskin oh. Junior. <laughs> There's a home chance. <laughs> Here we go. Still on the uh, bow plate. Shoes off. That's, that's, that's the Fruin's mum when the Mavs <laughs> lost the women's final. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, Alex. Oh dear. Oh. Alex. Fruin. Yeah, what's the other one called? Daniel. Daniel. There, there was a bit of hoo-ha earlier. Why? One of them won the... Um, the the fantasy women's competition. Oh really? Yeah. Um, and Nick came second. And then <laughs> Dave t Dave told me oh, Rambo came last. Um, Rambo came last. I, I came sixth. Well, I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> That's coffee everywhere. Oh, <laughs> wasn't, it wasn't that shocking. <laughs> Turned him off. So anyway. He spilled coffee everywhere. It's, it's even better the fact that he has to turn to his wife and go, excuse me, have you got any tissue paper? <laughs> That's what happens when you get married, isn't it? They, they start to act like your mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still on the lock. You're still on. That's fine. Do we take you back on down? Yeah, yeah. There I'll just go. stood here covered in coffee. I just can't believe you were that shocked that Rambo came last. <laughs> <laughs> I just think what his team came first and he came last. <laughs> yeah. Three minutes remaining in this game almost. Um, but yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mrs. Gray. Oh, oh I was at a way chance. You can I know, I know. Shh, not going to leave. Rob, I love the fact <laughs> that you actually announced the game like that. Away chance. I guess, that's because I was telling Mac I'm teaching him how to use the, uh, the stream deck. That's definitely didn't get coffee on it. We didn't. He's not trying to get It's all right. We'll take the we'll take the bit like you, uh, your ref. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Oh. Oh, I mean, they are claiming for the 30-minute games, and they were Actually, only 25 for the semis. We can't, we can't, we can't take it off them anyway, because we, we only pay Philippa for it, don't we? She's the boss. She is the ref. I'm a linesman. I'm quite, <laughs> happy, I'm quite happy to admit. She does look disappointed in for spilling his coffee, though. Have you drank yours yet? Can I have yours? Can I have yours if you're not going to drink it? Oh, okay. I'll text him. Bears, Bears looking to break. Bears still in this game. And very well, we haven't really spoken about this game all that much. <laughs> it's a typical Matt Grant time. There's, there's, ho true. there's hockey on, but it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. matter. <laughs> <laughs> so the Fruin situation was that um, oh, yeah, sorry, go Dave on. in my ear told me one name, so I announced it. And then uh, we got complaints from uh, on the chat that we announced the wrong brother. Yeah, so Alex is the older one who's my mate. Well, I mean, Daniel's my friend as well, but Alex isn't my, my I say good friend. No, he was one of my groomsmen. Um. Oh, opportunity for the, for the Bears? Sheffield, it's Sheffield. Yeah, for the Bears. Looked like you forgot. <laughs> I was like, uh, which name is it? Away. <laughs> <laughs> away chance, away chance. Oh. Oh, here's number 47. I believe his name is Lang. Captain for the day. And then Wang skates it away. He might be my favourite person, Richard Wang. Richard Wang? He's a lovely guy. He once shot a puck on my head in training. <laughs> on purpose? <laughs> he's yeah, a, yeah, on he's purpose. a lovely guy, though. Yeah, on purpose, he did, though. Oh! Yeah, I, I, I'm not convinced that wasn't unintentional there, Wait. either, Bradley, either. I didn't see it. Let me look at the replay. It was a coming together. Play down. Max Springer. Onside. Oh no, it was it, it was wasn't it? an intentional that one, no. obviously. No, it was just a bit of came together. Yeah. Springer. Fires it in. Oh! Home oh, goal! Yeah, but we know where that goes to. Yeah. You know where that goes to. It's going wide. Oh, it's going wide. Max Springer. It's going wide. That's not Springer's goal. No, no. Oh, he's going wide. Actually, he gets it. Oh, it's not football, is it? No. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, there's no own goal. Oh, You're the referee. <laughs> You're the referee. <laughs> Again, I am a linesman, and I do nothing <laughs> other than call offsides and icings. 
Tell me a more Springer goal he scored from a shot going wide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in again. Chris Buck says, what a goal. DP said, Springer, and then retracted their message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, it's going mental. Do we know who Doggersy is? Or what's a dear? chance. Who's Wagus, who's, who's Doggersy? No idea. They've appeared quite a lot. Are they a Metro? Um, don't know. Oh, I think it's Beasley. We're about to find out. I think it's Beasley because that's the Blackburn book. <laughs> Someone said nationalism is over because Springer's scored. <laughs> Might as well just re all resign this now. Stop play. All done. So that's I think that's a default win for Manchester here <laughs> over the whole tournament. It's like, let's just go home, guys. Oh, oh. oh it's still there. It's still, there. It's still loose. No, it's the second goal, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Springer for all stars. I think we put it. You, you, he deserves it at some point. He's a staff member now, though, so he's going to play for the next 20 years. Oh, is he the new big man? Yeah, well, I mean, in some yeah, ways, and right. then in other ways, no. He's just, that's offside. Oh, okay. Woo! Sorry. Oh, no, we don't get to see. We don't get to see. We've got something else over the top, but that's fine. you got my Bombay just pulling it in. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's worth the watch. That's worth that's the watch. That's worth the watch. Well, then, Mac, we'll have a bit of a rules test then. Oh, no. Yep. So, uh, that goal. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give an assist on that goal? Uh, no. Good, you got one right. Yeah, it's because it's an own goal. So it, it, goal? It, it, yeah, 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 it just goes down as a. Yeah, you, 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 you were trying to give it to the opposition player, though. Yeah, that's just so it doesn't go to. Uh, and what? To Springer. What, who scores if direct from a face-off the puck goes into the net without a team on the attacking a player on the attacking team hitting it? The last player to touch him before the whistle. Because it's happened in the NHL where a goalie saved it. In the, over here, it's the centre who took the face off, even Fair if enough. they lost. Because I've seen it happen. It's happened in the NHL where they've, they've saved goals, it. Yeah, yeah, they've saved it. Yeah, they've saved it. They've won the face off clean, and the goalie's got the goal. I did give a goalie assist yesterday, though. By the way, just oh, thank you. There you go. Giving an assist, go for it. I, I, it's well, we're going to an ice cut, so we'll have a little break. But there are some people here. Luke Watson is saying Sean Wright and Springer scoring in the same game is unheard of. James Hapgood is saying that the rapture is here <laughs> because Springer scored. That got a big laugh from up on the gantry, so we appreciate that. It's the right. only laugh he's ever got. So. We are going to uh, sign off for the ice cut and we will see you very shortly. Bye.
have to the stags. Well, I'd like to uh, welcome back Mr. Richard Gray, um, Coach Rambo, known to many people. Welcome back, sir. Thanks, uh, thanks, Rob. Um, took the morning off for uh, other business, obviously, um, and now back with you uh, to take you home for the rest of the day. Um, Nick is hovering about over me. I'm not sure if he's wanting... You want me to move? <laughs> you sat in his seat. <laughs> Sorry, I, I sat in your seat because he wouldn't give me my seat back. So Rob's obsessed with pub tape. Is he? Yeah, oh. no, it's just, you know. It's yeah, there. yeah, well... Once it gets you, it gets you. It does, you get the bug for it. So they've now got the stags in the Leeds Gryphons. Got a new button, you press that button, it goes to primary camera and puts the score bug on. Oh, wow. I've already done it. What's the score bug? Is, uh, is Dave on the feed or are you turning him off, Joe? He's on the feed. There okay. you go. I've uh, just taken it back off, so if you press want to try it, out press the... Press it and watch what happens. Ooh! Look at that! Fancy! <laughs> you can also bring up the rosters. Yeah. So. Well, I'm looking at this roster, and uh, the key men for me uh, is Woods and Goal um, and Gallimore. Uh, Gallimore, um, a dominant force in both the Leeds women's team and the Leeds Griffins B team. Um, possibly, and I would say this right. I'm going to say I would say this directly to her. Could be a force to be reckoned with as she's playing next week. Yes. Solid, safe as houses. So she is safe as houses. Let's look at the way roster. Stags is only sporting uh, two lines. Um, I think Richie is not playing. Um, top line of Caris, Ebdy and Aitken. Uh, Ebdy, or uh, the rash, as he likes to be known now, because uh, he's all over the opposition. Um, I wondered where you were going with that for yeah. a second then. Because <laughs> he had a good night out in Sheffield last night. <laughs> or, or <laughs> um, and then we've got... Uh, um, Hemlin, Preston and Chester in that second line. Uh, Hemlin with all the mad skills. Uh, actually, we're number 91. I think the Stags did change that in time, so it's all good. Um, and then uh, on D, uh, solid D. And Sinino and uh, Fleming and Cowan and Santelli, of course, the scorer of penalty shots. But we'll talk about that, I'm sure, at some point. Um, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. So, uh, yeah, you just missed a couple of things. Mr. Bombay. In goal for the Metro Stars. Just been sent through Springer's goal. Um, if you'd like to watch it, see what it did to the internet. Yeah. The Springer. See, it broke the internet. And it deflected off someone. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Max Springer, with the goal there. Isaac Cox in big up Rambo. This Isaac Cox is a top, uh, top uh, fan of mine. I quite like this guy. Yeah. I'm gonna start selling Rambo merch and have a buyer of one. <laughs> So as we face off here, um, now key for me, I think for Leeds, I think the Stags will have more shots, but I think Leeds are going to have, um, it's got one of the goalies of the tournament at the moment in Woods. So it'll be interesting to see if the Stags can can beat him. Pass to Ebdy, Ebdy can't quite control it. Collins, cross ice to Murphy. Murphy finds Jonas. Roberto, are you happy doing the Ebdy, place? shot. Yeah, of course I am. Chance for Sinino, Sinino. Oh, and Caddis, what a finish at the back door. Just as I pick up the goalie there. And Caddis with an excellent finish at the back door. That's what happens when you put people on net. It does, yeah. I know people are losing, losing the tatty earlier on in that final, but... 29.77. What a finish from Andrew Caddis. Reflexes of a yeah. stag. Disappointing, though. I have, the, have, I have the other stags lined on my fantasy team, so... Uh. Oh, speaking of fantasy teams, so... We, uh, <laughs> women's national fantasy team came in the results. Um, I came sixth. Yeah. I'll take that. Uh, Nick came second. Oh, nice, Nick. Uh, it was out of 13, did we say? Yeah. And uh, Dave came 12th. You came 13th. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, that oh. is out of all the ones who put in a reasonable effort. All right. Because okay. then selected all the teams. We can, we can tell you that now. That Pressed in. Pressed. Oh, you can't get that backhand away. Stay tuned for the latest news on the Tier 1 non-checking fantasy. I'm sure that I'm terrible in that as well. <laughs> I think you're winning it. Oh, I might be winning the Tier 2. Well, there you go. Sorry, spoilers, everyone. Still games to play, though, aren't there? Still, yeah, long, long way to go here. Um, so, Stank's uh, running a two-line roster, but as we've seen from, uh, from women's as well, you don't need a full bench to... Uh, to, to romp to the finals of, uh, no, of Nationals. I thought um, the Mavericks were excellent um, yesterday and today. Um, ending the, the tournament with 
seven now, Phil Skates, I believe. Yeah, I mean, gradually um, just uh, taking a player away. It was. Uh, <laughs> I think that was the, the rule, um, you know, win a game, lose a player. I'd like to get to the bottom of, oh, there's a chance on target by the rash, um, but it's turned away. Sanino, she's up, Ebdy will go into the corner. He's got Fleming, a nice little interplay by Fleming there, but it comes out of the zone, Sanino. Sanino steps in, he's got a big clapper, oh, great block. block by Gallimore. I'll leave a bruise. Rock solid Gallimore. And that's played along. Oh, Lyles falls down. Well, he did just kind of. Still, uh, still wearing the Metro socks, as has been pointed out several times. Yeah, um, yeah, I noticed that actually. Yeah. <laughs> Which Mac seems to tell me every opportunity. Yeah. What? Well, gotta give, gotta hand plaudits to the Stags though. New team, two jerseys, two sets of socks. Everyone's wearing the same socks. Yeah, it's, it's uh, straight in there, and it's, it's across all three of their teams as well. I don't know, 29's letting him down with the red gloves and hat, isn't he? <laughs> are, you on, are you on stream yeah. when you said that? Yeah, Dave's on the stream. Oh, Hemlin! Oh! Yes, I am. I have a voice. Woods, uh, Woods with a save there. I've got a big booming voice in the arena as well. Didn't realise that um, the lead goalie, Woods, has Woodsy on his back, I believe. Yeah. It's a bit... Um, Tenon. Well, we, Confident. we've had a few. We've had um, we had last week one of the Stags uh, B team players had Rasty on his back, uh, and uh, some of his goals were nasty actually. So it, it did actually make for easy commentary. Um, nasty, Rasty. Yeah. It's Preston. Preston beats two. Going up against Murphy in the corner. Murphy fires out Woods. Just pokes that in front. Kept in by Cowan. Cowan to Chester. Chester, cross ice, broken up, middle, Cowan, and there we've got Hemlin, Hemlin, nice hands by Hemlin, nice hands again. Stags are holding oh, really great well defence by Murphy, the grizzled vet on this Leeds team. Just had one move, didn't he? Not that I can talk. And Hemlin can't, Cowan will put it back in the corner, it goes round, Bell will go for over for that, he's got Hemlin on him. Santelli can't quite keep it in. She turns, gives it back to Hemlin, and uh, oh, that might have been more offside than the most offside I've ever seen, um, to be fair. And that chance earlier on, nice save it was. A yep. Decent. decent. Yeah, actually, that one, you know, how I said last week there was an offside, it was so far offside we could call it next year. That one we might have been able to call in the next decade. Um, it was so far offside. So. Um, wasn't the Queen's had a bad one earlier as well, got away with It's not offside if you get away with it, Dave. Um, True. He can out to Caddison. Here's Monkhouse. Here's an opportunity. Here's Monkhouse. Oh, what a back check there. And they're offside, and they now can go back in. Aitken, nice little turn by him. He steps in. Oh, nice back. Oh, that's when you see the drop pass working well there, Rob. Ordinarily, a drop pass is something that gives me a... A nightmare? Uh, it gives me... Heart palpitations. The, the heebie-jeebies, as we call it in Scotland. The heebie-jeebies. Caris, nice move by him. Gallimore in front of the net. They're poised, ready to block anything that comes that way. Comes up the wall, Monkhouse. Monkhouse, oh, well read by Preston. Preston, nice wrist oh. there, and that goes... I'm not sure Woodsy knew much about that. But um, couldn't get past the Woods trunk there. That's one thing that has been missing all this morning. Isn't it? Rubbish all the, puns. All the puns. Yeah. We tried a couple. Nick tried a couple when we got back. And he Nick, Nick's not too bad at puns, I have to say. He's, he's, been, a, he's been a fine deputy um, in terms of the puns. He's learned from the best. Yeah. Or the worst. <laughs> oh, oh what a save. I thought that went in then. Yeah, that was a branch in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Cowan. That's slapped out. There's oh, Monkhouse, he had Jonas there. Now Jonas, he skates in over the hash marks. Cowan, Cowan, nice work by Cowan along the wall. He skates it out in front of his own net. Very poised, Hemlin swings and misses at it. Murphy swings and misses at it. 
Lots of swings and misses, Preston. Oh! And there we are. Two nail stags. Yep. Right in the cookie cupboard there. I see this from behind. Yep. I love how mad cash the goalies are before the shot. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Boom. Top corner. Short side, wrister. The theme of the weekend for goals in this tournament. Well, as opposed to backdoor rebounds, which was the we the women's one. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. I also like in this game that everybody's wearing jerseys with their own name on. I know, it is this helpful. Is really helpful. Le Le I think Leeds have the nicest colour of green uh, shade in the in Nationals, I'm going to say you that think? right now. Yeah. In the battles of the greens. In the battle of the greens. To be fair, there are only two green teams. But, um, but it's just a nice look at that sort of like... It looks very proper, doesn't it? Yeah. And Sinino loses it and Murphy is after it. I mean, I suppose uh, the, the Mavs have had that green for some time, and it's, you know, mm, here and there. Chance for Fleming. Oh, and covered up by Woodsy there. We'll see that again. Watch this listen, nice little soft pass. Gets through, and uh, Woodsy covers it up before Caddis can pick up the loose change. Now that we've got our expert shot counter back, what are you thinking? What are we at? Oh, he's on the stream. You don't need to do talk back. Uh, He's on the screen. Right. Okay, so he's on the screen. Um, well, the shots for me have been uh, six, six to one. So good. Okay. I forgot I have to count the shots, but I, I had been keeping a mental note. Do it here. I, I can't do it on that. It doesn't no, work. That doesn't work. Oh. And Stags manning up on the wrong per people there, which has given Leeds a bit of a chance, but now poked away right. by Hemlin. Hemlin, he's got Preston inside him. Oh, Preston. Oh, and that's towed away by Woodsy there. Hemlin. Hemlin. Oh, shoots up high. Oh, where is it? We should really freeze these pucks, shouldn't we? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir! People have been hung for less. Penalty to Chester. Should have done any, uh, yeah, we're probably a bit it. late now. What, what, what have we got The got highlights there? don't come back. Oh, oh we, see, we can see them flumping. Oh, the, the comedy highlights don't come back to but the Nick ones do. Yeah, the comedy uh, ones are just uh, there for, for, our, for our entertainment later on. For uh, the YouTube clips, apparently, afterwards. The highlight reels. Yep. Well, uh, um, the uh, Stags are uh, deservedly on the penalty kill after that. Um, to be fair. <laughs> so... Here comes Murphy on the back check. He's picked up. Oh, Caddis streaking in there. Still, so half the Caddis and uh, Caddis there thinking the the best uh, the best way to kill a penalty is to score a goal. Um, and he'll go in again after it. That happened multiple times in the uh, in the women's tournament. Teams were trying to get back into the game and got hit with penalty kill goals. Yep, Clement. Cross ice it goes and Murphy will collect. Murphy off the wall, but that's stopped. The Stags, of course, are still members of the best game of the weekend club uh, in this tier. Yeah. Uh, with their game against the uh, the Oxford Vikings. Both teams, of course, in that club, as uh, it takes two teams to make a good game. It does. Now we get a shot chance of that. Now this, I think the goal gets a piece of this. So it flops up. We'll see that from the back cam. Oh, no, 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 he, no he didn't. No, he no, didn't. no, no, he, he scooped that one. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. That was, a wedge shot that, was the, that was a definite master's fillet yeah. to the green there. Um, Gallimore. It seems to me the Stags are quite the, the team that keeps doing that, actually. It gives me the master's commentary on the shots. Uh, Gallimore. And it goes to Polovic. Polovic, he's got... Sepke inside him. Oh, he maybe oh. should have made that pass early there. Yeah. Uh, but good, good back checking from Preston as he streaks round. Oh, that was maybe over elaborate um, and got him hemmed in there. But he's got it back again. Gallimore. Oh, she can't keep it in. Now yeah, Preston. Preston. Into the last five seconds of the penalty. Preston, nice moves. Preston now streaks towards goal. Oh, oh and gloved. We're going to see that again. You can see Preston 
Now, for the kids watching at home, that's a good release there. You can't tell that he's going glove side until he releases that. A lot of people have seen this weekend, they open the hands early and you can tell it's going glove side. I like to give the kids a little bit of advice. Yeah, a little bit of coaching online. Yeah. Could have told me that a few years back. Aiken, Aiken, oh, nice save there. Empty round to Sinino. Sinino, heads up, flips it. Fired off the wall. Ooh, Lemon can't get bounce. it. That was a very funny bounce there. And the Stags will have to regroup. Just uh, coming up for uh, seven and a half left in the, in the game. My chat's kind of went quiet, apart from people just saying, come on, this person, or a little bit. Give us some... Mostly stags or mostly hit, hit us with a young patter if you're from Glasgow. Yeah. You like the PlayStation, I like the PlayStation, that sort of thing. Well, let's get a jersey rating going in chat. Jersey, jersey rating. Do we think, hands up for Griff Griffin's jersey or for Stag's jerseys? Because I tell you what, this is a battle of good jerseys. I quite like these ones. I'm not a big, as big a fan of the white Griffin's jerseys. But I do like the green ones. But then equally, I'm not as big a fan of the Stag's black jerseys. Mm. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, look at the colour of the Leeds jersey. Ebdy. Oh, and that was a little bit of a, a poor release there. Shot from Sonino. I tell you what, Gallimore is just, uh, I told you, she's a tough, tough, yeah. tough player because that was off the side of the boot there and she didn't even wince. Ebdy blocks Sonino's shot and inadvertently and it can held up. <laughs> Along the wall, he's and he's expecting happy, to he? get a call, mate. Have you seen what's been going on this weekend? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Santelli. What could you possibly mean there, sir? <laughs> Bit of a uh, mishap. Oh, Six. too many players. This is the uh, opportunity from before. Just kind of fans on it, doesn't he? Goalie, obviously. Been in some hot water and he's just trying to cool them off. That's nice and friendly stuff there. Um, too many players penalty. Anyway, uh, we've got a few people. Stags uh, Ross mm. Witherspoon saying Stags jerseys both the top two for me. A few people going for Stags jerseys here. Stags are absolute fire. Matthew, Matthew Smith giving the Griffins green pop. Uh, somebody's saying the Stags black ones all the way. Uh, well, they're weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice glove save by Matthew Gibb there. He's not seen a lot of action yet this uh, this game. I think this is just his second save, but what a save. Save from behind. You know, is there any point in Dave doing the announcements? Because is his, you know, is his uh, sort of, what is it he's got? Like Somerset accent. Is that going to be understandable by anyone up here? <laughs> I know so that's insolent coming from a Scotsman, but. Pardon? Uh, <laughs> oh! oh! That, that looked like it could have been a penalty or just a really bad fault. <laughs> well, we got a Nick highlight on it, so we're all good. Emlyn. Isaac Cox, anyone oh, been to though? Gallagate? I don't think I've been to the Gallowgate. Depends where here is. But I have been to the Barras. And if you know, you know. Let's see that again. And here we go, here we go, here we go. Flop. Whoa. Yeah, there wasn't a penalty in that. That was just a flump, wasn't it? Yeah, that was just a... They're coming together. I've got 8 2 now. 8 2 in shots. Yeah, I mean, but Dave's on the stream saying shots, guys. <laughs> yeah, Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Try and so no, give some no integrity to the shot. Oh, oh, and that almost wrong foot. So go empty. Oh. oh, empty. Oh. I am. I'm just very giddy with power with this announcement. Fleming. So. I think it's great, Dave, and I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just, let's just have an open conversation about the shots. It's great. I just, I've just moved on from taking shot counts, really, haven't I? I know, I mean, Rambo's well. back, and Rambo is the expert shot counter. Yeah. Uh, fobbed off the dog's body replay stuff to you guys. Oh, and I finished short side. Short side, Rister, as Again. is the team. And Again. it's ten shots to two now, Dave, in case you were wondering. Shot by Oliver Ebdy. Ebdy's Oliver. Drew Meyer saying it looks quite good with number 11 on it. Uh, I'm still disappointed you never got to wear a Beagle shirt. Uh, Drew. Drew Meyer, of course, famous. Um, and uh, Rob, uh, you'll appreciate this. First goal ever against Bert Croquet. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a nice little moment. That's a nice say. moment there. I would have retired. I'm being yeah, honest. Done. 
I'd have retired. That would have been the end of me. I'd have just been like, nah, not having it. I've been brought food here as well. I've got the uh, burger and chips. Um, I will uh, not eat this whilst we're, whilst we're commentating at the end of the game. No, feel free to do so. I did that early with my uh, I know, but uh, it sounded me going on the thing. We'll either get people um, incredibly excited or really disgusted. I'm not sure. Uh, Hamlin. Fair enough. Hamlin. Whoa, and this boy, Hamlin. Hamlin, shot. Oh, direction finder is off there. Do you know these teams have bet once before? Um, yes, it was 20 to 1 in it Whitley Bay. Yep, yep, I know that. Pressed in. Nice little spin. Thank you, Rob, for engaging the uh, commentator stats. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I, I've got all, this, all of them here on my phone, so I might as well use it's them. It's all at your fingertips, isn't it? It is. It is. It would be that, uh, better if we had a BIHA tablet, though, wouldn't it? Thomas Woods it has got... Would. I did petition Andy for one earlier because... Uh, and he said, no, get your own. Really it's really nice, isn't it? No. Thomas Woods, you know... Nice move from a, uh, Aitken there. 0.97% save percentage this season. He's been a good goalie. With, oh, and that's a good save again. Fleming. Fleming's got Ebdy in the middle. He's got Ebdy in the middle, mate. Ebdy. Oh, Ebdy can't get the handle on it. Good defensive clearance in the end by the Leeds Griffins, but it took them a while. Oh, a sliding challenge Nick. there. Um, for <laughs> a Nick but highlight. I watched match of the day last night, and there was nothing that exciting on it. Um, oh, shot in front. Oh, big save. Oh, still, still loose. Oh, they're giving that, even though the net was already off. Pretty sure if the net... Is already off, but they're giving it. Um, um, mm -hmm. It's interesting from that crew. Yeah. Didn't give a goal earlier on that was in when the net was on, but um, you know we'll not talk about that too much. And that's Neil Aiken. He's excited. I'm having a bit of a con flab. Clock now will stop. Where does that sort of sit? Because he kicks the net off himself, the goalie. Yeah, but I, my understanding is if he kicks it before the shot, then it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a goal. Well, what I'm doing right now because I'm about to drop the puck, but Number if not, looking. Um, so that was uh, Neil Aitken there with his first of the weekend. Here's Hemlin. Hemlin. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. Nah. See, Gallimore. She says Gala no more um, on that play. Um, and if you're a Proclaimers fan, you know what I'm saying. Um, Preston, he'll streak up ice. Oh, that was definitely offside, but it's missed. Oh, and that's fired off and over the wall. Oh. And then Gallimore, and then Gallimore again with a block. Just very actively pointed to where the puck was then, because everybody was yeah. lost, lost of sight of it. I think we should just stick Gallimore in both uh, all-star teams now. Just done? Yep. Preston picks it up. Preston now. He'll streak back round. He's got a chance here. Preston, shot, oh, and that's a good glove tip there, and that's gone away, and that's a souvenir for a lucky fan if we had any so overset. This is the last goal. Please return the pucks. Right. So, when he so the goal's get, off yeah, but, already. Oh, yeah. So to me, that, uh, uh, we need a, we need a, like an I, a double IHF ref up here. I mean, um, I, oh. we'll get Philip Wheeler to confirm yeah, with us Phillip later on. Yeah, Philip Wheeler can come over here. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's not making a big difference no, to the actual not. outcome of the victory and non-victory. Um, the post that moved past as well didn't ever move, did it? Yeah. So. No. yeah. It's just an it makes a massive debate. difference. But it's just it's one, to, one to sort of, uh, you know, it's nice to learn things. Oh, and that's offside as the clock ticks down to two seconds. Someone's put 20 to 1's boring competition. Why not tier 2? This is tier 2. Which is well, it's essentially tier 1 non-checking. Um, and uh, I do know the Stags are actively trying to prep themselves to have a check-in team next year. Yeah. Um, this is essentially their first season due to uh, COVID. I think um, they've done a, so, yeah, I think a fantastic they, way of building the club. They, they built the club. I mean, last week we had uh, we had Dave on um, mm -hmm. from the Stags. Comedy Dave. Comedy Dave. And uh, he, he basically said, uh, we said to him, you know, um, given the way the Stags are building, um, could this be you're the captain of the D team next year? And... I, don't, I think I, I think that's perfectly possible. Now I'm going to weak my breeks off here. Um, hopefully, no one can really see. Uh, Essie, could you chop? Uh, chop take yourself shot? off. <laughs> Rambo is currently derobing, so we I'll turn can off his mic. We well see. So, 
We've now got coming onto the ice the Oxford Vikings, and they're playing against Nottingham Mavericks. I really thought we were rid of this colour clash after this morning. Nope. But no, 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 no. Why can neither team have a different colour jersey? I have no idea. We've already talked about it. Nick can hook you up with some Fisher ones. You can iron print some numbers on it <laughs> and you can have a different jersey. Yeah, we'll oh. do a crowdfunder for it. Oh, right, wow. um, you okay now? He's getting there, he's getting there. I <laughs> just threw my trousers at Essie by accident. <laughs> Essie thinking she's at the, the local Chippendales concert tonight as I put my shorts on here. I'm commentating on the, on my dressing. I know, yeah, I mean, which leg do you go first, right or left? Uh, I went right there. Is that, that, uh, is that intentional? I or? have no idea, I think it's a subconscious thing. Subconscious thing. So, um, this, the, 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 the Stags have done their job, they're into the next round. Um, oh, there's, um, there's all kinds of green stuff. Oh, there's tomato on it. Who puts tomato on a burger? Ugh. Where did that burger come from? Uh, Essie got me because lunch had went. I missed lunch. I missed my second lunch. <laughs> you mean you uh, only got the, a Jack and Sesame already, with beans? You know when the people tuna. say just pick the tomato off, but it's already tainted with the juice. You know they just don't understand these. See, I feel the same about like pickle. Mm. Can't be doing with pickle on a burger. Yeah. Pickle makes a burger. Thank you very much. No, it does not. Yes, it does. Horrendous. And no. then it taints it with its taste. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, my friend. Having uh, five years of uh, McDonald's experience, I will tell you otherwise. And this Rob, you're ahead. way older than five years old. How have you only had five years of the McDonald's experience? <laughs> We're working there for five years in my, my youth. Was it, it wasn't proper pickles, though, at McDonald's, wasn't it? It was gherkins. Yeah, it was gherkins. Yeah. It's still horrendous. Both of them horrendous. Yeah. They have no place in life. Nah, mate. I tried a pickled egg once. Worst mistake ever. Did it taste like pickles? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a burger, Isaac, a burger. I think nobody really likes pickles. Bridget. Oh, mummy, daddy, what a goal from Bridget. I'm not sure he meant it, but what a finish. Wow, was that a, was that a, a bobbly shot? That was a Dundee bobbler, as they call it, all the way from Nottingham. Better than those uh, looping shots we had earlier today. Yeah. Oh, that's a fall over the blue line. Let's him in. Oh, oh, big save. Sorry there, Rob. I was uh, all right. I got you. I was having a couple of chips in there, and then the play started, and they got very excited very quickly. Don't worry, I got you. Just not as quick on the names. I got there in the women's in the end. Uh, well, no one has brought me mayonnaise for my burger, so I'm having brown sauce, which is very Scottish, I would say. Would you like? Sounds like an awful burger. I'm really sorry. But... <laughs> Can you please not describe this burger anymore on the Would screen? Would you like me to announce, could somebody in the stands please bring some mayo over? Or salad cream. Either is good. If you are in the stands and you listen to the commentary, if you could bring over some mayo or it's salad cream. It's too late. Cream. I put the brown sauce on it now. A the decision has been made. You may get an interview with Rambo on the stream as a prize. Speaking of interviews, we will be having, at some point before we go off air tonight, Ashton Rafter up for a chat about their great success in the Bandy Silver Medal game. Oh, that'd be excellent. Yeah, the Silver Medal for the Worlds. First ever attempt. Burrows. This guy's uh, going for floor of the weekend, number 96. Now, as oh. I said, the Stags have done their job. They, they win, they've won their game. So now, I think if this stays the way it is, we shall see the Stags go into the, win the group and possibly get a bye. Possibly not. They might be the best. They might be the worst first place. But they I think Manchester might be in for a bye as well. Um, Stags are no. They can't. They can't win the group. Oh, they can't win a bye. Oh, oh sorry. We've just been informed. The Stags can't. Oh! oh, was that off the face or off the bar? Crossbar. I announced a near coupon shot earlier. Near Stags can win the group, <laughs> but they can't. Did you use coupon? I did. Oh, well done. Thought you'd be proud of me. Stags can win the group, so they would get the, e the easier quarter, as, as allegedly. Because um, <laughs> there are no easy games at Nationals. Or easy schedules. Or easy schedules, we made. 
we've made some good schedules though. I think Dave has done an excellent job on the schedules and I'm, I'm saying that openly to people. I'm not saying that as a joke or sarcastically. We've done a good job on the schedule um, and a good job sorting out these new for this new format. Yeah, and I believe there's, there's two people who have uh, scheduled in the past. Mm. I think we're both very well positioned to say he's done such a fantastic job this year. Well, I, I've never actually scheduled nationals. No, but you scheduled the cut. That's yeah. equally as difficult. Oh, uh, stop it, stop no, it, please. No. I haven't got any mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, where's Joe? Bring him back. <laughs> oh, Bark! Oh, Bark! <laughs> oh. oh, too late. Where this last one? I'm not sure what the last one I queued was. Oh, it's this opportunity. Oh, that was the one that was the bar, I think. Yeah. That was a uh, penalty to the Vikings. Has anyone noticed that Oxford have two goalies? Have we got the right one in? I think, I think it's Slesser that's in number 31. In 31. Yeah, yeah Slesser. Break, is it? Slesser. Okay, oh, yeah, we've got, it should be. I think she's down as a starter, so. Donaldson, nice fight along the wall from Donaldson. This is the best way to kill a penalty. Camping in your opposition zone. Yeah, but old man McGlynn can't get a hold of it there. And then, then Ma Mavs will come the other way. And Downing, she played excellently uh, earlier on this morning. She uh, did. Excellent. She did, she was fantastic in that. Especially when they went short bench. It was relied upon heavily with that man. Yeah. Brilliant play. McGlynn, third place in the uh, Fantasy Women Nationals. Was he? Yeah. Lovely guy as well, I have to say. I'm a big fan of his. I wonder how many years he's played now. Well, and some of these whipper snappers maybe were just a twinkle in daddy's eye. Um, and that is that is a goal. Is it a goal? Short side. And they're st <laughs> still playing. I think it's a goal. We'll see. We'll see again. It's been given. It's been given uh, here. Let's see from the back camera. Oh, that! Oh, oh, that went in. Well, that's been given as a goal, folks, and the referee was right there to give that one. And that's a shorty. Ones each. What's the just, live stream? Have you seen this? Uh, clear, clear Bloomfield. Old man McGlynn has been counting the old man references. Um, <laughs> he's a big fan of you, Rambo. Well, that's, that's nice. Lovely, that's nice it? to hear. Oh, nice play. Valero. Oh, and drop, drop the, drop the. You know what it is? He's not used to shooting from that side. He normally shoots from the other side and misses wide. And uh, um, he, he was just out of his wheelhouse there. Just uh, threw him out of his uh, comfort zone. Yeah, I'm going to have a bite of this burger yeah, and I'll be right. back with Carry a review. On. So you keep me you keep I'll, me covered. I'll keep you covered. Bolero again. Dancing around on the ice. Vikings fire, fire it across. Nobody there. Nobody home. Picked up. By the one and only McGlynn. It tastes like one of those burgers you get at like him. Um, the burger like, van. More like um, you know, like town festival things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a bit of a street food type thing, but uh, festival. Yeah, a fancy burger van. Yeah, burger. more like one. Yeah, it tastes like one you get in an ice rink. Put it that way. Oh, okay, yeah. I think uh, everybody who's listening will, will understand what yeah. you mean. Um, yeah, it's yeah. okay. <laughs> it's um, okay. Also, did you just make a bolero and then dancing reference? <laughs> I because did. I'm very yeah. proud of you. Thank and you. And so is Isla Gray over there, who is a big figure skating fan. Yes. Um, I'm sure she will be, but that was excellent. Thank yeah. you. Good commentary. Nobody else picked up on it. Yeah. Not sure where we are here. I think that uh, face off in the Mavs zone. Still on a piece with uh, 12 minutes to go in this game. Been asked to give a shout out to number 16 from Oxford. Number 16 from Oxford. Can you pronounce his name? No, Benjamin. 
Benjamin Doozy Fart. Doozy. <laughs> Doozy. <laughs> you were going to do that. You Doozy fell, Sart. Sorry. You, you fell right into it. <laughs> Captain for the day. Going on in the corner down there. A little oh, bit of physical at play. This Burke guy. As ruthless as, as his namesake from Burke and Hare there. I wonder if anyone gets all these niche Scottish references. Yeah, no, I understood. Most people would Google Burke and Hare and find out it's a strip club in the middle of Edinburgh. <laughs> That's not what I was referring to. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Sean, shot wide. Picked up by Nottingham, number 44. That's Forbes. Played behind the goal. Pimber Jones loses the possession. Vikings looking to break away. Played down the boards. I'll tell you what, Burke is uh, He's definitely cruising for a, an all star berth here. He's been some player today. Dylan Bugberg. Dylan Bugberg. Bugberg. Bug hyphen Berg. Oh, double barrel. It's not the first one he's caught me out with that this weekend. Uh, with the double barrel, but on the. D V U Sart. Do do v do v u Sart. Do do v u Sart. 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 So Sarty, what a player! What a great player! <laughs> <laughs> Face off in the Viking zone. <laughs> to be fair to this guy, I've noticed that he's a very good player all weekend. You just didn't say his name because you were too scared. I've, yeah, I was too scared to make an absolute mess of it, which I clearly have done. Well, I'm now very scared if he uh, gets any goal oh. or assist. That was an away chance. Did that take a deflection on the way through? It did. Excellent reactions from the goalie to be able to see that the deflection and track it still. Vikings win the draw. Clear the zone. It's chased, being chased down here by Downing and Carmichael. Alexander Carmichael. Yeah, see, well done. His flow was swinging enough. I managed to read the name. <laughs> Doovy. She prefers Doovy to Sorry. Do so we'll go with Doovy. Plus when I say. When I say it, it just sounds like a, a blanket, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> like you're about to get like into bed. <laughs> Keep me warm, Duvy. There's an offer. <laughs> Walker Silver been challenging in the middle then. Was an integral part of the women's blues this morning. And also uh, got that game-winning goal against the Stags, although I think it was given to the wrong player, but um, she was the one that shot it from the point, and of course it was Drobny that stood up. Drobny, he normally loves a slap shot. He doesn't take one there. I thought possession was better. Going in alone. On the backhand. Puts it wide into the side netting. Mav's trying to clear the zone. Still got a very low shot count of two to three here. What you Drop it. Picked up by the Vikes. Donison, another player that's been around for a little while, Timothy Donison. Donison um, was a blue. I don't think I've played against him, but certainly the Eagles, I think, maybe in the time. I oh, and just oh, as just we like mentioned that. his name, Donison scores for the Vikings here. Donison, part of that. Um, I'm not going to. I mean, it's been a while since we brought up. I don't know where Nick is, but. Donaldson part of that Blues 100th varsity winning team that, um, well, of course, we went to Switzerland. Oh, come on, we went to Switzerland. You don't yeah, mention don't, that very I, often. I, I, yeah, people don't know about it. It's not... Guys, do you want to give any assist to that before I go and announce it? I don't think there was, but I'm not... It was... Uh, no, I'm going to say no. Okay, okay. Number 41, that's, that's Schreiber. Schreiber. Yeah, she was, she was fantastic, I learned. Do you see, yeah, do you see her goal against yeah. the Queens in the semi-final? Oh, my word. Yeah. <laughs> that was one where... The players came off and I couldn't give them any feedback because it was just so good. Yeah. <laughs> good oh. shot there from Jones. That was Pimbra Jones. Oh, Pimbra Day Jones. They've not put the whole thing on there. Pimbra Jones. I thought it was maybe like Pete Jones. Yeah, you know, me like, too. Ellis Pimbra Jones. Ellis Pimbra Jones. A lot more commonplace up, uh, up uh, down this neck of the woods, isn't it? The further I'm south you go, the more yeah. it happens. Although yeah. there is a player... I, I remember, um, I'm from the real north, so... Um, no, let's not get into that debate. I was meaning like Game of Thrones real north, like... Mm, yeah, okay. 
Like that's why I look a little bit like um, Jor uh, like Tormund Giants Bane if like he li <laughs> like like he's sort of like I was going to say one one li little cousin uh, type thing, you know. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I see the uh, I see the comparison slightly. Wild thing maybe. Yeah, bug back on the puck. Playing it back to the point, gets fired in. Vikings pick it up. This is number 67, Batch Kala. Carmichael's there. Shot. Puts a shot in. Oh, shoulder W there. Timber Jones. Jones away. Bridget scored the first goal with that. Funny looping shot there, eh? A looping shot. There's been a few looping shots today. I think the, uh, the Angels were uh, on the receiving end of uh, some of them, unfortunately, earlier. And for Nick. Ulick. Dumped in. Chased by Donison. Picked up by number seven. That's a baboom. You point. can't help yourself with Verboom, can you? You have no. to like em emphasize it whenever he gets a puck. Verboom, Verboom. Oh, Verboom. I think he's another former Blue as well, like um, who has played for the Blues in the yeah. past. He's a very solid player. He might have played for the Vikings when they were checking as well. I think there could be an argument for them going back that way if they retain some of these players. Donna said. This is a very old school Oxford like. Yeah, what do you think the average age of this line is compared to the tournament average, average age? I would say that is this average is this line. What shot? Twenty six. I don't know how old Fair Boom is. Do you reckon Dave could whip up that stat for us? Yeah. No, but I've certainly played against a lot of them a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> Dave says he's played a lot of them against a lot of times. So Dave, Dave's on the stream. Dave can speak for himself. Dave is. Uh, well, I know. I know Dave's on the stream, but <laughs> it means he can't do Pokemon, Dave, though. Dave. Is that how Pokemon speak? They just say their own name. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Save there. They call it. Vikings definitely winning the shot battle now. Valero held the blind S very well. Seven there. to five. Harrington. Hugh Harrington. Dave informing me I have indeed missed shots whilst I've been eating my chips. So, Bolero to McCauley. Who'd have thunk it? McCauley. Oh, Back to Bolero. Bolero. It is a team effort, folks, because I have a giant hunk of metal in front of one of the goals. That was uh, Hugh Harrington firing it in. Ben is 33. Harrington. Tim is 33. Shot on goal. Harrington. Have you seen the, uh, the the Oxford white jerseys that have been floating around? I've weekend? seen the ones in the crowd. Yeah, yeah why aren't they wearing them on the Absolutely banging, ice? aren't they? Like, it's so class. Like, I like these Oxford jerseys. What Don't get me wrong. What colour are they? We said they were they white. Look, like, they, they look like, like off, off white. Creamy or something. Yeah, colour. like a yeah, like a cream colour. Yeah, I'd like to see them in action. Yeah, I, this I, would have been the perfect game. It would have been indeed. The ones they had for the uh, hundred varsity, but I don't know if you know that. I had to commentate on. Um, was that the one in Switzerland? That was the one in Switzerland, yeah. Um, they, they had the really was that nice. A match? That was a varsity match, yeah. They really had, like, like some really Oxford nice. Cambridge. Yeah, between Oxford and Cambridge. Nice <laughs> navy ones. Got cold hands. Someone got cold hands. What? Did someone get really cold hands? That was Nick. Was it Nick? Yeah, yeah. Nick, Nick forgot his gloves uh, in the middle of the Alps, um, which is a great idea. Uh, Swiss Alps. The Swiss Alps. For the yeah. varsity game? Yep, in San Marietz. Uh, Ice hockey. Yep. Donison. Oh, big save. Was it the 100th game? It was oh, old. that was an opportunity. Cambridge won every game apart from the one that everyone had come to see. Doobie, find it out. Yep, well done. And Launchbury looking oh. to Launchbury and attack there. Bridget. Oh. Bridget. He bailed a Bridget over troubled waters and get the Mavs back into this game. Oh, I was trying to find it. I was trying to find a bridge one then, but you beat me to it. For boom. 
Oh, that looked like a bit of a stick in there for Baboom. He hoped there's a hand up yeah. from the referees doing a good job of being powerless today. Um, and that's a penalty. Yeah, that was a definite penalty. I think that's a slash or a high stick, yeah. See if I got the nick. Oh, there we did. Yeah, I got it. Got 1 minute 38 left in this game. We're getting up to the stop clock period of this game. Flags currently 2 1 up against the Mavericks. Is there a nice cut after this game? Or the other teams just really quite cash? I don't know. The teams were quite cash this morning as well. They're, oh, wait. Birmingham seems to be lining around there. I hope they realise they've got to walk all the way around to come on the proper way. Yeah, yeah, we realised that after we had to walk all the way around after getting out of the change. <laughs> Here's Drobney. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, that's definitely oh. outside. That was, that was most definitely outside. Yeah. Clock will be stopped in two seconds. One second. Clock stop. That was brilliant multitasking from Dave there. Not only was he announcing, he managed to stop the clock. Bang on time. I'm impressed there. Teamwork, mate. Teamwork. Silverman. Walk Silverman taking it. Wins the draw herself. That was my power move. She's got support. McCauley can't quite control it. Ulick keeps it in. Pimber Jones clears the zone. Play behind. Vikings controlling the puck in their own zone. Oh, finally gets it the way he wants. Dropping loses it. Didn't look like he wanted it. No. He was calling for it for quite some time. Dropping. McGlynn. McGlynn. Danny coming across to play the puck. Oh, boo. Ulick. Sorry, I just really wanted uh, McGlynn to score. <laughs> Nothing against Nottingham, but. I'll have to check if he's picked his line. And that is all she wrote. 2 1 to the Vikings. I believe we will be having an ice cut now. Yes, because we're into the uh, quarterfinals. Is it the quarterfinals? Oh, next? we're into the quarterfinals, yeah. are we? I'm oh, excellent. Drop off a sec and frantically set these ceilings. Excellent. Well, we are going to uh, drop off the commentary in a second so Rambo can finish his chips and I can take a rest before we enter the quarterfinal stage. I'm sure we'll be updated shortly with who is playing who. We'll see you on the other side. Yeah, sorry for audibly chewing there at the end, folks. Um, We've had worse on this stream than that, Rambo. You yeah. know that. Yeah, oh, uh, we have. We've had. We've we've let Andrew McKinnon on it. Um, <laughs> just in general. Um, so, uh, yep. Yeah, okay, Nick, we'll have a break. I'm going to finish these chips. And I'm going to say, these chips, if you like a good swimming bath chip, yeah. these are the chips for you. Mm, interesting. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. on that note, we'll see you later. Cheers.
So we've just been uh, exploring the... Um, Do you know what? He's now shouting. He doesn't realise that I'm actually on the stream. So this mic is picking him up as well. But there has been an update on the Tier 1 non-checking fantasy. So you know, I think Dave can give us an audio update on who's finished where. Yes, and this really hurts to say. But bear in mind, can we just, can we just recap the women's fantasy first? So women's fantasy... <laughs> Out of the 13 people who managed to set the majority of the lines. Out, yeah, out of the 13 people who could uh, who managed to set their lines. Um, 13th, Richard Gray. <laughs> 12th, David Rogers. Yeah, well. 11th, James Martin. 10th, Dom, Dom Bingham. 9th, Jade Yip. 8th, Andy Miller. 7th, Ariane Mansour. Sixth, I can't count now, Rob Sixth Grant. Yes. Fifth, Wifey. Fourth, Kevin His wife McGlynn. Came fifth. His wife? Yeah, Hannah. Yeah, Hannah came fifth. Um, fourth, Sam Crane. Nick Ivel second. And Daniel Fruin first. Did you get the right Fruin this time? I believe so. Um, how many have we got? Ah! Oh. <laughs> so, out of the one, two, three, four, five. I came last, didn't I? Out of the 11 who managed to set a line, 11th, Hannah Rogers. Oh! Ian Bradley, 10th. Robert Grant, 9th. Okay, that's not bad. Daniel Fruin, 8th. Uh, Dom Bingham, 7th. Kevin McGinn, 6th. Ariane Mansour, whatever number next is, 5th. Andy Miller, 4th. No. Sam Crane third. Nick Ivel second. Nick Ivel did not compete. <gasps> what? Nick Ivel did not complete. No. Um, and then, yeah, first and second were just pretty much tied, I think. I don't know who they were. You're not sure. Names aren't coming up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Just first was Rambo, second was me. Well um, done, congratulations. Uh, I've, yeah. It's two things I've won this weekend. One thing I've done terribly. Now, have you noticed there's two different shades of yes. Birmingham Lions? The ones who've washed them and the ones who haven't. You think that's the case? Yeah. Any Birmingham Lions fans out there? They look exactly the same. Even with the, even the like logos on the back and the front are exactly the same. I always think they look like Team Germany. They do a little bit you know, look before, like Team Germany. Before, like NHL yeah. got the licenses to the real jerseys. Yeah, 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 yeah like uh, on a video game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to say, um, there's been many sort of poor incarnations of the Birmingham Lions jersey, and this might be the rankest of them all. Yeah. Now, that's nothing against the Birmingham Lions. They're all good people. They are very good people. I still really liked when they had the white and blue when they were the Birmingham Eagles. I like that. I have to say... Um, Who's meant to be in the penalty box? Thanks to the person who pointed out it's a 25 minute game. Dave is just sorting that now. Let's get it on the main screen. There you go. Yep. Well done, Dave. Look at that. Thumbs of steel he's got. Thumbs of steel. Now, the Birmingham Lions now have Lance Brown, the second in goal. Oh, is this who, who he missed yesterday? Yeah, he did, I think he slept in greatly yesterday. So much he missed the entirety. Um, That's a good effort. Emma Gordon. Emma Gordon on the fucking... Is it? How did that happen? It's a group game. What? 1-0. Oh, so it was, yeah. This is amazing. Oh, in the new format. Coming to fruition there, and we have our first collision. I forgot to press Nick Highlight, though. Oh, oh so the King's got a buy in the Duvals. I don't know why I said that like that. That was quite... Boot. Baker! Oh, oh, big save from Lance Brown the second there. Have you enjoyed your pun? Yeah, no. I'm going I'm to start off for a bit and let Nick have a bit of a seat. Yeah, sorry Nick, I'm not moving this time. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. All right, well, we'll have to swap headphones then. That's fine. All right, That's hold on. Looks like I'm commentating for a second while they all faff about. Um, we've got number 88. Taking it into the zone. And an offside. Great. It's not much to come and Thanks, Dave. Now we're all sorted. I forgot my seat back. Can 
now my coke holder. Ooh, what the what the brown sauce come from? Uh, so we've still got replay <laughs> Rob, have we? We put on a burger. We've got replay Rob. We've got the burger. Nick Nicholas Ivo and Richard Ramble Green. And Dave. And Dave Somerset Rogers. Uh, Dave, what was your nickname from this morning? What was it yesterday? I can't remember now. Dave, Dave. Dave, Dave. No, no. We, we... Chance! Oh! 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 Oh, no, it's, not, it's, it's nowhere near the net. I was just getting excited there. Maybe maybe the Lions are not sleeping tonight. I don't know. What, what, what nickname did you give me? Um, see, this would be a cool story if you remember the nickname. <laughs> D, D... It wasn't dangerous, Dave. That's when he's on the ice. Um, it wasn't diligent, Dave. That's definitely not it either. Um, <laughs> Distressed, Dave. No, that's 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 probably later. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was now. Just postal. Back to Baker on the point. Baker shot. Saved by Lansbury in the second. Now, if it, any Birmingham fans on the chat, could you let me know if Lansbury in the second is the very same who played outfield? Um, in the last, the last nationals. So is this I'm the sure actual? There was a Lance Brown the second. Is in this the, last the actual goal you know? Yes. Rather than the standard. He's had two shots so far on him. And he's made two good saves, and Southampton goalies had also two shots on him and also made two good saves. You're just remembering and that. That is how you do a discreet shot count for me. And then Dave Taylor. Go, chat! Oh, oh, that's the third shot. Yeah. This is quite an even game. Yeah, well, it was yesterday as well, I have to say. Um, now he, That's oh. why we've got the bracket split. Meaningful players. You know what's nice about this uh, this this format, Dave, uh, Nick? Yep. So normally we get our little heroes of the tournament who are, you know, and some of the teams that aren't quite as, you know, yeah, aren't yeah. going to be at the end of it. But they get their moment now. But they get their moment in a knockout game, and we get to talk about them that one more time in a knockout game. Yep. Oh, Hustler. Gordon, oh, can't quite stop him. Also, I get to talk about Emma Gordon, who is now not on the opposite side. Oh, Good save by Lance save. Brown. She was incredible this morning. Oh, yeah. Well, been incredible all weekend, sorry. Yeah. But um, especially this morning. Yeah. And uh, that Sirens team. Uh, I think me and Rob signed off by saying it won't be the last that we see of them. No, no, it won't. I'm, I'm assuming they'll still be here next year. And they'll be back stronger. Uh, oh, we, yeah. al we also did say it would be nice if Steel Queens could return next year to defend the title next year rather than in a couple of years' time. Yeah, that's what makes it weird. It's like the World Cup. Yeah, it, it, it feels like it was uh, only yesterday. Oh, oh we'll save by Lansbury in a second. Now, now he turned away five shots so far. Uh, Dave's given the game away with this, this keeping him up to date on the shots. Don't worry, they've got short memories. Are you trying to refer to the... If you're the on the stream saying that, Dave, that's not cool. Exactly. Are you trying to refer to our view in public as goldfish? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I, got, I, I had to sell my pet goldfish because I couldn't remember my name. It just caught, kept calling me Bob. Get it? Bob. Dave, Dave, when you said that, we lost four, four viewers. Sorry. Then we're getting replay here of that shooting chance nice little blocker see I like to see that you know the goalies just stand there and let it hit them you know, why do you need to drop down I mean, I'm in position I got this as long as it doesn't dip dive and dodge like there some of the books we've seen absolutely no pictures on score sheets might be pictures on the live stream to remember it later but you know well okay chance for Southampton oh, oh, oh. Chapman she was Chapman banging a hole in ice there <laughs> Tap, 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 tap. Tapping that so much, you could have gone ice fishing if she kept at it much longer. Oh, whatever it is! Oh, and that's the sixth shot. That beats. might, that might be a sister of the tournament so what far. What a play! Now here, look goal. at this pass. First pass from Bush. Rickard. Second Bush. pass from Postel. Boing. Third pass. They better get the two assists on that because that was just beautiful. Yep, they got them. Pick up the referees for that one because quite often we don't get the second assist, but that was amazing. I really enjoyed that goal. Lansbury in the second had a couple of good, a couple of good saves so Oof. far. Which that number? Unfortunately, just wasn't equal to that one from his point of view. Hey, but the the Lions have shown some fight in this one, and still a chance back in this. You we know the Lions never give up. That's the that's the mantra 
of the Birmingham Lion. Don't give up, never back down. This guy number 42 looks a lot better when they wear the red kit. Um, yeah, I think they, I think the the red kit is nicer. I would say in this one, especially since there's two different shades of white. I hope you uh, got that goal on replay. Could we play it the next break? Because I was doing the actual thingy and uh, it looked good. He did put it on at the time, yeah. I know, but I want it again. We'll see it again because of the the play. Uh, here's Cleary. Love the slap shot. Be very choosy with replays, Rob. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, good times. Essie's now. Oh, poke check! No, no. Oh, oh, big save by the goalie. No, that doesn't count as a shot. Uh, Lance. Oh, hello. With number forty-two, where did he come from? From a ninety-five. Good. What a back check from animation there. I tell you what, this animation is so slick. He's definitely Pixar. Like he's, he's definitely not the little lamp lumber of jumping up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Class player. Postal, I think, has moved to forward, which is an interesting dynamic. And Baker played D. Um, so a little switch around there, I've noticed from the, the Spitfires, a tactical one. And Baker with that point. Oh, and that oh. might have been why. What a point shot from Baker, just wide there. Beat everybody. Yeah. Sestra at the back door, but he shoots it and oh. is sneered by Lance Brown a second. Here we go, Dave. We get to see the goal again here. Watch. Pass a cross from Ricard. Bosch. Backhand by Bosch. Bostel. Bosch. Lovely. Finds the five hole, finds the gaping light of Dave, the five Dave's hole not there. watching again. Backhand. No, I'm not, I'm not and look at that anymore. finish there. Dave, Dave's falling asleep. I've oh. got my little mini screen over yeah. here. Yeah, the, the replay seems to be jammed on. Uh, um, uh, if anyone can take it away. No, thank you. Oh, and another five-hole goal from Cleary. He's a, he's a very good player, Cleary. He's been one of the best Spitfires this weekend. Both these teams fighting for the right to play the Kings. Yep. Not something that, uh, again, someone who was in this group. <laughs> the Kings in this group as well? Yep. No, no, sorry they weren't. I've just made that up. Yeah, you definitely. It's Cleary. Wants to get on with this in a hurry. Lance was outfield last weekend, apparently. So he, he's, he was, he's also an outfielder. Oh, nice pass. Tap in. We'll check. Oh, so he's a nice one there. there and Cleary. Cleary, nice pass to Posto. Posto. This move of Tepostal forward is working out well for them. Oh, oh and Cleary. Top bag. Bosch. So after turning away the first five shots, he's only saved one in the last four. Nine shots on goal. But these have all been very good shots, Nick. It's a nice place to set them up too. Is that your room key in front of us? Is that mine? Well, I don't generally have a room key for my parents' house. So that's probably my own. Sestra. Sestra. Chopping carrots through the zone. Chop. Oh, Animation tries to play it to Postal. It wasn't where he thought he was going to be. Here he is now, though. Animation. Nice chance. Shot. Oh. Tries to go upstairs but can't find the net. Baker. Baker that does, doesn't get a handle on it. I feel like I need a secret code word to say in conversation for you to give me a shot count discreetly. What do you reckon? It's currently 93, so. That one was going by the front of the net, but um, I think uh, Brown did the right thing just catching that one there. Up 
Beaker. Beaker now. Beaker. Reverse. Nice move by Baker there. Look at that. Oh, and that's offside. Good old Matthew Baker for the Spitfire. So, uh, there. Nick, always there when you needed them. Is indeed. Is did you get Blue Peter? No, did you did you get that that was a Baker's reference? Yeah, I did. Right, okay, just, just check. I think your mum's gone rogue. She sat over there with the Kings having a good good old chimwag. Is she? Top row, can you see? Next to the oh. next to the cross. Oh, she's up by Beth. Yeah. Maybe it would be good chums for the wedding. Shot. Well that's wide. Oh she's a fan of the Kings, I think. I quite like the Kings, we have a good friendly rivalry with them. Oh, and that's a collision. We do, we said it earlier this year when we coached against each other. We were having a good chat in the corridor for about, what, a good half an hour before the game and then we went on, we played a game, feisty game, like coached against each other and then went straight back in the corridor afterwards and just had a good laugh, went to the pub. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that Eagles game this year was one of the, one of the most well, interesting games ever. But yeah, <laughs> that would have been a good one for the live stream. Not many get 12-12 draws. <laughs> Of course, there was a live stream, wasn't there? This TV's really in the wrong place. Um, too many people push you along as well. Well, you're the talent, sort them out. Ah, uh, sorry. I, I think it's about time Essie went and made, went and made you go outside and do the warm-up. Nice and next ice cup. <laughs> Animation. If anyone's ever wondered if Rambo can do 70 burpees. I can do 70 burpees, but um, normally it's when I've drank a lot of Diet Coke. Oh, Baker, He's where were you there? Oh, in his skate. Yeah. He might need new skates if he has the dough to buy them. <laughs> I make myself laugh and then and then I just can't help it. Who was saying they were missing the puns earlier? Uh, that was Rob. Rob said he missed the puns. Blame him. Uh. <laughs> Does anybody know what's for dinner? Uh, it's not the steak pie with the potatoes in it. How do you know? Because um, that was yesterday. Was it? Yeah. There was some after the... Um, after the dogs game? Yeah, yeah, after... The, no, it was, it was due to... It was just... Oh, Before just prior, just prior. All right. Cleary! Oh, off the outside of the post. He was looking for a natural there, Nick. You know what? You know, for a natural. You know, well, we had one earlier. Did we? You missed it. Is that Jess Urquhart? No, we had oh, one earlier. You missed it. We, we announced it. We had it all. We had a good laugh that you were the only person in the building who would have cared. I almost went round to go and find you. Did you ask the player if it felt natural? Uh, no, but um, if, as just just looking for Dave to answer here. Um, has anybody obviously told Rambo the bad news? What's that? Uh, we're going to have to take the trophy away from you. It's here. Yeah. I brought it back no, on. I mean in terms of like the, the overall win. Why? Yeah. Uh, you, you went off the wrong door at the end of the game. Yeah, I'm allowed off the wrong door. I'm on my trainers. That was uh, decreed last time when my mum almost fell in her length. Yeah, so but you're not your mum. Yeah. Mum's the word on that. Yeah. That clarification yeah, of that but rule. Yeah, but also I had to, we, we had to carry all our kits around before the final and then walk all the way back around again. So. Yeah, no, and that warm-up is what actually won you the game. You think? That's what we discussed. We discussed it on the live stream. We confirmed it, did we not, Rob? Yes, we did. And then, and then poor Bradley had to walk all the way back around to join the stacks. <laughs> we may have played big minutes in the, in the final. I, I, I don't know how that worked, but um, anyway... Animation now, it's a two on one. You've got Sestra at the back door here. Emma Gordon. Oh, oh just nice missed move. the check. Oh, 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 what a finish there. That's a nice cheeky little goal. That was a short side wrister, Nick. Uh, again. Another short side wrister goal. Little tickle. Yep. Here's the goalie. It's not bad positioning from the goalie, Did really. It's just good. That? There wasn't, was there? I don't think that was bad work from the goalie, really. No, like. no, just a nice finish. And here's Cleary now. Cleary, Cleary. Oh, he tries to go short side wrister again. 
I need to go and have a word with the Kings for this next game. No short side wristers. No, they, they need to take some. <laughs> also, generally, not conceding two goals in the first 30 seconds is... Uh, oh, oh, clearly goes back to... Goes back this, to is, uh, this is a thing that I do... It impresses me, but also scares me. So many goalies catching pucks that are on the ice these days. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Watch this, watch. You get, you, look, it's very good hand-eye, don't get me wrong, but... That's really yeah, He's kind of got his pad behind it. Kind of. Just punt kinda, it. Kind of, kind of. Maybe it's just the, the, the stand-up in me. The stand-up goalie in me from back in the day. Good dude. Well, the comedy career didn't go very well then if you see him sat in here. Animation. Oh. Oh, 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 he did get taken away from him. By the man in red. Oh. Nice, nice little move. Do it again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get a Nick highlight on that? Right, now that Rob's standing... Let's, oh, let's by the way, you also uh, you also missed slightly. Um, Rob was rather keen in the penalty shootout to get the highlight off. Oh, yeah, the first one. Um, so the first goal, um, who, who scored for the Queen's first goal? Was it uh, Turnbull? Claire, Claire Turnbull, yeah. Claire Turnbull. Um, I hope she didn't want to see the replay. <laughs> yeah, Dad recorded it. There's a beautiful, beautiful replay of a skate in. Yeah. Rob pressed it so early that you didn't get the shot. <laughs> Uh, did you, uh, obviously her dad, Jamie Turnbull, um, are, uh, are my assistant this year, um, through, through no choice of his own, I may add, he just uh, came in and ended up being given a job. Um, oh, Postal, Postal! Oh, that was rather unselfish, Postal, there, on a one on one to try and pass it. The goalie is okay? very slowly getting up here. Seems to be okay. He's faced 13 shots so far in this game. Oh, <laughs> he's got half his equipment on, nearly had to face the shot. Lions have generated a shot in a while, so still 13 shots to three. Here's Baker. Oh. There we go. Chance. That's not going to cut the mustard for the Lions. And Ricard. Was Ricard not one of the uh, the Starks or something? Well, that's Ricard. Yes. Is he the one who doesn't know how to weave? Yeah, he doesn't know how to zigzag. Not much chat on the live stream at the moment, but it's, uh, it's early days yet for some good chat on the live stream. Apart from James Williams reminding us, it was indeed a 25 minute game for this game. Um, Cleary, Cleary plays it to Cesar, can't quite get a hold of it. Gordon will go back there to collect, and that'll be icing. Called by Mr. McKinnon all by himself. Job there, I think. Yeah, call, call an ice. We get this shot here. Do, 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 do. Well, I think if you're the Lions, the comeback has to start. Dead. Mm -hmm. It certainly does. You needed to maybe start with a face-off win, which it hasn't. The importance of face-offs. Um, it's an underrated art form nowadays. Poked in, now picked up. No clear off the wall. And that'll go the length. Speaking of face offs, when's that new Nick Cage movie coming out? Oh, yeah, is it Nick Ca Nicholas Cage is Nick Cage or something and how to be unbelievably talented or something? Yeah. This sounds like worth a watch. <laughs> Again, I would strongly advise everybody out there to go to your local cinema. Pete Brothers is on the line. Pete Brothers, of course, he invented the uh, Bush Springer. Um, I think is, is Springer still up here? No. Well, I need to show him that when we see him next. Sestra. Sestra. We do. Oh. Overhandles a little bit. That might work out, though. Sestra might get an assist out of this. Big oh, and he does. Sestra with a bit of an overhandle here. Watch number eight. Overhandles it. It was all the way through at Cleary. And Cleary just rips a slap shot in for the hat trick. He's been dying to do that all weekend. Oh. Well, Goalie might have wanted that one back, but. Back and goes to that. Was that you that made that noise, or Dave? Postal. What noise? Postal has Chapman. Oh, Chapman. They're queuing up. Cha oh, Chapman, yeah. Just lost the handle. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of the uh, direction finder being off there. Back it goes.
goes to the point, flipped. Drew saying he is just talking about how he wanted to see that this morning. I sometimes can't keep up because people are slightly behind us when we're chatting. So I'm not sure what Drew is saying. We're Millie so avant-garde, aren't we? All oh. ahead of everyone. Thanks, Dave. Another save there by Lance Brown. Not a bad out in 16 shots on now. Still only the three from the Lions. Who, if they're gonna, if they're gonna generate the comeback, need to really up the ante of it. Stopped. Cross to Baker. Baker. Nice shot right Big on. Save. Big save by Brown. <laughs> we're now ticking down to the stop clock part yep. of the game. Two minutes, the timekeeper is aware. Ain't going to brag about this and then get 159 like Joe did earlier. <laughs> Cleary lines up for a face off. It's won by Birmingham, but Hustler with his hustle, he gets it back. Oh, and Rickard. A hold of it. Is there a go consolation goal in here for the Lions? Well, you never know. If they score now, then they, they could get three in there in the time we have left. But they need they'd, four. they'd still they be need, one behind. They need four, but they could get three. <laughs> I was about to say, if, you, if they score now, then yeah, they will get a consolation goal, won't they? Baker. Baker. Baker looks crossword. Oh, Hustler. They, they, Nick, you do realise people can hear you doing that weird dripping water noise on the live stream. And Philippa McKinnon, I've remembered to call it that, calls it offside. Now Dave's doing it. It sounds like a goldfish. <laughs> no, that was Nick. Sestra, Sestra, Sestra. Oh, <laughs> get out my way. The flying lion there. Sestra, I'm Very not stick Why happy. is there so many people bashing the ice with a stick? That so was last week. Oh. oh, no. Toe picked. Baker. Baker now. Cross ice pass to Postel. Lovely control by Postel for a second there. And as soon Still as I said side. lovely control, it all went to oh, he's in. Postel now. Postel. Tries to backhand that one in front. That's chipped out. Mason will pick it up. Mason fires it round. Shot back in the corner. And there's flipped out. Oh, now Emma Gordon stops it. Oh. The relentless Emma Gordon. Oh, nice pass. <laughs> Postal, Postal now. Postal, chance in the backhand. Shoot, Gordon. Battles in there in the wall. A lot of battling on the wall here. 20 seconds. And we're ticking down to the end of this one. That is all she wrote, folks. Commiserations to the Lions, gave it everything they got. They certainly did, they certainly did. And now we've got the Mav C, I believe, against... Um, the Bears D. The Bears D. give you the honours of putting the score bug up. Do it. Do it. Oh. Really? I 
Ashton Rafter has asked if she can have a go at commentating, which I think might not be a bad thing because then we'll get everyone from Northern Ireland listening. Yep, yeah, the whole of Northern Ireland. Can so I just chime in to say I took my shoes off a little while back. This has nothing to do with the current game. Yep. Are you sure? I want to know if Rob Grant is going to throw this bottle of water. Throw it. Record it, Essie. Throw the bottle. Record it. Oh, it all went to plan. This is a rather long warm up. Back to work. Very nice of the Birmingham Lions to stay behind and do the penalty box. That is, I do appreciate that. I've really appreciated it over the last two weekends that we've had teams that have been on the knockout and they're um, sticking around. It's great. Here we go. Second quarter final. Oh, that. Oh, we. Oh, that looks painful. Everyone okay? Picks up. Chance. Oh, 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 oh he's still got it, he's there! Oh, oh good goal <laughs> tending there. Did we get a highlight of that there, Rob? Good, good, well done. I don't need to call you any names. Oh, he's still there. Oh, no one noticed. Is this guy, is this guy, who's number 44? I, I've not got that information at my fingertips. I don't have enough he's got green, before. green choke covers. Steed. Steed, Gallop, noble, Gallop, no, Gallop. No, oh. Noble Steed. Oh, oh, Shatwell. 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 Oh! This is obviously the Nottingham team that um, gave the Vikes quite the. Uh, here comes Bugberg. Quite the tussle. Bugberg to the middle. Oh, and Pimbury Jones can't pick that one up. I remember some of those ones from earlier on. Thank you very much. Oh, skin, skins one. Chance. Oh, big save right on from Sheffield Bears there. And well, this is this is up the ante this game, isn't it? 44 for Nottingham Rambo is Henry Forbes. Thank you. 44 for Nottingham is Henry Forbes with the old school Mavs jersey on. Just as offensive to the eyes, everyone. The one true Mav, seeing as the others aren't Mavericks. Oh yeah, we forgot because they branded their st they branded them, didn't they? So. Oh, that's um, not sure. I agree with this one, Rambo. Don't about you? We were getting a highlight of something else uh, from earlier. Yeah. That shot and that tip and then that oh. secondary, that lovely little play by the goaltender there. I think it's King in goal for Sheffield Bears. Lovely just bats that one to the side with authority. Ah, Dave complaining about the scoreboard. In the end of the news, the sky is quite often blue. I don't like Dave to complain. He's not a, he's not a complainer. Oh, oh, there's the even up goal. I would send both of them for that, by the way. He put his swimming trunks on for that ref. That's it's called interference. It's called interference. I mean, that was a trip and a dive, but I mean, okay, fair enough. Ah, you... Two minutes interference. Yep, I'll just make up calls too, yeah. Blow the whistle and make any signal you want and then try and stick with it because otherwise you look like an even bigger mug than you do when you call something that definitely wasn't. Anyway, four on four. <laughs> Rich hit. I mean, it probably was a penalty. I mean, but oh, it was, was a penalty. It was, it was, it was never also, also a rather large dive. <laughs> yeah. You can call both of them for that. Yep. I've done it. It's funny. Uh, Wicks. It's oh. funny because it Richie. annoys the hell out of everybody. Yeah. Forbes. Henry Forbes. Pass it to Bugberg. 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 Downing. That's it. Down, Downing. Downing's not had enough ice time today. No, no, no. You, you. I actually think that she's been underutilised. <laughs> Hell of a player, actually. Henry Forbes, he saw the option to pass to Burke there, but he didn't get on oh, That was just, that was really just rubbish. 
It was kind of his own fault. Yeah. All his own fault. Yeah. All tooth, no fang there, Nick. I'm trying to think of other ways to say it, say it these things, so all tooth, no fang. I'm going to rock that one and see what people think. Um, and the Mavs, the, the Bears are going to have a short... Oh, what a nice pass. A pass to Park. He's a lively character, isn't he? Oh, and chance. Oh, oh, and he's checked there. Well, he called it. The, the we call could have on. anything. Uh, what are we getting here? Tripping. Two minutes for hooky. Two minutes for tripping. Oh, we've we've not got a signal. Yet. He's not even given the signal this time because he's trying to think. What is that again? Cross check. Is the signal? He gave body checking. Yeah. Body charge. Just as well we're up here. It's called body charge. It's called body charge. I once put my hand on an electric fence once, that was a body charge. Oh, that, oh, 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 oh what, what a save. Oh, the goalie's got it. <laughs> Burroughs is wanting to Burroughs his head in the sand after that chance goes a big in. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be here for the rest of the weekend. Really? Yep. The great thing is that because no one likes, not number Sheffield normally, <laughs> we don't have many people coming on the other street. Oh, so, a chance. Because most yeah, people, what, what are the numbers? Uh, oh, they've dipped. 44. Oh, big save. Most of the comments come when there's a team on that they like and they want to support them. That's nice. not from just down the road. Yeah. Chance for Pimbury Jones. Oh, oh, and he finally scores it. And Burrows now Burrows one. Oh, great. Look at this. This is just secondary effort. Pimbury Jones there with the assist. Pimbury Jones, who, this is going wide. That's a nice pass. That is, that's lovely. We'll give him, we'll give him the credit for the pass rather than the rather misdirected shot. You can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket, Nick. Which reminds me, I need to check my lottery. But in which case, you need on. to make sure you go into the right shop because that that was definitely going to the wrong shop. Yeah, fair enough. Kravitz, Lenny loses his stick there. Just wide. I've only got a limited knowledge of Lenny Kravitz songs to use for Kravitz and commentary. So I apologise to everyone in advance. It's Smith. Hustle. Hustle. Whoa! Oh, 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 swing and a miss. Faked him out. Chance. Shot. Bump, bump, bump. Didn't necessarily know where the Bears were going with that. No. So that was quite an exciting flurry. So could I have a little shot count, please? the shot count. Lovely job, thank you. Bears yet to generate a shot. Oh, okay. chance! Oh, that was lovely. Oh, oh, it's off the post! Oh, that better be a highlight of that. It better be a highlight of that. Let's see that. That just squeaked. This could have gone anywhere. It went anywhere but where the Mavs wanted it to go. King, lovely screen there. Then King makes a save and then he Ooh. kicks it. Oh, 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 oh. He got a little bit lucky, a little bit desperate, but a little bit savvy in goals. Sometimes I don't know where I'm going with things till I finish, Nick. I don't know if you've noticed that. Over this last long number of years. No, I hadn't. Wicks. Bridget. You say, Nick, uh, one thing from the last game is we now know who uh, the Kings are playing in the next round, don't we? Southampton. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What do you think of that? I'm not allowed to ask probing questions as a commentator. Oh, King. Oh, he's fought that one off. King again. King up to 12 shots on him, and he's absolutely he's turning shots aside for fun. Apart from the one that went in, obviously. But, that, I mean... Oh, in terms of my thoughts on the uh, upcoming semi-final... Um, Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, uh, Kings are pretty just happy to be there, so got to play with that mentality of just see what happens. Well, we're getting to the you, we're getting to the uh, semi-final, Nick, and I'm not trying to make this nasty, but Ooh. oh, that's a that's a delay game, is not? Has he seen that touched? Uh, I would have said he was he's pretty much challenged there in terms of I don't think he was fully in control of his own stick. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. It's um, but uh, the refs haven't called it, so. Uh, I think he was halfway through playing the puck and then got stick lifted, which I think resulted in. Uh, well, I think it would have been rather harsh. 
unlike the clear one yesterday that they tried to fight their way out of. That was, if I remember who that was, that was uh, ridiculous. Yeah. I've had to, uh, played two games as a guest for the Queens this year in, uh, against mixed teams. Um, two delay game penalties doing exactly the same thing. Who One you? of which, the angle to do it from was almost impossible. So I don't know how I managed to do it. But. I'd blame your stick manufacturer. But we're both with your Fisher stick right enough. It's not scored with that Fisher stick. I've concussed your goalie. Yes, but, um, thank you very much for that. <laughs> not that we'd celebrate on being concussed, but I can definitely get a good shot on it. I just, um, I think the accuracy, accuracy is probably my fault, uh, if I'm yes. being honest. Uh, <laughs> yes, definitely. But uh, yes, I thoroughly recommend those uh, Fisher sticks. I quite, enjoy. I quite like it. Here we go. Oh, and chance to potentially Burrows. put a dagger in the heart. Shoots oh, and, and there scores. We go. There we go. He's the danger man. Still 15 shots to nil, Nick. Whoop. Again, like fundamentally not bad positioning from the goalie, just gets beat. Goaltending, I have to say, over the three, the first three weekends, sorry, two weekends. Okay, so which, like which weekend, which weekend first, did you turn up First three tournaments and this tournament. Yeah, so no, far, I'm not going to lie, last uh, Saturday seemed like... Uh, like two weekends, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, um, it's been. I think it's been decent. The quality of it and the, and the fundamentals have been pretty good. Oh, 100%. Play by Downing. Downing turns and gives. They really should sort this player out that has their jersey tucked in so far in that I don't even know if they have a number on their jersey. Let alone. They've got one of those really nice, um, like, back guards. Yeah, well, that's like, why you might have your jersey. Yeah, no, I was about to. I was <laughs> Thanks, Robert. In case someone gets their face Ooh, red, he red just uh, yep. bundled his way through there. Buck, Buck Berk there with the uh, bundling someone out of the way. Well, 20, down to 29 now for this game. Nick, this, is, uh, this game has driven viewers away. Um, can't really blame the commentary either. No, I think it would be. I think we've been pretty tight, actually. I'm being honest. Um, 31 now. Shot. Oh, Cali. Oh. Shot. Still not a shot. Generate a shot and goal. Yeah. That's how boring this game's been. It's, only bo it's been one-way traffic. In the, 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 the oh, the oh, big save. Yeah, save. That's the 17th shot on him now. Forbes. Nice hands. Oh. Come on. Come on, Bears. You know what I'm worried about? Mm -hmm. Not that an enviable thing of the Mavs winning both the Vaz and the play. Could oh. happen. Oh. That gives me the heebie jeebies that does. Somebody has got to take Max Springer off this ice, though. But they did in the top half of the draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's David Astle's problem. Well, oh, that Tom McDonald's oh, looked pretty unbeatable ouchie. this weekend, actually. Here's Bridget. Bridget, shot! That looked like it hurt. Right over the bar. Marzina. Chance now for Kimichi. Burrows off the wall. Burrows. Burrows. Shot. Big save again. This, goal, this goaltender's really, really played well in this game. Shot's now 20 to nil, Nick. 20 to nil. It's only 2-0 on the score sheet. Yeah, the goalies are always really casual when they start off on the back cam, aren't they? 
Burrows has been the player of the game so far anyway for Nottingham, the most important player. Launch free. Kavici, it's off the wall. Picked up by Smith. Smith will carry. Smith, 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 Smith. <laughs> Pepper Jones, and that's another big save from the Sheffield Bears goaltender. After this game, the excitement of an ice cup. Let's see how the crowd reacts this week. Watch me. Have, uh, have you told Ashley that she's commentating on the ice cup yet? Um, uh, well, she's not quite made it round, as you can I see. I think she's, she's on her way. Sporting an and edge, she's now a going the other way. Hat there. Green, off the wall. Chance! No, that was not a chance. That she's now there. going in the opposite direction, but it does give you a chance to talk to her about Andy. That's what I was hoping. I'm going to send her a message to tell her to remind her to come up during the ice cup for that. Also, still going in the wrong direction. Would you like to get her a map? Yeah, she knows how to get up here. She's been up here before. Maybe it's just the pressure. Who was a. Uh, penalty shots were done in four, weren't they? Yeah, who was your fifth shooter? It would have been Megan Singleton. Um, Controversial question. You don't have to name them. Did you have anybody say no? Um, Vicky Mackay, which was fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for the Angels, I had I had um, five that I asked pre pre knockouts. You see, to... I never asked anyone before because I didn't want to put it in their head. Oh, um, oh I hope we've got a replay of that. Just for the bravery of this young oh, man. Oh, oh, I'm not surprised he's slow getting up. I, I would have lost my lunch there, I'm being honest with you. <laughs> what, a, what a block. That was right in the carrots and onions. <laughs> I'm sure he's the one who uh, caught the check the, can we, know, the hit as well. Can we, can we please see that game? Watch. Oh, no, we've got oh. the end. We've only got the end of it. Um, Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. He's, he's um, the if guy. If were here, he would have found that for us. But anyway. He's the guy down here who took an injury oh. off the play. And then, oh, <laughs> I'd just go home, my friend. I know it's not very far away, that but... Made, that made my eyes water. That was so you know, you know, what the, you know what the worst no, worst bit was? And the people at home won't realise this. Is from here, there was no audible real noise, which means it hit something soft. <laughs> <laughs> which could mean a number of things. Our thoughts go out to his family at this time. Where is he on the bench? <laughs> I'd be hiding on the bench. I wouldn't be going back on. <laughs> He's taking some punishment, this boy. Oh. Oh, dear. What's the one trying to stop a shot with a hand now? Oh. Oh. oh Good Never scramble. Mind. I haven't cried in a while. <laughs> Shot's down. 24 to the... Oh, chance for a two on one. Maybe not. Oh, we could save again. Save another, another classic save. We're gonna re replay of this here. <sighs> Let's just keep an eye on whether or not he comes out again. <laughs> right in the McNuggets. Do I need to step in for a moment? I'm just so laughing at Nick's reaction to this. Oh, tipped out in front of his face! Oh, great yeah. goaltending. Oh. Great goaltending, though. This this Sheffield Bears goaltender is an absolute war warrior in it. 26 to nil the shots now. Oh, oh dear. Didn't credit it with an extra shot there at the end, but... Oh, dear. I really hope that guy is okay, because that was a brave block. And he got back up into the play as well. He put his family on the line. Tough, tough player. I think, he's, I think he's the captain, which just shows shows important though, like a, a shot block is, doesn't it? Oh, oh that's off the oh. inside of the wrist too. Oh. oh, at least it wasn't that guy. This this Sheffield team are fearless. They're absolutely fearless. 
I give them they have my full respect. They may not win this game, but they have earned my respect. The goalie's the goalie's been great. Goalie's They're taking great. some harsh the, goalie, the players punishment. have caused there to be less shots by just throwing themselves in front of things. Here's Green. And they submitted their team sheet sometime. We're not going to talk about that. We don't talk about Bruno. There's Henry Forbes. Nice pass to Pimbury Jones. Pimbury Jones. That's oh, there oh, he is. He's back. He's back with the back check. <laughs> it was a great guy Gally. driving the back door. Just the wrong guy. Across it goes. Ashton. Oh, just Ashton be like, just keep, just keep the puck away from me, please. That's when he's going to score two goals to tie it up. There he is. Uh, do you know, if anyone deserves to score two goals in tight, and, and, or get a natural hat trick and win the game, it's this guy. Do you know what, Nick? You know what really bothers me? You you told me that this the final would go to penalty shots a couple of <laughs> days ago. Um, and it did. It did, yeah. It was terrifying. You shot well. You, did you see how quickly I had to run down the stairs to make sure that Dave didn't tell you the tell them wrong rule, rules? Yeah, shot well. Actually, oh, nice. rules. actually, I'll be fair. Dave had the rules correct. I just wanted to make sure that it's, you just had it's, the my, coin. it's my thing. I know you had the coin. West. Like, I could do it. I could do it. That's another Pat Stadder there for the Pat Stadder. Pat Sta yep. Padder. Yep. 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 It's that time of the weekend, folks. Puck in front. Oh, it's not kept in by anybody. Launchbury. Launchbury. Bark. Bark. Oh, shot. Oh. oh, collision. Smith. Oh, <laughs> nice little move by Steed there. <laughs> Very good play by Steed. With just enough of a stick lift. And Harris. Oh, God, this Harris. could be, this could be Harris. carnage. Harris. This could be carnage. Oh, no. Oh, I feel bad for him. He just needed to get the handle on that. I think he would have scored. West. Was that a shot on goal. They have booked the goose egg. Shots currently now 29 to 1. Uh, oh, oh he's in. and it's, here's Harris again. Harris. Shot. Two shots now on the Nottingham goalie. And we have less than four to go. I've got, I've got, uh, we've got Ashton Rafter now finally queued up. Um, I'm not sure how bevied she is. She was pretty bevied after the fight. <laughs> she's uh, she's had a pizza now, um, and she's uh, she's going to talk some some bandy in between the period, uh, the period breaks in between the when the ice cuts off. Didn't get us a pizza. Is that, is that banter? What? Bandy banter banter. Oh, thanks for that, Dave. Yeah, that was welcome. pretty bad actually. Yeah, um, I wish that wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't take it back now. Oh no, and Forbes now. Forbes is off to the races, he's got 1-0, and oh, Forbes shoots, oh, and when you've got tape like that, you've either got to be very good or ironically bad, you can decide it from home. <laughs> that goal, that's the goalie up now to, to 29 saves, 31 shots on him, what goalie? He said he's money worth this weekend, you know when you pay your money towards Nationals entry, mm -hmm. he can honestly go home and say, I paid... 31 quid for this. Eh, I got my money's worth. Pound a shot. Better deals than you get at the bar. <laughs> oh, Philippa Wheel is right in the middle of... Oh, yes, you have uh, right in her wheeler house there. Um, <laughs> nice move by Pimbury Jones. Pimbury Jones, nice hands. Pimbury Jones. <laughs> Burke, did you see that? Burke opened his legs to allow Pimbury Jones to try and shoot through them on target. It's a dangerous game. Bridget can't hold it. Down in. Nice turn. Down in. Such a solid player down in. Shot. Oh, and that's the, it's the 30th save of the match now. Bark. 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 Oh! oh! That's not a shot on goal, but that came very close. Be like a post. A goal. BYJ posts in the shootout, Rambo. We did, yeah. Laurie Ellis hit the post then, beat the goalie, and if she'd been an inch and a half right, would have scored, but... Could have ended it right there and then. Yeah, and Jess Urquhart, um, of course, hit the post as well. 
Chatwell. That'll be the third shot and goal against Nottingham. Shot's currently now 32 to 3. Mm, the first shot that's not Harris. West. Our, our friend down here has just had another, had another incident. Burrows. Goes one way, goes the other. Burrows. Oh, looking for that hat trick. Kravitz. Battle along the wall, Merzina. And then Kravitz, a cuddle there. Oh. West. Finds Burrows. Oh, and Burrows gets the hat trick. And guess what that is, Nick? A hat trick. Natural hat trick. I also think it goes in of Kali's stick. Just to compound. I think it does. Yeah. Oh, that's a real shame. Anyway, 33 shots to three. Yeah, that's not a bad score considering that. No, so. not at all. <laughs> um, Harris. Harris. Who's responsible for two of the Shoot. three shots? Oof. Dave's announcing the next train to arrive at the station. Here's Did he just say natural hat trick? Yeah. Lovely. Dave just announced natural hat trick in the arena. And no, nobody knows what it is. Good save there on the park there. So that is uh, the 34th shot on goal for the Mavericks C team. I was going to question the natural hat trick, hat trick because it's a 25 minute period. So, well, it you know. I thought it had to be in the same period. Now I'm having the one-way conversation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, turnover. It's, there's a, there's That's a, off, Embry Jones. Another big save. Another one. And another one. 35 shots on now. Oh, good D. Kimiche, and they're away. Kimichi against Launchbury. Launchbury, good back check in there. Picked up. Say pass. Harris actually kind of stops an attack here almost. Kamichi, chance for one more shot, maybe? No, 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 no. Yep, shot. Oh, blocked. And that'll do it, uh, folks. That will do. Well, shot count 35 to 3 in the end there. What a performance from the Sheffield Bears goalie. We're going to have a brief couple of minutes and then we'll be joined by Ashlyn Rafter to talk some bandy. And then I think she's going to give her, her hand a try at commentating. And presumably the whole of Northern Ireland will join in, those who are not watching the Belfast Giants. Um, and that'll be fun for us. So um, <laughs> we're back shortly, OK?
So folks, um, I know you've got your graphic on. We're going to get the, I think we're going to camera it facing the commentary position. Um, Essie might be in the way, I'm not entirely sure. Um, so Ashlyn, grab yourself a headset there. Oh, look at this. This is the first day we've done this in a while. This is an old school way of doing the interviews um, this year. So Ashlyn, there's a camera over there. You can speak to her. You can speak to me, whatever you want. You can hear me in your headset. So um, <laughs> joined by Ashlyn Rafter. Now, Ashlyn, obviously, um, I, I don't think we can, we can say, say we're a very exciting day today. Yeah. Um, yeah. You happy about that? Yeah, it was great to get that back in the last minute of the game and then take it all the way to the shootout as well. So yeah. So you, you came away with player of the game after um, not only um, scoring the equalising goal, but uh, that shot block. What went through your mind at that point? Because <laughs> that was that was bravery. <laughs> well, like, obviously Jess is a strong player for the, the Mavs and, and I've played with her for years. So I knew if she's going to shoot it from there, she's going to get it in, you know, so... It was putting the body on the line, I think, <laughs> to like make sure it wasn't going anywhere near that net. And yeah, it didn't even cross, not a single thought didn't cross my mind other than just get in front of that puck. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Now, yeah. um, we yeah. also brought you up here, because uh, um, not to subliminally advertise Carlsberg, but <laughs> you've got a medal there um, yeah. on your on your Eagles hat. Um, <laughs> and that is, your, that is your Bandy World Championship silver medal. So... Talk us through Bandy. What what is it? Because some people might not know. Yeah. Um, so uh, Bandy is a, another ice sport. It's the second biggest ice team sport uh, to ice hockey. It's a sport played a lot in uh, Russia and Scandinavian countries. And essentially, what it is, it's like the rules of field hockey but on ice. So there's 11 players either side, and we play with a ball instead of a puck. And uh, the ice is the size of a football pitch. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. Um, all the rules are just like field hockey or football, really. Um, and the nets are a lot bigger. Um, and yeah, there's not as many tar tight turns or uh, slap shots as you, you would say. It's more golf swing shots. Um, yeah. And yeah, and the team I went out with were the, the Great British, the first ever Great British women's bandy team. So yeah. First ever one, and you come, and you come in with, home with a silver medal. Very good achievement. Thank and you. the final was. Uh, was Kind of similar today was absolutely terrifying to watch. It was so close, so tight. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the Holland came out on top. Um, yeah. But um, what was the experience like of being over in a World Championships? What's what's that like for people that have never experienced that before? Um, well, I was always wanting that experience. Like since being involved with GBU and and getting involved with the bandy, it's been great because that was my first experience of getting into like a World Championship setting, and it was. Honestly, just am amazing because you you were playing literally other other countries and like, and um, the the staff involved and the, the supporters were and singing your national anthem was just like it was really like it just met sport just felt so precious in that moment like you were playing literally for your country so yeah uh, and it was nice because it felt like I had a lot of support back home as well so um, yeah it was just not about playing for the name on the back it was playing for definitely the name on the front so lovely yeah. and um, <laughs> obviously you shared that experience with quite a few players that you've been to maybe GBU camps with before two Steel Queens um, and you know and, so, and some players you know former Steel Queens and, and Beth Milne um, yeah. did that make it all the more special? Yeah absolutely so I think out of the whole tournament I think our team definitely had the best team spirit we all kind of came out without playing bandy before none of us had anything to lose you know we were just coming out with a great attitude and i think that is totally what makes the difference is having a team that has such a good attitude um and we had uh, joe from s club seven wishing us uh, good luck because we were all singing uh, reach um, and she said let's go girls reach for those stars and it was little things like that like when we were getting noticed for our good spirit that kept us going and yeah um me and vicky carson as well from the seal queens we would uh, sing you raise me up by westlife every morning just to get the emotions out there and, and keep our heads straight and vicky carson she's not known for her team spirit of course uh. <laughs> <laughs> vicky vicky's very much the heartbeat of any team or any any place she's ever been to so yeah and uh, there was a, there was a couple of swedish girls in your team i noticed that obviously had a, maybe a bit more bandy experience um, yeah we, were, were you introduced to them on your first venture out there? How did you? How did they fit in with the rest of the team, who were mainly from Britain? 
Yeah, um, so the couple of girls that you're talking about would be Saga Hartley and Miranda Bash. Um, both of those girls have grandparents or parents from Britain, um, which made them eligible to play, which was great. Um, and Miranda is actually the youngest player on the team. She was only 14 and Saga was 18. Um, but Saga also goes to like a bandy school. So it's kind of like a hockey school, but for bandy in Sweden. Um, which, as you can imagine, probably only exists in, in Sweden and, and like Russia and things. So, yeah, she's a very special player and a great girl. Um, we learned a lot from them. Just having a couple of players that knew what they were doing um, and having good spirits as well was, was so important. Yeah, and I think uh, I think it was Saga Hartley. Was that number 21? She was quite the singer as well, if I remember, from <laughs> some of the, the stories that were being shared. I think she was 30, 33, I think. All oh, right, OK. 33, but yeah, um, yeah, she... Uh, she was quite the, it was Isla, Isla Hobbins that was number 21. Right. Um, she was a girl, she plays out at Bristol Huskies. Uh, she's one to watch. I think she's going to get involved with the GBU programme in future. She's going to university next year. Um, and yeah, she was a great skater as well. She got involved a lot of the singing as well. And <laughs> yeah, it was great um, to have both of them on board. And yeah. Great experience. Now there's one moment, I know that is, you're, a, you're a big team person, but there was one moment that was particularly special for me watching as uh, someone who's coached you and knows you, yeah. um, and I'm sure it was special to, uh, to Mama Rafter as well. <laughs> um, talk us through your, your first goal as a, as a bandy player. Oh, that, that, I think I just came out that day and I was just like, I really would love to get a goal. Like It would be something to come home with, even if we don't come like for m myself personally. Um, and it was, it was great. I think it was maybe the, f the first or second goal against Switzerland in the semi-final. So, yeah, it was a really, it was, it was a good lucky bounce off the goalie, but it was a juicy rebound, as you would say. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it did cross my mind uh, what coaching advice you know, you've given us once <laughs> about juicy rebounds. So yeah, I was very happy with, with that one. Cool, cool. So um, yeah, so um, what, what's next for the GB Bandy program? Um, literally just getting prepared for the next competition. Uh, possibly in Minnesota next year. Oh wow! Yeah, so. Um, the only bandy rink in the USA is in Minnesota, so uh, possibly the next one will be there. And we're just getting the team together for that. And yeah, if anyone wants to get involved, please please get in touch. Um, we're looking for people that are good skaters and are good good people all around. You know, we're, we're a really fun team. So yeah. Lovely. Well, thanks for thanks for talking us through that. And then, um, yeah. where can people find um, GB Bandy uh, if they want if they want to check it out a bit more, even just to watch it or support? Yeah, um, so uh, bandy season's almost over, but it um, starts back up again, like the hockey season soon. Um, and you can follow the Great British Bandy Association on Facebook and follow Team from GB Women's Bandy on Instagram as well. Um, to keep, and if you want to get in touch, as I say, please let me know or let the Facebook or Instagram pages know. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, you're going to hang around. I think you want to try your hand at commentating. <laughs> um, so we've got the, uh, the Oxford Vikings next against the Bears Sea. Um, I think we'll maybe put the camera back to where it should be, um, <laughs> because it's, uh, it's it's off now. But um, that was it. That was a good chat. Thanks for that, Ashlyn. No, thank you, and thanks for letting me uh, stay on for a bit. No, no, it's all right. Sorry, right. we've got to wait. You've got to wait somewhere for your mum to get out of, uh, <laughs> out of Belfast Giants mode. Yeah, I don't really know. What, I don't actually know what the score this is. This worked over amazingly there. well for your mum, didn't it, this weekend? It it's really so. certainly did. Yeah. Um, she's got all her buddies over here from Belfast as well, so she's she's having a great time. Is that Mum and Papa after I met today as well? Yeah, yeah, mm. Papa after was here too. <laughs> He's just left. Is she, is she back next weekend for uh, for baby brother after? Or? Uh, next weekend, Andy is playing in the NIHL too. Uh, oh, is he? All oh, right, okay. So he's not going to be here, unfortunately. No, unfortunately not. I think he would have been here had he not been playing for the Titans. Yeah. So had they both not clashed. Interesting enough, you don't know this, but when we went to when we went to Bradford. Um, we, uh, we, were, we were in the, we went up into the wee dressing room, on the wall, had the lines for the Titans and your brother's name was on it. So someone was like, why is Rafter up there? I was like, that's, that's Ashton's little brother. <laughs> we're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You've got, you've, got, you've got a smaller brother than him as well. Though. I've got the, the youngest one, he's called Rory, he plays ice hockey too. Um, yeah, he plays it for fun. Is he, is he considering attending university as well? Is he? Or? Um, I think he's more of a of a, a, a sort of apprenticeship kind of guy. I think he's gonna. That was uh, very well spoken out. That was. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
I don't um, know if Rob's on the stream or not, actually, when he's saying these things. I am on the stream. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's quite good at fixing our, our household appliances. Um, and he's kind of taking that a bit more seriously now. So. Where? Yeah. yeah. He also thinks Guinea's a load of rubbish, so. <coughs> Fair enough. <laughs> First shot on goal um, for the uh, Vikings on the Bears there. So it's, uh, I have to keep them updated with the shot count and you see because they, 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 they don't pick it up quite as well. Okay. Um, Dave is gone. I am here. Oh. Yeah, please update me still. That would be number 41, Lee, who was playing in our... Yeah, country. her name's actually Schreiber. It's someone sure. else's jersey, yeah. Oh. That was the, the girl who scored the goal um, in the semi-final where I couldn't even be mad because it was such a good goal. <laughs> yeah. Great goal. You'll notice a few familiar faces. There's another one for you in the middle there. Oh, yeah. Is that Joe? It's Walker Silverman. Oh, yes. Oh, good save from good Winters save. there. Yeah. Is he not um, in the... Uh, you play with your brother sometimes. Nick Winters, he? yeah. He's uh, the starting goalie for the Titans as well. Um, been to GBU a few times. He's a good goalie. He's actually an uh, inline hockey player as well. Yeah. As far as I know. This Vikings team are very handy. Keep an eye on number 64, Drobny, who we eventually think will hit the net with one of his shots. Unlucky. Get to my bolero there. I see my mum has now become a sort of closet Kings fan over the other side. She's sat with all the Northumbria Kings. <laughs> She's very good at making friends. That was a good poke check from Charlotte O'Brien there. She's a, she's a terrific player. She was playing forward, actually, for the women's team. Um, That's interesting. And uh, Brainer was uh, on her line. Another uh, GBU, I think former GBU player, perhaps. But, um, yeah. Current GBU, I think. She's current GBU? Yeah, yeah. She's still eligible. She's playing next week in uh, Tier 1. No, no. Uh, there was much laughter earlier on as somebody blocked a shot from Sheffield and it didn't make a noise, but he went down very hard. Um, so we're not sure what it hit, but it was soft, whatever it was. <laughs> and Nick found this very funny. Drop me! <laughs> oh, hey, there we go. Um, so that is two shots on goal, three shots on goal, sorry, on Nick Winters so far. And uh, I think I got more shocked there that it was Drobney that actually put it on net and actually found the target. Good, effect, good movement there from Winters there to keep track of the puck because there was a lot of, a lot of traffic in front of him. Old man McGlynn back to the point. Pennington, shot. Oh, flicked. Oh, gloved. Charlotte O'Brien there trying a bit of football. Nick Winters uh, picking some apples. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't bad. I liked that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, big save. So uh, we'll get a little um, get a change from Sheffield. So um, obviously uh, the, the women's nationals was a bit of a different format this year with the, the quarterfinals and everything because we had two groups. But what do you make of the new format for the non-checking with the uh, with the vases and the plate? Well, just explain that for me again, actually, because. Um, <laughs> I haven't been involved with the non-checking teams, so... So essentially, because um, the teams are in three groups, um, and every first and second all qualify for the plate tournament, which is the higher level, and everyone who finishes third and fourth, qualify, good save, uh, finishes and goes into the Vaz tournament, and the, the best two third places go into the, get a bye to the semi-finals of the Vaz, and the best two first places get a bye to the... So it means everyone has a knockout game. That's actually quite exciting for... for um for teams to get that chance, even if they haven't performed as well as they wanted to. Well, that was the, that was the aim here, is that, that yeah. you know everybody will have a meaningful game on the Sunday because quite often a lot of teams turn up on the Sunday and <laughs> there's absolutely nothing for them to gain out of winning a game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everyone has a team, has something to play for. I see uh, Anna Daisy Lefley has joined us. 
I don't think she was playing yesterday. No, she Dance. um she was uh, imported in today. Uh, she's got a dodgy knee though. She wanted me to point out for the live stream. So if she plays rubbish, that's why. She's also hungover. Fair enough. We sympathise with the knee, not with the, uh, <laughs> the self-inflicted wounds. Chance for Walker Silverman. Oh, big save from Winters again there. There was a bit of confusion earlier on when uh, the Bears were playing their, their group game and someone thought they were the Stags, which I thought was... Uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't think they look that similar in jerseys. Oh, big block from Hennick. Oh, great scoop save there by Winters. And I'm going to check this with Rob, but I think the shots now are 8-1. to one. Thank you, Rambo. Much appreciated. So you weren't paying attention. That was a test. I was uh, doing some technical things with Dave, thank you very much. Uh, what, he's letting you loose with technical stuff, OT? Yeah, he is. Check me out. <laughs> well, about to drop me. Oh! <laughs> so, uh, what do you mean? Uh, that the Belfast Giants winning the league last night, was that right? Uh, they just won their game last night, but uh, one step closer to winning the league, I guess. Um, I think after this, this weekend is pretty important, because um, if they secure two points, or the, is it four points? They'll get four points if they win in regulation yeah. time. Um, wow, that's a massive piece of chocolate cake, Rambo. Look behind you. That is big. A wedge. Um, transfer Kensington. Headington, sorry. That was a good block in front there. Yeah. Took that one on the ankle. The Smav C team had a different look Ooh. about them today. Oh, that was some topic. Here's Do Drobny. Shot. Oh, big save again by Winters. Ackerley. He's not done anything that was funny this time, but. Oh. Errington. And that's white. Possibly an edge loss. Oh! 15. There's people flying about all over the place here. No one was there for the rebound there. That's just chipped out of the zone. As you can see in the BHA, we're very thrifty. We don't pay the rest by the call. Um, old man McGlynn. Shots went I, right there, that would be I another don't think shot I've ever seen so many people falling all over the place as I have today. <laughs> the ice is slippy. It is slippy. Ah, glove there. Let's see if we got that highlight. Oh no, it was a chance we got as a highlight. Yeah. Missed the comedy fall that I had queued up before that, so. Look at David Astle's concentration base when he's doing the camera, it's really funny. <laughs> Not yet, no. No. McGlynn. Schreiber. Big save again by Winters. Tell the tape is very similar to the Sheffield Bears D team shot. Oh, another block. Find it, do you find it frustrating when you're out shooting a team and you just can't seem to find the back of the net? Very frustrating. And then it's also just as equally frustrating if they take it up and score after the first one because your goalie's sitting cold for the whole game. Yeah. Donaldson. Oh, oh, oh old man McGlynn. There, I hope we got that. Just went off the post there, didn't it? Yeah. We might have missed that chance, unfortunately, on the replay. Yeah. Buttons there. I don't know if Nick uh, I think Dave, I got it. Rob might have got it. Unless I press the button afterwards. There's a chase to the puck. Will that be enough? Uh, icing? No, no. Slesser touched it there, so it stops the icing. The Slesser is also um, a Cambridge Women's Blues, but um, did not play for them this weekend. Shot. Saved by Slesser. 
Julik, Max Kawa. Cambridge women's uh, team were quite the personality this weekend, I think. They certainly, and they had a very balanced roster. Yeah. Um, each one of them could do a job. Um, you would not know this, but number 12, uh, Media Shock, has played for the Steel Queens. And in, in the Battle of Witness, um, where we ended up with about four Steel Queens and <laughs> eight different players from different clubs. Was Alison Brain not also playing for the Steel Queens that weekend? Alison Brain, yep, yeah, indeed. Scored a couple of cracking goals, actually. Yeah. And she was still cheering for the Mavs in the final. Really? Yep. That's a shame. I know. She was the first person I heard cheering from the crowd. To be fair, she was kind of cheering for everybody earlier on, so... Yeah. Hopefully a chance for Sheffield here. Can it? Oh. It's a bit of a damp scoop, that one, wasn't it? Couldn't find the, the guy. Keeps it in. It's a good chip out of the zone. It's a foot race towards the net. It's probably the right play by the goalie there. Yep. Get a face off. Down. So the shots as I've got them at the moment, Rob, are 14 1. Is that what you got? Well, I can't hear Rob. Rob's taking his headphones off, hasn't he? No, no, just um, dealing with a food situation. Was it 14 1? Yeah. Yep, okay. There's Donington. What do you make of these, uh, these Vikings jerseys? You quite like them? Lots of team. Classic. Yeah, I, I've actually heard mixed opinions on the, the, the jerseys. Um, some people. Uh, from the Steel Queens have said they're, they're very nice, uh, very vintage looking. My dad said they look like uh, prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a difference in upbringing, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad says they look like prisoners. <laughs> oh, the back cam's off in case anybody's wondering why that's happening. We'll get a day to run down and change the battery. I think the battery got out. Yeah. Just kept in the zone there. So Rambo, if you could uh, highlight anything using the Nick highlight button that's uh, down on the Sheffield Bears goal, then it'll only replay the main cam. Okay. For a short while. Okay, thank you. I will try and do that. I think you don't have a Nick highlight button. Nope, I don't have a Nick highlight button. I control all the rest of the cameras, but I can't uh, do a Nick highlight button, anymore, sadly. Famously, Nick had his own highlight button for Comedy Falls. Um, I was wondering why there was a button just called Nick. <laughs> we've also got comedy for we're supposed to store them so we can uh, make a compilation at some point, but I don't think we've been doing that as much as we would have liked it. Oh, that was a weird hooking. What's, I wonder if he'll do it again. That was an interesting way to signal hooking. Very. <laughs> He's so loud. I love uh, this ref. Yeah. This Barrett guy is the biggest character of the refs we've had so far. I, I couldn't agree more. He's he's just been outstanding this whole weekend. Has anyone else noticed um, people, Max, hey, sorry, Andrew, do you not think he looks a little bit like Max Bigger as well? Yeah. No, just like when he's skating around. It's just that little bit of ginger floor. Yeah. This guy's built it up. Oh, that was uh, <laughs> that, just as I was about to see his building speed there. A commentator's curse on him, a hex, if you will. That's just kept in the zone. Oh, that's well, another gonna be penalty a call coming. That. Yeah, I think they're going to be a five on three here. Penalty box is getting quite busy. Oh, an old man McGlynn who should know better. Pass my phone over. We'll see if there's any live live chat going on. See if anyone's there. I know that uh, that um, Maddie was on the live chat earlier on. I wonder if she was listening to your interview. Hmm. 
not a lot of live chats. Somebody, Gary Whistle, or Jerry Whistle, saying, moan the Belfast Giants. That's it, Gary. And Mary Dobbin was only on to say, shoes off when she was watching the Mavs games. <laughs> she did send us a nice message, though, saying she was greeting earlier on, so. I don't, I don't think Mary was the only person crying. No. We had a few tears from our very own Essie. No. Um, I yeah. actually managed to choke them back pretty well, to, to be fair. And uh, I love this bubble a bit. You're just emotionless. That's actually very far from true. <laughs> well, Sh Schreiber might be another uh, candidate for being in both all-star teams this weekend, I have to say. Uh, the number 41 uh, for the outstanding player, actually. I do think that the mixed hockey is a different, almost like a different sport compared to the, the women's hockey, to be honest with you. So, um, what do you mean in terms of? I mean, obviously, it's the same sport, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, do, I, do, I just think that it's, it's a totally different experience playing in the total, in a whole women's team. Ooh. It was a bit nasty. Oh, that's even nastier. The penalty now coming. It's only getting quite scrappy. There's a penalty coming against Oxford. Although it was Duvy that got knocked down. Yeah. Who, who's getting, somebody's getting a holding penalty from Oxford. Number... Who's it going to the box? He's, he's, I don't... Who's he getting? For boom. No, it's Batchkla. Batchkla just out of the box, going back there again. He must have liked it there. Must be comfier. To be fair, I, I didn't realise that's who he was calling either. I thought it was the Sheffield player that tripped the Nottingham player. Yeah. Uh, also player. Yeah. Hopefully a chance for Sheffield anyway. Speaking about Alison Brain now, earlier on, she will be facing the Eagles next week. Um, as she oh, plays for right? the Sheffield Bears, yeah. B team. Did she make the A team, did she? No, she's in the B team. The B team? This is, uh, all of checking is one, is one tournament this year. Oh. But we have the play in Vaz format, so you, oh, you right, play yeah. your groups against everybody and then you uh, you get a split. So. Well, I'm hoping that keeps the Eagles um, in good spirits. Um, well, I know they I had that hard loss to St Andrews on Tuesday night, but... Well, it's the right amount of game time against St Andrews because we were actually okay for about 10 minutes, so running clock then we might be all right yeah 20 minute well we, we saw that ex exactly with the northeast angels who have really come, come into their own game in these 20 minute games people bouncing about up here yeah it's a bit of a, uh, a food drama situation going on here with uh, mr mckinnon well what's wrong with him is he not allowed chili con carne or something? He just wants some spicy chicken. We don't have that in our menu. McGlynn. What do you mean? Well, well done. Walker Silverman can't quite get in, though, and Engel down. Carrot. 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 Oh, good save, oh, Slessa. Been pretty cold, only a second shot on her. Tried a backhand pass there, but. I have no idea how the Schreiber has so much energy after all she's played today. Duracell Bunny. It's off the wall, and this is going to get Donington. Donington on a breakaway against Winters. Donington! Donington! Oh. Donington! Oh! What defence by Sheffield! That nice pass impressive. as well. Oh, maybe. Oh. oh, oh. Yeah, Nick Winters has got a lot of experience with coming out of the net and firing it back up the ice, but that one just took him out of his <laughs> out of his crease a bit too it, much there. A little bit, yeah. It keeps the game exciting anyway. Sometimes filling the goalie is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Bolero. Bolero. Oh. It's a good poke check there. Bell. Bell's harassed by McCauley up the ice, but Bell holds on to it. Oh, Nicely and held. Bear's now starting to come into this a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, it's a couple of shots again. Take 
Oh, oh that was a... Uh, it's quite a physical player, yeah. Leftly. Bit of a um, retaliation there, and, and kind of rightfully so. Uh, uh, well, yeah, if, I mean, the, the refs are going to keep their whistles in the pocket for everything, and that's what's going to happen, mm. so... Kicks that one aside. Oh, another good save. And now, Rob, I've got the shots at 18-4. Is that right for you? Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> Nick, Nick is so excited. The only thing he likes to do this weekend now is, is get his coin out for the coin toss for the penalty shootout. To be fair, Anna Daisy, you should have been in the box about four minutes ago. So going now is probably like sort of some kind of karma. Two minutes for throwing the puck. Oh actually what's the last replay I have? What was the player's number? This. What was the player's number? It's 91 in the box for throwing the puck. That is a, a penalty that we don't see often called. I have called a throwing the puck penalty, actually, mm. Ashlyn, on the uh, on the, the Edinburgh Juniors. Shot! Oh, it's it's usually just like a, a hand pass penalty, isn't it? Or you just, well, not even if a penalty. If you pick it up and throw it, it's an actual penalty. Right. Um, a hand pass, if you, if you push it, it's just another face or off. you just punch it in the air or something, but if you, if you pick it up and throw it, then it's a, it, it, you can get a throwing the puck penalty. I'm not surprised Anna Daisy threw the puck across the ice. Dropping. For Boom. Good save, Winters again. It's just a testament to how good a player Charlotte O'Brien actually is there. On the PK, big important moment in the game, and she's out there, she's out there killing the penalty. Yeah, she's a, she's a really strong defender. On the screen, it did come up there that she got a penalty for clipping, but that was just because there was no option to add throwing the puck on the game Well, sheet. somebody is uh, down in the middle of the ice here, um, and Shalossi's out. Shalossi actually not playing in this game, interestingly. I think a player just dropped in. I didn't actually see what happened there. I think he just got cramp on the way to the bench or something. It's the way that Shalossi's dealing with this would suggest as much. Very strange... Uh, so sort of injury, unusual to see that if you, uh, you know, Ashlyn, where somebody just falls on the way to the bench there. Yeah, I'm almost, I'm almost, uh, definitely it's some sort of leg issue, but the way he's holding his legs up, it kind of looks like, you know, he might have fainted or something. <laughs> but I think he'll live. Yeah, I think he'll live, yeah. I think, uh, Ingle Dow's hopping a bit. That's a, that's a credit to the coach there coming straight off the bench. Yeah, well, Shalossi's got years of experience. Uh, Ashley, you know him as the GBU men's coach. He's also, I think, my brother's coach. Oh, Titans. yes, he will be for the Titans, yes. Yeah, Andy loves his coach. He's, he's a nice fella, uh, Mike. Ruthless. Into the final two minutes of the game. Schreiber. Oh, well played by Schreiber there because there was a breakaway. There. Chance on. Well kept in. She'll just keep skating into the zone, which is right for the zone. She's worked for that, that puck there. Oh, maybe get a come lucky, another way and drop the Topix. And uh, the defenders aren't back in time. But if they score now, Nick will be raging. Um, There's a real battle going on here. This has been a pretty good game. Mm -hmm. Bears been pretty defensively sound. Vikings had maybe a few more chances. Oh, giveaway there. Cut it. Cut it. Shot. Oh, he tried the little, the little sneaky one there to try and handcuff the goalie. That just kind of shows their even good players pass, pass to the other team sometimes. <laughs> Doobie. <laughs> we tried to pronounce this guy's name earlier on. We decided we'd just call him Doobie. Is that appropriate? <laughs> Nick's away down the stairs with a gleeful smile on his face. Yeah, Duve is appropriate. We uh, got advised by a fan on the stream that that's how he liked to be called, I believe. Yep. Well, there you go. Blanky is apparently not okay, but Duve is fine. Blanky is never okay. 
do not have a blank key, a safety blank key. Nope. Neither did I. Neither did I. I was just asking. <laughs> just asking. <laughs> <laughs> Well, nice back check by the, by the Vikings there. Oh, and it might, we, might, we might see them. Nick will be down there. He's very excited about this. I think we're going to see the coin toss. I think we're going to see it. And there we go. Penalty shots. Now, I'll we, advise we should stand up for penalty shots. Okay. Get the energy up, but also quiet. So uh, to reiterate the rules that um, Joel mentioned earlier, it was the uh, best of five shooters, and then after that we can rotate back in. Yep. You, um, if it goes to uh, if it goes through the five, um, which you won't have seen earlier, uh, then it's um, it's sudden death. But you can rotate. The same player could essentially take every penalty shot after the fifth one, which is the double IHF rules. I don't think I can watch this again. It's all a bit too much. Try watching it from over there. <laughs> I did. Oh, you saw you did that. Did anyone tell you that Katrina didn't know what penalty shots were? Yes. <laughs> I did. But I actually think ignorance is bliss in some situations. I and think that, you that was definitely the situation. Um, because she just was doing exactly what she does best, which is saving Being saving chill goals. and saving, saving yeah. shots. And this is Nick's time to shine. He's very excited about this. The coin's been dropped. Now, the smart play for me, Oxford shooting first, did they win the toss? If they didn't and they gave them the chance to shoot first, that's weird. Um, we, we never knew who won the toss. Nick's not come up. Wait a minute, we'll find out. Nick, who won the toss? Oxford. Yeah, Oxford won the toss and they did choose to shoot first, so. Why would you not choose to shoot first? I think psychologically it's the way it goes. Some teams might choose to shoot second, so it takes the pressure off their goalie, but I'm... Um, mm. So situationally you might... It depends on the mentality of your goalie, I would say. Mm. So I'd, like, I'd be interesting to know statistically, I mean, maybe in this tournament it's a bit more likely, but in, in regular games, how often shootouts happen? I think I've seen about 10 in my lifetime. So uh, Nick has called that Jobney will hit the boards, but we'll see. So here's Jobney. Slow advance. Slow advance. A bit of pace, bit of pace, bit of pace. Oh, he lost it. Oh, big save from the goalie there. Let's see that again. Yeah, he just, just lost control of the puck there just before he was going to shoot it. Fanned on it. So not sure who this is for a uh, Sheffield number 65. Nameless. It's all about the name on the front right now. Exactly. Yeah, just take a slight wipe, I think he cuts back across the ice. Oh, and Slesser there. Just see that one again. Slesser just stays big. The last chance. And here comes for boom. Now, I've noticed they're letting the goalies just stand next to the bench. We made Catuilo come fully off. <laughs> so, good referee in there, swapping sides. The referee should be at the side of the shooter's stick. Verboom. Oh, big save again by Winters. Come across. I think if they're going to beat Winters, you need to come in with a bit more pace and then maybe change the pace up or something. Mm. I think going in that slow, methodical way, he'll match you all the way. Yeah, I think you need to get his legs moving. Yeah, he moves side to side very well. Mm. He's the reason they're still in this game right now, and he might be the reason they, they advance if uh, this continues. Carberry power now. Power. 
Slow. That didn't challenge Slesser as much as he would have, but he kind of lost control of the puck, which... Yeah, might have gave the goalie a bit more of a second to know where he was going to shoot. Well, the refs have decided not to do it this time. Oh. Yep, oh, no, um, they, have. they have. Well done, Barrett. This guy knows his stuff. I'd like to see it. Doesn't mess around. And now it is Donenson. Oh, Donenson, the old blue. And that will not do it either. I think you're not going to get five fold in Nick Winters. I don't think you're going to get five fold. Here is Carrot, Adam Carrot here. Going for the third shot for the Bears. Still no goals so far. No, no. This uh, this could this could change with Carrot. He's a he's an experienced BHA campaigner. Campaigner. Slow approach. Oh, and a nice finish there from Carrot. Nice and slow. The difference there: Carrot shooting for spaces, not faces. So, this is the first shot. Old man McGlynn wearing number four. With a chance to bring them back into it. Four, yeah? Round four. Kevin McGlynn. Fick. Oh, McGlynn! That was a lovely little fake there. Using those old man bionic arms to go round winters and finish that off there. Backhand forehand instead of forehand backhand. got Bell lined up, the assistant captain of the Bears. Slesser will come out, Slesser stays big, stays big. Mm. Bell, 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 Bell fakes. Oh, and Slesser. Oh, that looked like it might have squeaked through there by Slesser, but just turns the pads and got the tail end of that. Sorry, folks. So it's now tied going into the fifth and final round of the regular shots. And we have Batchkala taking the shot here against Nick Winters. No pressure. Batchkala. Slow and methodical, slow and methodical. Tries to reverse and Winters stacks the pad. She gets that pad down nice and low and kicks it away. So here we go. This this goes in, bears go through. This misses, we go to sudden death. Oh, Ackerley almost doesn't take the puck with him. Slesser will save it. So now my understanding is they will invert. So bears should go next. So now my understanding is the bears will go again. Carrot is coming back out. The Bears getting this idea. Interesting tactic by the coaches sometimes. Do you put the person out who's scored again, or do you put someone out who's not scored? Or someone new? new? Yeah. yeah. He's already scored once, so he knows he's he knows he's got it in his locker. Comes down. He's got Slesser. Oh, Carrot! Oh. He Oh, he canned it. He canned carrots there. And this now for all the marbles from Drobney, who earlier on uh, it wasn't a good penalty shot. Let's see if he's got something else. He looks like he looks like he's got a good penalty shot in his locker here. What's he got? He skates down. A bit more pace. Bit more speed. Oh! Lovely leg save. Oh, sorry, we just got the end of carrot when I didn't press the button hard enough. Sorry. Sorry. So now, they've put a fresh player out now. Who is this? Ingle down. The guy had cramp earlier. Kill it. Kill it. Cramp cured. Oh, great save there by Kimberly Slesser. Nice pad.
So here comes old man McGlynn. He had the, he had all the moves earlier on, Ashley. What do you think he's going to do here? Forehand backhand this time? What would you do? Oh, I think I would go for a forehand backhand for this situation. Oh, and he's not equal to the task this time. Maybe, maybe a forehand backhand. Forehand would have worked for that one. But. So Adam Carrot's coming back out again. Excitement, we're now into the eighth round of penalty shots. Is there, is there a time where this will end? No, not until someone wins. Oh. <laughs> they must, uh, one team must score, one team must miss for this to end. There has to it's be a winner. Listen slow now, he's already beat the goalie twice, he hit the post the second time. Managed to just drag that over enough. Excellent work there. Carrot. It's a suggestion that he may have went backwards, but the referees are right on top of things. And it's a weird angle from up here, so. I didn't see anyone going backwards. So I here's Drobny. 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 Oh, he's. That's it! And that's it, the Pierce. The Pierce C go through. And I don't know if anyone saw that on the camera there, but Nick Winter's just done the Superman celebration. He tried to rip open his top. Uh, and quite rightfully so there. <laughs> 21 to 3 during the game for shots. And that's heartbreaking. That's a heartbreaking way to go out. That's tournament hockey. That is tournament hockey. It's uh, it's tough to take. But Sometimes uh, you only get one shot at things. So you gotta make a coin. Yeah. I never get this woman again. Yep, yep. I think you just you just re paraphrased lose yourself there. Uh, yeah. JLS actually. Is that J oh that's JLS, sorry. <laughs> Eminem might be a bit uh, a bit a bit old school for you actually. I forget that you're a whippersnapper. Called a whippersnapper. A whippersnapper. <laughs> I've been called many things, but not a whippersnapper. <laughs> so we now have the Stags against the Kents next. You want back on, Nick? Would you like to come on and do a, the game with that with Ashley? Give me a wee break. I get too excitable about the Stags. Oh no, I think I have to. I actually. Have oh, she to has go. to go anyway. So uh, Nick will come back on um, for for the uh, for the Stags Kents game. Thank you, Ashlyn. You have uh, you going up the road now. So uh, thank you for that and have a safe journey up the road. Thanks for having me. Thanks, guys. Yep. Stop winning everything. All the time. It's been a
So, Nick. Hello. The coin is back in the wallet. The coin is back in the wallet, and maybe it'll come out in this game. We'll not know until, well, until 25 minutes or so time. Good shootout. It was a decent shootout. I think it went eight rounds. Uh, eight no, that nine. was the ninth. ninth was that right. the ninth round there? Yeah. Would have gone a bit sooner if Carrot had have just decided not to hit the side of the net after beating the goal. Yeah. Here's Sammy Cowan off the wall. It's Kent team, very short bench, but then sort of stags. Cowan to Hamlin. 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 Oh, I think he had more space than he realised. Preston. Preston. Nice little reverse play. Now it goes. Oh, confusion there. Chester. Chester backhand right on. And now comes Kieran Jones. Jones. Jones against Cowan. Just the mere sight of Cowan's enough to drive someone spare. Look at that. Jones completely fans on the puck. Dixon. Broken up by Santelli. Oh, that trickles across the front. And that trickles again across the front. Still no shots on goal. Uh, sorry, one shot on goal only. Um, for the stacks. No shots for Kent. Here's Preston right Preston. in the middle of. Jones. Hemlin. Oh, and that's a double block there by... Kieran Jones, that's cross ice and Fleming can't get it and Captain Caddis will go after it. Caddis, oh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. If he complains about that slash, then I might give him a piece of my mind, I'm being honest. Oh, oh, and it's a goal in the DP. Delayed power play, Caddis there with the, uh, the sweeping of the ice celebration. 1-0. To the stags. I guess that's delayed penalty. Um, and it did take them uh, three or four, sh three shots there to score. So um, from 14, the slash was on from 45. So the Stags now, and they, I'll tell you what, the Stags here will be looking to... Have you have you ever seen a flying Stag? Uh, no, because they're heading in that direction, they're starting to pick up momentum. Fellas, could you tell me who got the uh, tripping penalty? Oh, you... 45, thank you. Um, Sonino against... I think that's the only Charles. Caddis picks up a little bit too far in front for Aiken. That's going to be offside though, so the Stags all time to regroup. The wall, Aiken, can't quite get the handle on it. Keaton Jones, nice pass to Dixon. Kept in by Aiken, Aiken. Shot. Oh, oh good blocker save there. So excited that I forgot to press the replay button on that goal. Oh, it's not. It's, you can't rewatch that. No, no. No one's allowed to go back and watch that again because that actually should have had an age rating of about 45 instead of 18. It was so filthy. What a goal! Here's Kieran Jones now, though. What can he do to bring them back in? Oh, and there's a bit of a hook. Santelli will be going to the box here. Yep, Chino's. <laughs> She acknowledges the referee as she goes. Yeah, to the I'm ball. going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. She's like, I played a lot today. I need a rest. <laughs> I mean, that was definitely hooking. But we'll, we'll give you it, the ref. It was two minutes either way. Um, that Jeff Hemlin goal, though, Nick. Um, I'm still reeling from that. Holy that was that was ridiculous. Moly. Dem some hands. That might have been the goal of the weekend. Certainly the goal of this tier. Ebdy. Ebdy has got some wee-hee-owls. He's, uh, he, well, we talked about him yesterday. Be glad. Oh, I'm getting all up the sorts then. Save from Jones, Jones now, Jones, 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 Jones. Oh, big save from Gibby. 
And that's the first shot on the stags. I just hot mic the uh, announcement button. Yeah, we, we, we know. We know. Yeah, I think everyone knows. That's because uh, I put a, ten, <laughs> a 2 plus 10 on for that by mistake. Shot's currently 5 to 1. I oh, thank you. Sonino, right play, just dump it down nice. That's, That's going bye-bye. He's actually hit it quite hard, that it's helped the Kent team. Because <laughs> Are you sure about that? Uh, not anymore, because Matthew Preston's got it, and we all know the best way to kill a penalty is to score a goal yourself. Preston, he's got Hemlin there. I would pass to Hemlin every chance I get, to be honest with you. Um, it's a bit like you with Perry, isn't it? Yes. Keep passing to number 91. <laughs> 11. Uh, he's not even Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and what a finish from Kieran Jones. Just as we were talking about that being the goal of the tuna, Kieran oh, Jones comes in. Oh, looks like he's giving the commentators a little uh, little hush hush there. Was he? I mean, well, I mean, I wasn't even commentating earlier on, your Ooh. Um Ooh, we'll see how this game finishes, shall we? No one hushes the Rambo. Um, what, a, what a finish that was from Kieran Jones, though. Stags, oh, chance again for the Stags here. Now, the, the, uh, the, the Kent goaltender um, having a little bit of lateral movement problem, I would say, um, if they can move him about. But that was a, that was an excellent shot. Chance for Caddis. Battle Dixon. Someone touched the nerve then, did they? Caddis, Caddis to Aitken, Aitken to Caddis. Oh, and that was close there for the Stags. Stag's got it back to Sammy Cowan. Cowan. And then uh, Santelli. Santelli shot. Through. Oh, that's tipped on the way through, but it goes wide there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Wow, the shot's now 7-2 in favour of the um, Stags, but, uh, oh, blimey, what a shot that last one was. That's that's two absolutely ridiculous goals we've had in this game, at least. You fellas wanted me to do uh, replays. Uh, Fleming, cross ice to Sinino. Sinino, now he's got an equally good slap shot to most, um, but he just dumps in the corner. Fleming, tips it in front. Oh, that skips about Fleming. Shot, fought off by the Kent goaltender. Shot, it's back behind. Oh, and that's a bit too much on the pass there from Chester. As Sinino will skate back hard for it. He's got Fleming at the other side. Oh, is he reversing or is he not reversing? No, he flips it off the glass. Goes through everyone and now it's picked up by Kieran Jones. Nice move backwards, nice move one way. Kieran Jones back across. Chester, oh, not Hemlin trying to skate with them. Now Preston, Hemlin, Hemlin. Sinino. Sinino's got Chester far side, but he's going to chip it off the wall. Go himself. It's picked up by Dixon. He plays it out. Away from danger for the moment, but straight to Preston. Preston now. Preston in front. Oh, Hemlin, what a save there by the Kent goaltender. And that's going to go to Kieran Jones. Jones against tries to slap shot again. Matthew Gibb makes a save. Oh, confusion in front of the Stags net there. Now Caddis, he's full of skating as well. Oh, and that goes all the way out. And now Jones, nice back check from Cowan. Santelli will put it back. Caddis. Caddis, he's got Oliver Edbury in front, oh, and Oliver Edbury kind of scoops at it. Chance! Oh, Aitken. Neil Aitken. That was uh, a little bit too much going on there for him. Maybe just want to unleash that one. He's got a good, good shot as Aitken. Chance in front. Uh, and big shout out again to Isaac Cox, um, who loves a shout out on every, uh, on every Stags game it would appear. He must be a Glasgow man himself. I can't remember there's a Glasgow song, but I can never remember it. Oh, and that's just out of reach. This might work out well. Oh, Matthew Preston. Bar up is not the one that people celebrate. Um, 
missing him. He had Epty there. If he can find him, he's got Epty there. Epty, oh, Epty there with a little bit too heavy hands, perhaps. Shot right on. It's uh, it's under the Kent goalie. Shot's currently 9-3. Nice bar up there. Chance, Jack Chester misses wide. Preston, he'll pick it up. Preston, Preston. Let's move behind to Chester, Chester. Chester out to Fleming, Fleming shoots. That's blocked in front, nice little defensive play. Oh, he almost didn't quite complete the defensive task there, but the shot is wide and Sonino. Sonino picks it up, Sonino finds Preston. Preston, he's got Hemlin inside. Preston goes himself. Preston, oh! Preston, nice, nice little reverse. Good sprawling defence from Kent. They're throwing everything they've got, at tying Preston up. And Dixon, nice veteran play there. Chester, oh, now it's picked up by Kieran Jones, and this is not the guy you want to have the puck. But Hemlin, Hemlin proving why he's the first ballot all star this weekend already. Oh, he tries to thread the needle there. Doesn't quite work. But here comes Kieran Jones. He turns one way, comes back. Neil Aitken coming across. Cowan. Cowan with just fresh off the bench here, using all his energy up. And Preston, he beats one. Preston again, he's going to line up that wrister. Can't find the target there. Preston, nice hands. He finds Cowan in the middle. Cowan! Blocked by Dixon. Dixon putting in an awful long shift at the back there, but very strong there, Nick, as we've always known of, uh, of Dixon. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Dixon again, he was actually going for the change there, but... Yeah. That's one too many. They're saying it's a too many men. Kent claiming they had the player on the bench. I don't think Barrett enters into negotiations. No, he doesn't. Telling them, telling them what for. Listen, I'm the ref. It's nice. He's got the 2022 version down as well. Too many players on there. It's yep. good lad. So uh, this is a power play. So the Stags have already scored off a delayed pen. Oh, and Santelli almost sneaks one through there. Picked up by Cowan. Cowan's got Santelli in the middle. Santelli puts the wrister on. Oh, Cadis can't pick up the trash. Scramble in front of that collapse. That was a bit of a hit, but I think that's probably just okay um, as he sort of leaned on him, and I think he blew a tire at the same time. But uh, you can see why the Stags bench weren't happy with that. Cowan. 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 He's got Santelli. He's got Cadis. He's kind of overplayed his hand there. Cowan. Oh, no. Santelli. Oh, and off the outside of the cage there. And just blows a tyre, and then another blows a tyre. Um, he left a bunch of skittles on the ice. Yeah, some of these, uh, some of these stags uh, look like they've just been a stag party with uh, some of these falls, I have to say. Um, chance for Hemlin. Hemlin. Oh, sneaks in. That was one of his uglier goals, but... Um, you don't need to watch that one back. There's no pictures on score sheets. I think Dave's doing the highlights. They all, they all no. count. <laughs> and, uh, trying to find the puck in the back of the net. We played this game earlier. Yeah. That goes, uh, sorry, I think Neil Aitken maybe touched that as it went in. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the replay of that. Nick and I will need to do a better job. Yeah. Um, we need to put the batteries on the back cam as well. There's a lot of confusion going on here with the, uh, with the Kent team.
you have to say, uh, Nick, with the with the shots currently eleven to three, you um, the stags are pretty good value for this lead at the moment. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, w I would have to say so. No. Do you think anybody noticed that was a sneaky way of telling Dave what the shot count? No, I don't think so. Yeah, he didn't even. Eleven to three. Dave, Dave. didn't even. <laughs> eleven to three. Preston, Preston, beats one, Preston, Ooh. Preston's got uh, a lot of moves on him, but uh, not not got um, not got all the finishes this weekend that you perhaps like. More games to come potentially. Yeah. Maybe he's just what? Maybe he's saving them, saving them for the right moment. Ooh. And Stag's just gone sign. Here's Sinino. I really want to see a Sinino slap shot this weekend. Oh, the nice wrist there. Good save. Good it's got a land in play, save, though. 12-3. Well, there's a, some kind of confusion in the middle there. And Dixon, nice strong play again. As he beats Jack Chester and dumps it out the zone. And Sinino will retreat. Gives a temporary reprieve for the Kent Knights. The Knights have a bit of slashing going back to the bench there. Not entirely sure what that was about. A bit of unhappiness. Here's Caddis. Caddis tries to find one of his teammates. Doesn't find anyone but Leone Charles coming the other way. Charles. Um, Andrew Caddis. He looks up though. He's got two players oh, in the middle. They Make actually, that three. Oh, and that's a great save. The initial reason he didn't pass there though was because Dixon had the passing lane covered, Nick. He did. It was good, as, good as two on one play. Jeff Keeley would have told us in the level two course, that's what you've got to take away. Yep. The passing lanes. Here's Kieran Jones. Only Charles on the team, Nick. Oh, that's a cross check at the Coupon. How is that not called? Oh, my. <laughs> Ebdy. Punched away by the Kent goalie. Back to Cowan. Cowan winds up shot. Oh, oh, and Kevin there with the clapper. Claptastic. 58 from 44. And I guess if you're going to get a cross check in the coupon, that's the best way for your to team respond. to react. Yeah. yeah. Well on the stags. Take the, uh, take the high road. I think that, that I think Hem Hemlin there was maybe just mentioning to the ref that you might want to watch the cross checks to the Cooper. Sam Khan. It's really hard to hear you over here, Dave. Lucky you. Hemlin. Oh, and Hemlin fans on that one. We'll give him one. We'll give him one. Tanino. Jones. Rather a larva at Spinorama there from Jones, but I think he was hooked, and that should have been a penalty. But then we've seen some of the other things that have been called, so that was um, probably quite hard. Picks it. And now, now, two on one. Two on one. Fleming. Oh, well, saved by Gibb. And <laughs> played it back through everybody's legs. Yeah. Just coming up for six to go. And that's Ice. Uh, Ryan Fleming's gone back on because they, uh, they were changing during the, the puck being shot. Four won the score here. I'm not sure Kent have the legs, but the Stags seem to be warming up, as you said, Nick. It's a similar sort of thing. Their first game, they'll be disappointed that they lost it, but coming to the boil, they're now starting to... And now coming to, to the party. Shot. Oh! Oh! You oh! wanted oh! one, and you get oh! one. Oh! 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 Let's see that. Watch this. Kaboom! Sanino. What a shot. Ask and thou shalt receive. <laughs> What a slap shot that fairly was. And, oh. I mean, if I'm the goalie there, I've got tinnitus from that whistling past my ears, I'm telling you. Here's Kieran Jones. 
Oh, tries to go short side. Oh, almost bats the, his, his own rebound in there. That would have been a nice piece of skill. Good heads up play to even try that. Jones knocks it back in deep. Round it goes to Cowan. Cowan will pick up. He has a look. Gives it to Aitken. Aitken. And that is fanned on by every stag that he tried to pass it to. Um, Caddis to Aitken. Aitken. Oh, and, oh and that's a goal for Neil Aitken. There's another one. From, nice little pass from Caddis here. Back to Aitken. There you go. 44 from 29. And the score now six to one, and I think uh, I think the Stags might be heading to the semis this weekend. And uh, perhaps after seeing what happened with their poor B team, has decided, oh, <laughs> why not? It's like a it's like buses, isn't it? Two come along at once. Um, perhaps uh, a little bit like the B team, just saying, right, okay, in this game we're not giving it any chance to go to penalty shots because we're not having that ever again. Yeah. I think every team's been there at some point. Yep. Dumped Hashtag in. had enough shots. Um, so, uh, shot count at the moment, um, it's four saves for Matthew Gibb of the Stags, and it's uh, been 15 shots on the Kent goalie. Emlyn picks up, dumps it in the corner to, uh, well, not dump it, didn't realise Preston was actually standing. Oh, great save by the Kent goaltender there. Get another wee look at that play from the corner. Watch. Kent Golden, rather than off the dogs, but a great save. Throwing himself in front of that one. I'm sure Dave added that one to the shot statistics there. Make it 16, 16 to 4. Yeah, the nice thing is, is I just have to press a button. I don't have to remember the order of the numbers. Empty. He fires that. Oh, nice little stick there by Jones, but can't find a foot. Oh, chance. Oh, and there we go. Tw Neil Aiken returning the favour. 29 from 44 from 58. Tuning up the band. So, 7 1 now. Um, and it looks like it's all over but the crying for Kent. Oh, and that's a. Uh, everyone's went to pieces there, and chance now. That was perhaps too cute that time um, for Neil Aiken, but the Stags absolutely relentless. Uh, Nick, uh, they are a team who loves scoring goals, and they. Yes, they do. They um, will not stop, no matter what. No mercy. You mess with the Stags, you get the antlers. Oh, and there's a goal from Sammy Cowan. Does that work the same as you mess with the bull, you get the horns? Yeah, that'll do for now. Yeah, that'll do for now. That's going to be their new hashtag. Oh, well, mess with the stag, you get the prongs. <laughs> That's good, I like that. That's even snappier. we are going to go with that one. Apologies for no replay on that, fellas. It's all right. Eight won the score now. Stag could essentially just eat the puck, but as I say, they are relentless and they're probably trying to fine tune some things. And Dixon just stands Fights there like off. the warrior he is and lets that bounce off him. And that's poked away by the um, Kent goalie. That was smart, not letting it come out front. Shot count now, 19 to 4. In favour of the Stags. Here's Jones. Jones now. I think he's looking to go himself. Jones. Jones. He goes for that slap shot. Big block from Sanino. He knew what was coming this time and he just stood and took it. Sanino. That's a great save there by the Kent goaltender for the 20th shot on goal. Makes a save. 50 seconds to go in this one.
45. White going to the, oh, Dixon's going to the box for Hugan. Go back to the point. Santelli, she shoots it. Well, that's a flipper. That was a hard one for the goalie to deal with there. We've seen a few of those go in this weekend, those dipper ones. Oh, there's another one. Cuts back in. Turn. Chance for Oliver. Yeah, I think that's a yeah, fair. Yeah, I think that's a fair. A call. fair shout, actually. Well, well done, ref. Yep, that will come out of the zone for uh, three in the crease. So many buttons to press. <laughs> Twenty seconds now. See me though. Simido tries to find Chester, he can't quite find Chester. Chester goes himself. Throws it all the way in front. Oh, here's Keenan Jones, he's got one last rush perhaps for a consolation marker. He's easy his hands. Well, he's not going to find the back of the net before this one runs out. As time expires and Sinino, that was a bit rough from Sinino. Pats him on the shoulder there. And that's the end of the game. Nice little show of respect at the end of the game there. And the Stags will advance. And Kent will go home. So we'll be having a nice cup, folks. I think uh, I think there's some chilli con carne or something on the go, Nick. And, uh, yeah, there is. Go get yourself some. Um, is there cheese? No. Tell me no the why is there cake. never cheese? Um, anyway, we'll go right. I'm not a big fan. I'm not, going, I'm not feeling the chocolate cake. Is there any apples? Yes, there is. Is there apples? Yay! Yeah. Cho chocolate cake's a little bit much. Yeah. Okay, um, that's just gluttony, isn't it? Um, right, I'm going around for some uh, chili con carne, folks, and we'll be back in about 15 minutes, maybe 10. Thanks.
And we're off in this game. Sorry about that, folks. That chili con carne was passable. No, it was very nice, actually. I actually really enjoyed it. The chocolate cake was all right. Um, I have not bothered with the chocolate cake. Oh, Chad! <laughs> uh, that, that, was that was very <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> okay, Rambo, calm down. I know you've just had your food. I am so full of, we, we fed I'm the full of kidney beans. We fed, kidney beans. <laughs> we fed the bear. Why? Have I, there's so much noise. Like, I think it's because Rob's got his headset on. I got, I got, Nick, look what I got. Look, I got another red delicious. No. Right. Instead of the chocolate cake. If I go home only a stone heavier, then that will be a, a massive achievement on my part in Nationals. So my, my main question is, is if we don't get the Northumbria Kings Leeds. Oh! If we don't get the Northumbria Kings Leeds final, can we let the Mule Bowl play, play out just in a period break, maybe? What's this for? Uh, so um, there, there has been agreements made with Sean Monkhouse and the Leeds Griffins that um, if uh, if there was a chance that Leeds and Northumbria made the the Vars final um, and it went to a draw at the end of regulation time, the two Muir twins were going to fight, no. and the winner would be declared. Yes. What you should do is everyone should fluff their penalty shots in the first. Uh, the well, first that's five. what the plan was. They were going to then everyone every, they could just keep going. Just, <laughs> then they just the two Moors to decide. It's hard to tell if that was a high stick or not there from No, but it didn't really help. Oh, jeez. Because his shoulder's so high. Well, that's bad geometry. There's some interesting geometry going on at the minute. Here he is. He's the danger man. Burrows. Now, Woods has been hard to beat. Oh! Veteran manoeuvre by Woods. I'm not entirely sure what Gallimore is doing. Is she stuck? <gasps> She's stuck in the net, I think. Her cage is stuck in the net. She's stuck in it. Untangled there. Stuck in a glass cage of emotion. Oh. How often do you see that? Um, I think this is the first time. <laughs> oh, Chance don't let him step in. Chance. Oh, no, 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 Rambo. The Mav Seas. Ma the Mav Seas have found a, like a right purple patch today, haven't they? Mm -hmm. They've been... That'll do. Streaky like the bacon. The, but the, the first day they, were, they weren't up to much. Um, I think the Mavs, maybe the Mavs planned this. Maybe they're going for the double. For the vase and the plate. Going for all the crockery. Who's <laughs> winning the teacup? <laughs> oh, nice hands. So shots currently at the moment, three to nil in favour of the in favour of the Mavs. Agreed. Na, 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 na. Okay, could you plug this fairly in again? Like, uh, uh, maybe you have to take over live streaming duty for a yeah. while. Well, it, it doesn't charge that much before I have to go on and talk to the people. I'm going to buy you a new phone for next Nationals. Either that or I'm going to crowd, crowdfund and get everybody else to chip in to get your little external charger. That would be good. Or a longer wire. A longer wire. Would longer be wire would probably be the most <laughs> easy solution. <laughs> yeah. Jonas, that may be the cheapest thing as well. But you could do the live stream and chat now. Nice play by Downing. To be fair, Downing does deserve another final because she's played awesome today. Murphy. Oh, Murphy keeps it in. Murphy, shot. Block, Bell. Bell, oh! Ooh, hello. Love save. Nice cheeky little, just stick out my paw here and just. Who was, who was the drunk doing the camera work there? Jeez, Louise. Nobody let Essie drive home. Good reaction time there. Essie told me something amazing earlier on, and I'll, I'll get to it in a second. Shot. Now here's Forbes, Forbes, an original Mav. It's not like the Mavs colours. The Mavs should all do that. <clears throat> what? The green shorts. Well, to make it even more offensive than everything already is. Shot. Oh, oh, that, oh that was soft as well. Oh, Cohen. Oh, <laughs> oh that was oh, soft. Oh, oh. oh, that did not sound good. 
Uh, the thing is, as well, some people's harness doesn't go all the way he's, over the he's top. Ta- he's taken like like a champ. He has taken that like a champ. But he, some people's t- harness doesn't go over the tum tum, so that could, um, you know, cause you pain. You know what? I'm That's one of a little bit of a hook. And oh, I'm yep. not in the fifty percent of the BIHA committee that have uh, children, but I just sounded like a father, didn't I? Saying tum tum, tum tum. Yes. Bug. At least you didn't go bug, for bug. bug. At least you don't go for bum bum. So that is uh, five shots to nil at the moment. No, five shots to one, of course, because it was a catcher save. It was, it was, it was. Here's Murphy. Murphy. The Monkhouse. Bridget. Monkhouse. World's tallest giraffe. Murphy. Oh, dear. There, Burrows, the danger man with the white gloves. Oh! Woods stretches out a route there to make a save. Running out of Woods' puns, sorry if uh, I, I do, I do apologise. Pasher. There's a cross flipped. Murphy. I'm sure Monkhouse would be quite, quite, the, quite, the, quite the intimidating figure when someone gives him a hot meal. He's just a he's just a very very tall individual. Chop! Oh, oh. it's against the green. He's uh, he's. I, I would uh, put Sean Monkhouse up there with one of the most improved players in the BIC. Yes, since he started from where from where he started. Yeah. Skating's good. He good started reach. at the bottom. Yeah. Now he's up there somewhere. Yeah. And he's just a nice guy as well, which oh, is always nice. You really appreciate if. You know, if he's doing well, then you, you sort of appreciate him. He's got the old school uh, Griffin's top on, of course. Oh, oh that's a check referee, Pimbery Jones. Come on! Here comes Bug Burke. It's a Scotsman, I think. Or at least he's got a Scottish flag back there. Bug Burke. Shot. Big save. save from the Woods. He won't get a replay because uh, oh, he will get a replay. But oh. I'm pretty sure we're not got the camera behind that net, have we? Uh, no, no link. I do love the no link screen. Just case anyone was wondering if there was a no link, uh, there is one. Forbes, again, another save by Woods. Shot's currently 7 to 1. Just gobbles that up. I'm waiting to hear if Rob says agreed. Agreed. Back to the point, down in. Down in, flips it. Oh, his Paul chance to, oh, oh, good, chance to good stick, good stick, good stick, good stick. Oh, good into, in, outside him, move. Nice oh, 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 that's a highlight. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Whoa. I've got it. I'll not override it. When two worlds collide. Nobody score, for goodness sake. We need oh. to see that again. Never wanted an offside so much in my life. How, how, how did, how did he not see him? He's big and he's green. He's all in green. His stick tape's green. He's probably going to be green in a second. He's probably feeling a little bit sick. How tough is Gallimore, though? We're saying there's at least two candidates um, for the, the double team uh, all stars, Nick. Gallimore yeah. and uh, Schreiber. Oh, yeah, oh Schreiber. I'm down in three, three candidates. Correct. Let's see that oh. again. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this, watch this. Boom, watch boom, this. boom, 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 boom. Oh. Lowers the boom. Oh, they're taking their time. Let's see again. Let's do it again. Let's see again. Here we Let's go. See again. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Heads up. Oh! oh, man, that was fun to watch. Heads up hockey there. Absolutely smashed it. Murphy. Oh, 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 oh. I was tipped on the way through. See that save, though. That was a great save. Watch this. I thought we were just keeping the other replay forever. Oh, I think now that we've queued it, Joe can do something with it. You should be able to, what you should do is, you know the guy that fell? Yeah. You should then, like, sort of sh- workshop Andy Miller falling at Nationals all those years ago. <laughs> That's the guy that <laughs> <laughs> fell. Just comes flying away. <laughs> Whoop. You know you used to get all those RKO videos yeah, from right. out of nowhere? We could get Andy Miller <laughs> from out of nowhere. The Andrew Miller super kick. Yeah. It's another heavy fall. Oh. There's been a lot of sort of just proper collisions this weekend. And that's icing. 
Leeds players like, oh, do I have to? <sighs> okay. Go all the way back. So what's the, what's the chat on the live stream, Nick? Anything good? Uh, last last comment was about Gallimore being stuck in the net. All right. Well, that was fair. She was stuck in the net. Gallimore, Gallimore could definitely do a job next weekend in the check-in game. She is and so could the guy that hit the guy in the slot. Mm. That was a big hit. Jonas. Talk of someone who could do some damage. Muir just punts that there. Speaking of Monkhouse, uh, Jonas is someone who else has been around for quite some time. Yeah, he and is, he's another player. He played in that Leeds Griffins D team, I think, that the Steel Queens played he in is, the very first Nationals. He appearance. has quite the frame. Yeah, played against him, actually, who's played for the Bradford Ice Wolves. Again, some player. Uh, some improvement. Um, from the time he started in here. Yeah. Actually, the Leeds have done really well developing their players. Yeah, they have. Got, um, Yasmin al Rawi, big shout out to her. I think definitely shout for me for being in the women's all-star team. Absolutely relentless. Oh, and that goes wide. The, the good club Leeds. I mean, remember, they, they, weren't, uh, they weren't always appreciated when they first started. And that Josh Irish no, played for them. No, but that, that happens. But that's, that's, that's kind of like how people feel about the Stags right now. That's right? part of the growing pains. You know, people feel that way about the Stags, saying that the Stags are this, that, and the next thing. The Stags are, uh, have developed their roster from the ground up and uh, yep. deservedly are in this competition to win it. Yeah, and I'm sure we said the same about Leeds five, six, seven years ago, or however long it was. Like... It's gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Growing pains. Yeah, they had that coach, that uh, Greek guy, Ayerson, of course. Um, he actually bought a Steel Queens jersey, and he, um, he gave me this stuff that he brewed at home himself or distilled at home himself. I can't believe you drunk that. I did have a sip of it in New Year, and I tell you what, it could have been you as his main shipper, Nick. <laughs> it, was, it was so. Oh, that's so another so one. Oh. Monk House getting involved. You don't mess with the Monk House. This has got a bit out of hand. Mm, what? What is it with you in breaking spoons? Or forks or whatever they are. Sporks. Don't know. It's a problem. Chance for work. Work. Nice hands. Nice hands. Spins. Oh! oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that might have been a hook. <laughs> might have been a hook. I'm not sure if anyone saw it, but it might have been a hook. Uh, yeah, it's a big... It's a big Was uh, there a giveaway sign, Rambo? Uh, I think Cohen putting his hands in the air and letting them take his stick with them. Oh, big block there. Shots now currently 9-1. to one. Agreed. Here's Gallimore. Gallimore. Gallimore, oh, swings. I don't know if that was a fake or not. Uh, let's say yes. Oh, Forbes. I'm surprised Forbes goes back to that area. Must have are bad we, memories. Um, are we jinxing Gallimore? Because she's been stuck in Here's the net Monk since House. we started talking her up so much. So. Monkish. He shoots from the bad oh, angle. Oh, save. Walker save. Oh, the Monkhouse goes down. Monkhouse managed to get a goal. We would have had like pretty much goals from a lot of the BYJ favourites, like we've seen uh, Springer. Yeah, I mean, we <laughs> Carrot the hero in the shootout. We don't condone favourites, we just encourage them. Yes. Um, Where is Mog? Bring me Mog. Yeah. And Cookie. And Cookie. Yep. Oh, do, oh do, 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 do you remember him this week, did you? Oh, funny that. Not as much embarrassment there, Rambo. It was because Cookie's like, he's more an international, like, you were finding the He's starting this again. Yeah. I'm, I'm just digging a hole, haven't I? Yep. yep. <laughs> 10 minutes to go almost, 10 minutes to go, 11 minutes really, if you're looking at it that way, if you're rounding up. Um, and uh, in case you're wondering behind that, it's not BIHA teams, that is a couple of recce teams it's finishing their training. Some of them will be going out for a fag, no doubt. Um, Oh, nice play by Jonas. This is good battling here by Jonas. Oh, and that's popped his way through. Nice pass by Murphy there. Give it him back, give it him he's back. A, he's another player that's uh, greatly oh, yeah. improved in his it's, time it's in the It's good to see this Leeds team, literally, yeah. have all grown up together. I don't know as much about the Nottingham team. I would say that seeing Kravitz in the C team. I saw, I saw a, lot of, um, a lot of the Sheffield D team. With, with names that we've seen before, and yeah. uh, Kravitz, of course, for, we we taught him Kravitz, didn't we? 
Daniel Kravitz. I think he was one oh. of the ones that came. That oh, cut! Dude, Balan, Jonah, it's Jonas huge. Having, the, having the right idea though, not to just keep poking that right on net for the goalie cover. He tried to pull it away to get a bit more space. And down in she is tenacious back there in defence. Small in stature, but big in heart, Rambo. Murphy. Here we go. Okay, got down and open. Got Kravitz ahead. Kravitz. Kravitz gets it. Kravitz. I'm getting I'm down. Oh, he stick handled on the blue. <laughs> Darren's just having to rest on the boards. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, she probably had so much ice time this weekend, she would have definitely needed um, probably to do a little trip to puck stop to uh, get a skate ground. Yeah, I would think so. Oh, oh, there's oh, no. oh, 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 oh. We have definitely jinxed Gallimore. Uh, <laughs> We've broken Gallimore. Yeah, sorry um, to everyone, um, but... Oh, that's a nice pass. Leeds have played some nice quite little like these new stuff. Leeds socks, actually. They're kind of like, I don't know, they're I low key quite like them. Which one? The the proper ones that number 89's wearing. The one with the one stripe? Yeah. Oh, the black the top. top. Yep. Oh, it's oh! a goal from Cohen! It's a goal from Cohen! From 89. 47 Cohen from 89 Bell. Let's have a look at this one. Watch this. Oh. Oh, right and Rambo, that's the why wickets there. That's why you have someone on the net. Yeah, you do. And if there's light behind the wickets, let's play cricket. That's a goal there. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, everyone. No, there's a different version of that saying, which we'll not repeat on stream. No, and it's... Yeah, it's no. Oh, Pug Park. This has been an even game. There's been not really been... No, no, I would say this is probably fair now. This is like... Hasn't really been anything to split these teams. No. Oh, and here comes Pembury Jones. Pembury Jones step. Oh, 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 Woods does well there. Nottingham obviously doing a lot better when they're not hitting their own players in the slot. Nottingham, Leeds have actually only had three shots on goal um, in this game. Uh, to Nottingham's ten. Waiting for Nick uh, Rob to say agreed there. Let's speak of this in a minute. Agreed. Yeah. That's pushed wide now. It's now 11 to 3, Rob, in case you didn't notice that was a shot. Saw that one. Yep. Here's Gallimore. Oh, what hand. Gallimore now. Dangerous player. Well, that is excellent. Great back checking back from check. Pimjury. Pimjury? Pimbury Pim Jones. Pimjury. Bell. Nice hands from Bell. Nice, nice feet hands from again Bell. from Bell. I just complimented oh. his socks and any flumps. Oh, dear. Um, oh, hey, there we are. He's there the right way up. Yeah, we have a back cam on, the, on this end. We don't have it on the other end. Jonas, oh, Collins, oh, not there. Um, actually, not any of the places you've tried to hit it in the last 10 seconds. Murphy, Burke, oh, good drop pass. Pimbury Jones, he's got a good wrist there. Burrows, Burrows, oh, 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 oh no, oh. no, no, no. Oh, and don't have any problems at this end. Yeah, Jonas um, pushed that back on there. Um, and that's now 13 to 3 on shots. Yep, good good plan, you know, to push the puck back towards your own goalie yeah, pad. As the goalie and goalie kind of pad back towards the net. Yeah, that that was not, he was he was almost a Jonah more than a Jonas there um, for Leeds. Um, it doesn't seem like, oh, oh that, I'm not sure what that was, but that could have been true. Um, I'm, I'm slightly disappointed, Rambo, because I had to, oh, well, we'll get back to this. Jonas, Jonas, jo oh, he flips it on. Saved by the Nottingham goaltender. Chaps oh. relentless from Leeds. Oh, relentless. there's a, there's a, oh, there's a penalty incoming on the Mavs. Sean Monkhouse lofts it over. Collins, oh, a roughing penalty for Jonas, but right, Leeds had the puck. Right, that's confused me. That has confused me, but um, fine. Anyway, I was going to say, apparently there was a, a small transfer deal was made, but it doesn't look like it's been enacted. What's that? Um, you, you need a new assistant coach. Me? Yes. You want Jamie Link? Uh, no. What does you want then? Well, we, we we don't want anything, but we signed your mum. Oh, for be, your team? She, yeah, she's apparently become part of the B team. <laughs> she seems quite chilled up there. I'm not sure who she's sitting with, but... Good save. Yes, yeah, we did, yeah. 
Shot. Shot. Oh. Uh, as Dave has just pointed out there, obviously it confused everyone so much because the Leeds goalie went to the bench. Yeah, I thought it was a, like... Oh, no. I thought maybe like Leeds got a penalty after during the delayed penalty. I didn't realise yeah, it. Yeah, I, I thought we were going to get... one there. I thought... Oh, back! Oh, can see which? Oh, can see which? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Not again. Replay. <laughs> Not again. That's... Uh, well, third time's a charm, so they say. That's a good view of the roof, Essie. I like that. Essie's doing a grand job. How steaming is Essie, by the way? The, 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 roof. the roof camp. Chance? Oh. Uh, I think he dived there. I'm going to be. I'm going to give the refs the benefit of the doubt, which means that he should have been going. Um, but any more chat in the live streamers? Are still just talking about? Uh, Everybody is watching intently. Quite right. This, uh, this is quite the tussle. Forbes. Oh, excellent. Sepke. Sepke. Give us what we want, you two teams. No more goals. Uh, Shot down here. Bridget. <laughs> Nick Shorty's he's the only man in the world that still uses loads of coins. Um, well, I need it for these weekends. Yeah. Don't give them the pound. Shot! Oh, dear. Double shot. Oh, no! Oh, Pimby Jones! Jones. Jones. Well, the, the, the problem is, Rambo, that that little bit of ice just there, right in front of the box, doesn't get used very much. So when I flip the coin, it then normally freezes to the ice. Does it? Yeah. Oh, so there's just loads of change there. Yeah. It's a uh, shot count currently 16 to 3. There's right? about £8.50. There's about £8.50 down now. Oh, oh, good save again. Leeds goal, he's really keeping him in this. Murphy now. Oh. Oh, there, there we go. Ticket time ticks away here. I think there'll be. Uh, there's no ice cut after this game, is there? Is that chopping cat, it's going on. Chop! Oh, that's on the side view there. That's the side of the net. For everyone at home that got awful excited there and thought that was the back of the net. Yes, Dawn, this is the V Vars. Semi final. Vars, semi final. Semi final one. Semi final one of two. That's how semi finals work. But then there's another two for the other tournament. Yeah, and it's. Uh, well, currently at the moment, uh, uh, well, it's not at the moment. Southampton, Northumbria, Kings next. Yep. Going to manage that game, Nick? Yeah, I'll be fine. Looks like uh, Mum's just chilling. She, she's probably considering uh, joining. I don't know why she's not going Ooh. on your bench. Um, well, I think she'd been made the offer. We've been trading. I mean, we've had people trade benches already this weekend. So, I mean, budget. Oh, and that's a. Well, the word on the street was that outside of. Uh, Outside of your mum first, then uh, Jamie Turnbull, then uh, Johnny, um, you were the next one to really to credit for the, the win. It's probably fair. I mean, I'd give a lot of the credit to the girls, but... Um, it's off the wall behind to Launchbury, and he will try and Launchbury and attack to work. Oh, Burk. I've not managed to show in Horn in a Burke and Hare reference yet, which also might be very niche for Scottish people. Shot! Big save. Secondary shot. Great save by Woods. Oh. This is a replay of the group match, actually. I just remembered that. Cohen's going to the box. No. That seemed... Oh. That seemed like both of them should have went there. Oh. He will not I be stick. He will not be able to take a penalty shot. Um, as well. And oh, a 10. And a 10 for... Two. A two, a two plus two, two plus two, and a hole in the wall. Is a hole in the wall? Mm, probably a hole in the wall or his skin. So, two plus two, um, it's four. Well done, Ellen Gallimore. That's cleared. That could have been a high stick. Yep, yep. So, is that all the way or is it just this? No, oh, where's where we pointing? It's, oh, it's all the way. Should have collected it. Yep. 113 left, that'll help, Le that helps Leeds out a little bit. All right, I'm uh, going to use the facilities. But, um, uh, well, Nick knows why he's going down the stairs. He's not really going to use the facilities. I'll see you down there, Nick. Enjoy yourself. Will do. Always do. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, and swing and a miss there by Pasher. Here comes Murphy. Hey, sorry, Burke against Murphy. Murphy. Oh. And Burrows. That comes out to Pimbury Jones. Pimbury Jones. Great save, Woods. And I now have the shot counted. 18 to 3. Yeah, I got that as well, Rembo. I'm doing all right in this game. Chance for Jonas! Jonas! Oh, he scored! Short-handed breakaway. And that is devastating for the Mavs C. I think none of us pressed the replay button. We were so shocked by that. It's 2-1. We've got 2-2 on the scoreboard, but it is 2-1. Chance for Burke though. Well, Leeds will now just try and eat the puck. Burke, hook there, shot. Oh, saved by Woods. Jonas tries to fire away. Jonas falls on his face. Gallimore, it's out. Nick will be absolutely reaching down there when he sees what's happened. But Burrows, Burrows. Oh, great save by Woods. Now surely, yes, the goalies went. Balkova has went. Shots currently 20 to 3, 20 to 4, sorry, uh, in favour of the Mavericks. But leads with a miraculous breakaway, short handed effort. Find themselves 2 to 1 up. Oh, just a few seconds left. It's maybe the point shot, last shot for Bridget. Bridget shoots it. Gallimore! Well, it's wide anyway, but they won't care. Leeds go through. What a miraculous finish to that game. Jonas there. Jonas, the hero for Leeds. The goalie, the hero for Leeds. Shot count uh, there, Dave. Uh, Rob, what do we have at the end there? Tw was it 21-4? Yeah, 21-4. 21-4. But... That ultimately doesn't matter. All that matters is the score on your screens, ladies and gentlemen, as we move on to the second semi-final in the Vaz, which is the Northumbria Kings against the Southampton Spitfires. I was well, getting a quick photo, as is tradition when you get knocked out of nationals. And we will not see the double from the Mavs. So I'm going to take a wee second because I'm really thirsty. And uh, we'll be back in just when this game just starts. Kings versus Spitfires about to start, and uh, Rambo and Nick are about to uh, take back over on the commentary. So, so everyone, back with this second Vars semi-final. I uh, actually tell the truth, I went to get some baked goods. Um, good call. Yeah, I'm going to go and get that Coke in a minute.
Rambo is busy eating. So I will do the talking. Nice move. Good step up by the King's D. Bingham. Can't clear the zone though, and there's potential two on one here. Kalanta can't get rid of it. The stick's all over the place. Kings just need to clear the zone. Oh, what a great stick that is. Was that Cali by any chance? Yes, it was. Just some player, Nick. Just some player. She is indeed. Very impressed with her. And um, I'm saying it, I'm putting it out there. I know I don't really pick the women's all-star team, but Belak has to be on it. Yes. That's a very tough women's all-star team to pick. Oh, the, the standard this year was incredible. Yeah. I mean, I said I said in the sign-off that it was what a great tournament to have with eight I, teams for the first time. I think that was the best women's nationals we've had in terms of tight games. I also, yeah, I think it had the best parity in terms of the standard was higher, but the level was the same from, like, good from everybody. Yeah. Wakeman trying to rob. Oh, Lati back in her traditional position. Had a centre this weekend, didn't you? I had. Seemed to work out quite well. There's Imre. Very talented player. Sarah uh, Sky Owen. She did nose dive in front of me um, during one of the games. So I have to concede. She um, she does have that level of fondness for you. <laughs> Bow down to the Rambo. Piers doesn't like standing on the bench, does he? No. Is that because he's the same height if he's on the bench? <laughs> oh, that went wide. Went wide from animation there. Baker. He's a solid player every time he's at Nationals, isn't he? Baker. Yep. Postal. Postal, a great goaltender as well. Yeah, I think Baker's... Um... Oh, that's an unfortunate collision. I think Baker is... You were going to say something about Baker. Please. Stop. Uh, You've forgotten, haven't you? No, Baker's, Baker's been solid every single year. He's a perennial uh, superstar. Yeah. Cleary, I don't remember from previous Nationals as much, but he has a <laughs> hell of a shot on him. <laughs> How do we get these T-shirts? Now, T-shirts available from the BHA. Uh, oh, that's amazing. I love I love Peter Bradbury. He's such B a funny guy. BHA.shop.org.uk.shop. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to just do this now. To good health, everyone. <laughs> what was open then? Can of beer. <laughs> it's that time of night, isn't it? Well, I don't have to drive home, so I'm fine. <laughs> Up the wall. Chance. And the, uh, the the Kings yet to generate a shot yet. Suddenly, currently two shots to nil. Kings uh, Kings royalty watching in. Big big Pez, big Alan Pez. Southampton had six on for quite some time. Cleary! Oh, jeez. Oh, big block there by Cali. He loves a slap shot. He, he has a great shot. He has a great. He has a good wrister, too. And um, for the kids watching at home, and wrister's more effective than slap shots. Just going to say. Adam, Adam Toulson, are you watching in from South Korea? What time is it? Who's, who's Adam Toulson? Is he a former king? Uh, yes, he's in a gap year currently. It's Joseph Muir. Oh, he tries to flip it. Oh, create the Muir bowl if, he, if the kings go through. Chance out in front. Beth Harris. Oh, just can't steal that away. Animation. Got to get back, though. Here's the danger. Animation. Chop. Oh, Anthony. That <laughs> was a... Unorthodox. That was a harem, scarem save. This Cali is all over the ice. Loves a slide. Literally. <laughs> for, for, it is 4 a.m. in South Korea. Is it? What's he over there? Is he over there for his career? Ha 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 ha. Uh, this is the and, and no one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Literally both teams went for a change <laughs> and they dumped it in the corner. Adam, 4 a.m., are you okay? Do you feel okay? Like, health wise? Oh, my mum's on her own now. Oh no, she's not there. Where is she? Well, I don't know where she's been. Um, is she not behind the uh, King's bench? 
she's, yeah, she's moved oh, closer. Oh, she's behind the King's Bench. She's turned into a proper King's, uh, King's fan. She's, she's the warden. I think we need to present her with a hat at the end of this. You've got a King's hat? Yeah. Does she wear hats? Yeah, yeah, she loves wearing hats. She actually um, suits hats, like really suits hats, um, strangely. Very small head. We can, we can certainly get that organised. Trestra, back to Cleary. King's kind of got four people on that side of the ice committed to the puck. A little, slightly oh, well kept then. Oh, well, apparently not. Oh, well blocked by Lauren. It was blocked. He Took the no, it didn't need to be. Is, um, is uh, Procter Amos not still here? Kicking about somewhere. Uh, don't know, I think she might have gone to the Giants game. She's from Belfast. Oh, right, okay. In which case, I'm sure she's... That Giants game finished ages ago, though. Eh, only half an hour ago. Oh, jeez. What time is it? Uh, it's just coming up to 8 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, well, it started at 4. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Did it? Yeah. Oh. That's why Ashton went away at, like, quarter to 7, because her mum went to that, the Belfast game. I see. But hustle by Joe Muir. Cleary, that, Cleary's a hell of a player. Let's be honest with you. Oh, Cleary, Cleary could 100% make that all-star team as well. So we start piecing them together already, Nick. Exactly. Controversial think, controversial think decision when we picked all the goalies, but I really don't care. Yeah, well, for, for the bottom tier, we did. But this one, we'll, we'll limit to three lines. We'll be good, we'll be good <laughs> about it. Good comment by Cam. Uh, at 4 a.m. is prime BYCA training time. That's, that, that's true. What do you think is better? Like, training at, like... The time that you that you guys do, or training at say five in the morning when you could like. Well, this is one of, this is one of the things we'd actually debated in terms of if it gets any worse and gets any later, we might um, ask about that. Because then then you're getting up and you can do that before you go to your work. Yeah. Or your or your uni. Oh, here's the danger. Three on two. That looked offside. That looked more offside than the one you called offside. But and they've just all left it for each other. Oh, it's oh well, kept in. No, that was oh. definitely offside. Yeah, that was a good call by Mel there. Mel must feel right at home. Calling offside. Yeah. Against no, no. Well, that was a king's hat. There's 94 watching it. He's a very nice man, Mel. Dedicated to hockey. He really is the heart and soul of northeast hockey. Doesn't work without Mel. No, no, and. Uh, Nice contact in the rest section, very helpful. So, Sestra. Lati. Lati gives it him back so she can take it away again. Lati. Lati. No one I like there. the way you sort of enunciate her, her Lati. name. Lati. Lati. I'm just like, lie. Give me a lie now. Someone at cost us like, what? what, what? <laughs> no, I'm talking about the hockey. Good call, Mel. Well, what's, the, what's the chat on the live stream? We got any more chat on the live stream? No, I'm just any, talking about 4 a.m. Any, any Southampton fans out there? There's normally a few. I think James Marshall's one. Um, shout out to all you guys and your Southampton Spitfires. 100, we hit the three figure mark. It's been a bit slower traffic this weekend. Yeah, I think that's because the majority of the people who are playing this weekend who normally are the avid live stream watchers. There is a lot of uh, sort of big, well Kent BIJ names out there. I'm sure Monkass probably has this on at least three devices at home. Even, even though he's here? Yeah. Just yeah. broke 100 on the live stream. Thank, thanks, Look, for, uh, thanks for keeping up, Rob. Yep. We only announced that two minutes ago. Yep. Just thought I'd let you know again. You're like ITN News, Rob, over I there. Am. Always behind. Sky Owen. She's been a tough news, out all weekend. You were, about, you were saying that Sky News, you were about to shout Sky News there. <laughs> no, we're completely impartial about our news broadcasting. Can't give that oh, away wait. in the corner. Oh, Fight Anthony. it off. Oh, no. Oh, oh. three points. And we'll move on. Oh, but these are getting right sticky here, aren't oh, they? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that's why I've moved across a little bit. Yeah. Lati. Can't let you have it all your own way. Lati. Notice how you have... Different. Sestra, this, this player, Sestra, is something else. So a hard-working player, but the reward earlier with an assist. Postal now back in a defensive position. Joseph Muir. Yep, he definitely went offside there. I think he realised at the last minute he might have been offside, but... Good save. Scramble. Oh! Remember that one, Rambo? Oh, we've got the back cam over here. How did oh. that happen? Yeah, both back cams are working again. 
I thought Dave said he couldn't get working again. Did Dave think he couldn't get work again, and he did get working again? Here's Cali. Yeah, no, Dave went and sorted the back cams out. It was all, all Dave's amazing skill. Um, his Pass understanding Muir. of the technology. Joseph Muir, shot. Just oh, 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 long at the back door there. She had one of those in the Sheffield game as well. She knock, was knock, knocking on the door, but didn't quite get let in. Here, here comes he is. Sean Monk, has he had to duck to get under the door there? BY Chase Liberty himself, um, oh here we go, here's the problem, Baker. 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 Callie, look at this, this forward press. Incredible player. I remember playing that friendly against you guys when she was playing and it was a nightmare when she got the puck. Animation. Nice hands. Oh, 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 backhand. Chapman. Oh, oh sorry to miss. She's down. And Postal at the back door. Kings get away with one there. Mason. Who's on that point? Callie almost got there. Animation. Big play by Joseph Muir. I think Callie's playing three positions at the minute. It's like Bugs Bunny in a baseball movie. Who's this number 77, Nick? He doesn't know her name. Don Bingham. Don Bingham. Plays it to Beth Harris. Beth Harris, slow and methodical here. Slow and methodical. Oh. Oh, King's collecting a lot of players to that. It is. That's popped out. Pet Baker. Hustler. Or Huesler. I prefer saying Hustler because it just sounds better. Joe Muir. Trying to take the dog for a walk with one hand on his stick. Then he's currently trying to appear. <laughs> Joe uh, Muir, um, usually, usually that's an offence. Um, <laughs> that was help. Bad. Shot from Sky Owen there off the outside of the cage. Zara Latte. Lost a stick. Currently got the shots at. Oh, here's the problem. One in favour of Southampton. Waitman, good stick. Oh, Baker, Baker. was one to wind up there. Oh, and clearly clearing just knocked away. And Beth Harris, and cleared it out. Oh, that was a weird. Oh, oh. and jo Jack Anthony there. You can throw a blanket over all the kings there. All, all five of them within about. This is the classic, the classic uh, manoeuvre of collapsing, um, which seems to be working defensively. And teams aren't figuring it out. Shot, two big block from Black. Oh, secondary. Save Waitman there. with the block. That's Anthony now up to ten saves in this one. I'm waiting for uh, Rob to say agreed. Um, agreed. Not quite so loudly. That was vicious. That was really loud, wasn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this better? That's better. Agreed. It's Jess fighting on the point. Southampton keep it in. Latte. Up the wall. Mason. Sestra. Nice manoeuvre by Sestra. Got Postal. Oh. Good, good stick by Sky Owen. Here's Waitman. Here's Waitman. Kings are going to try something else other than just icing the puck right, here. Pass the phone over. Let's see what's going on over there. Has anyone, anyone said anything? Nothing's cool? happening. Someone talked about Sean Monkhouse sticking devices on the ceiling. <laughs> Sean Monkhouse is difficult to shop with, though, because the only person that can't reach the bottom shelf. <laughs> Postal. 11 minutes to go. How long can the Kings turn away this sustained pressure? Oh, big, big save from pass. Anthony. Here's Waitman. He proved Waitman. in the Sheffield game the other day all it takes is one chance. That's not no. the chance. <laughs> it wasn't that one. He's Imre. He's Imre. I haven't seen him in about half an hour. Yeah, we need to get that sorted out, Nick. That, that skating, waving the sticks. If you're at home, kids, that ruins your momentum. One hand on the stick. Keep it on nice. You can make a poke check. See, I like giving the kids a coaching, a coaching techers there, Nick. Yeah, we were giving out coaching techers to her before I trying to magically tell you to send someone to the net. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, Don Bingham. It worked in the end, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, we were telling them the same thing. But they were good. Don't, don't try and say that. You were standing over there doing all this. Did you see that during the penalty shots? Yes. <laughs> Baker, a 
the ball. Oh, a swing and a miss there. Good work by Bingham, though. That's a nice, nice little legal bit of interference. Yeah. Calantha. Oh, you're going for the full name now. The, the Sunday best. What's the last name? Babano. Babano. That, that rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sestra. Sestra. Cleary. I'm probably going to get. I'm probably going to get this wrong, but I do believe she's a big Montreal Canadiens fan. Sestra. Okay, uh, we, we were talking about Kalantha. Oh, if he makes that pass, they're potentially in. You up? Uh, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce Quebec. I don't know, but that's at least the second time we've said that in the last couple of weekends. We probably should work it out. Yeah. Quebec, I did I see that right? Oh, here we go. Let's go. Oh, and that's rifled wide. Take no prisoners, comrade. Sky Owen owning him. Um, and there's Lati. Lati using her speed, that ring it skill. Hands. Oh, and that's a great poke check by Cleary Joseph Muir. Oh, and that's the first, sorry, the second shot on the Southampton goaltender. Hero of the hour has joined us on the gantry. Yeah. 14 shots to two at the moment in favour of the Spitfires. We've got Adam Carrot up here. The master of the penalty yeah. shot. Interestingly, Adam, Adam Carrot's with some of the biggest onions of the weekend with that, uh, that goal, even though he went backwards for the last one. Um, <laughs> well, the world was turning that slowly because you were skating in that slow. Deception. Yeah, uh, we actually... Uh, oh, no, not right there. We actually went, The clocks went back an hour in the time you took it. <laughs> Waitman. Waitman. Oh, oh, we tried that before. Oh, oh the Waitman flip. That's become a thing of this weekend. We've seen that before. The goal equal to that one. 14 to 3 now shots. But the Kings now a little bit again, finding their groove a little bit perhaps. This is the longest game of the weekend. Well, it, it, all of the Kings games are long for you, Nick. Let's be honest. We've got Cleary in the house. What's Cleary saying about Cleary? Go Cleary, go Cleary, go Cleary. Oh, Cleary. no, sorry, go, go, Cleary. Go, go, Cleary. It's like go, go, gadget arm, but he's Cleary. He's a very good player. Here's Baker. Well, he's proven that this weekend. Yeah, he's a very good player. And that's why I said he's Cleary a very good player. I missed the L. Uh, I definitely reckon if he uh, uh, play, Nick. gets an opportunity, you know the slap shot's coming. Look at oh, Baker here. Jar, look at this boy. Cleary, chance. Good save, Anthony. Had a little bit of a, a few minutes without so much pressure, but that was a good save to keep the, the scores at nil nil. And that's out. That's out of the zone. We'll take that back if in. Kings again. realize this. Here goes Don Bingham. Oh, Don Bingham. And down he goes. Oh, and that's an offside called. That'll do. Especially when your first line defenseman is currently face down in the opposition slot. Yeah. I was going to say something there and I forgot what it was, so it couldn't have been important. Lots of Cleary love on the uh, chat. Probably yeah. missed you talk about that already, haven't I? Yeah, 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 yeah you have. Yeah. yeah, If you'd stop having a conflab with everyone else over there, then you'd be able to concentrate on what you're supposed to be doing. Probably. I mean, I'm doing all right. It's just, you know. Oh, here's Baker. Oh, Baker. He's Baker. Out. I tell you what, this Baker doesn't mince round. Oh, <laughs> Lati. That's what I was trying to remember to say. <laughs> Sarah Lati there with the stick. I love the way Nick's just ignored these now. It's like it's become this point in the weekend where he doesn't even get so annoyed. He doesn't even get annoyed by them. Lati. Sorry, I oh, just can't find a way through. I will stay in the chair. What's that? No, it's nothing. You will stay in the chair? I will stay in the chair. Cleary. 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 Oh. I thought there was going to be another stick go flying. It's a, it's a very... The one thing is now that people are starting to realise... If Lawrence Savile gets a head up, he's Imre. Rink wide pass, Imre through oh, the middle. Oh, oh, broken up there. And Joseph Muir will come across. Muir. Puck on there! Oh! 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 Holy moly! This. I thought old spaghetti wrists had broken the deadlock. serious stuff Waitman clears this away from the king zone five minutes coming five minute warning lots of love on the chat going back and forth for kings and spitfires this has been a great game yeah 
Shot count is uh, currently 15 to 4, as, as far as I understand. Is that right, uh, Rob? Rob? Agreed. Was that Rob or you that said that, Nick? That was Nick, but you know. Agreed. Here's Kalantha. Kalantha. Callie. Oh. Referee! Mel's got his hand in the air. Anthony is very, very slowly getting to the next. It's a very it. illegal now, That was definitely an illegal substitution, so it's probably just as well the puck got <laughs> possessed there. <laughs> now, he is a bit. I don't know why Jess Lung's flying. What? 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 What are you doing? It's not you! It's not you! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Guilty! Jess, Jess Long there obviously done something wrong, Nick. Now, Kings, here we go. Here's your chance. Four minutes to go. I would say that the power line's on, but Joe Muir's out there. Joe, I've known you for literally nine years, and the amount of crap I've given you for nine years. For the love of Molly, come on. Give me something. Go Spitfires! Sorry, we just need to balance some of this out, Nick. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to send someone else down with a coin if this game stays the way it is. Cleary. That could be 10 years for Rambo, that could. It's Lati. It's Lati. She's got space to skate into. Drop, I drop I'm past not to, to sure particularly what no was one. doing there. That was, um, I mean, Spitfires were almost saying thanks a lot. Um, oh no, oh no. Here's Jomir. Jomir. Nice little to pass. This time. Star a lot. Just don't pass the puck. Lati, Lati. Just be selfish. For what? Back to Owen, Owen. Fires it. Oh, little stick lift. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Outside of the cage. Off the outside of the cage. This is like when Father Ted watches the football match, isn't it? Um, for oh, that's team. right, in the currants and onions. <laughs> Postal goes down on his posterior. He's probably got his goalie job. Uh, there to, uh, mind you, uh, that was a terrible one. I'm sorry, everyone. That was terrible wordplay. I tried, and it just did not come out right. Uh, Emery, cross ice to Waitman. Waitman's going to take us in the zone. Waitman. Getting top. harassed by Cleary. Emery, oh. Emery. Lovely play by Cleary, though. Taking on two kings there, Cleary. Two two minutes to go. And we're about to go five on five Don't for the last chase two. Chase behind him, Ray. Don't chase behind. Oh, and he's coming all the way, this guy. Cleary. Cleary one on one with Latte. Cleary one on one with Latte. Skyone does enough. Oh, he's down. Anthony will cover that up. And there's no call for that. That was on pretty suspect. That was a little bit hooky. A little bit of hooking going on there as he went past. Look at this again. Oh, my. No! Tantalising, doesn't actually generate a shot there. Shots still 16 to 5 in this game. Spinner on the back end off the base Animation. of the post. Callie, she chips it out. Baker keeps it in. Bingham. Gotta win oh, that battle. Oh no, Bingham doesn't win that. Postal. Don't have two Postal. players behind the net. Postal tries to find Rickard. To Baker. Good yeah. work, good work, spaghetti wrist. Let's go. And, oh, that's icy. One twenty-five. One twenty-five remaining in this game. So wait, we're not going to draw against animation. Right off the draw. Oh, that's heartbreaking for Anthony, who's played out of his skin. Nick, his head is in the table. What a finish, though, from Cleary there. What a finish. Clinical. Well, Baker, now pick it up. 
McCleary there with a that was a great finish, Nick. I know that I know it's disappointing, but you can't you can't take it. No, away. no, definitely not. What um, a finish. And now they I got they got their one they got their one chance and buried it. Yeah. Shots currently 17 to 4 in favour of the Spitfires as well. So um generated the more the most shots anyway. Oh definitely so. Oh, this is smart play as well. Yeah. He's not he's not doing anything. People are getting annoyed at him, but um they, you're here to win a game. So he wants to win the Vaz, he wants to get into that final, and he's gonna waste time, and that's quite right. And now Baker. Clock is not the king's friends. Baker though! Oh, and Baker, Baker adds the icing to the cake, as Bakers tend to do, and that is, uh, that's 2-0 now. The but raker of hearts. Yeah. Hey, that, that's, that, the Kings cannot be disappointed, Nick. They came up, they came here, possibly disappointed in the way things have, in their ranking, and they've come here and they've, uh, they've not just made up the numbers, they've uh, made themselves heard. Yeah, definitely so, and, and from a personal point of view, I know for a lot of this team, this is their, their last dance. This is their last nationals. Oh, chance! I know for Sarah Larty, Sky Owen, Beth Harris. I think uh, there was rumours it might be Imre's as well. Um, I know Jess and Lauren are obviously potentially moving on as well. Like a lot of this team's going to be, uh, this is it. But what a way to uh, what a way to go out. Here's Hus Hustler. That, that's a good poke check from Joseph Muir. They're playing right to the end. Oh. And that's all she wrote, folks. And the Spitfires will advance to the Vaz uh, final, uh, where they will meet the Leeds Griffins B um, uh, for the Vaz. And uh, Nick, I know, I know the, as I say, I know the Kings are disappointed, but an excellent game there. Excellent game from Anthony. Some oh, other stuff so, going like. on. Um, final shot count, uh, 18 to 4. They just um, look. Um, I feel I'm so just sorry. For shout it, it Rob. Rob! Yeah, that's what I had agreed. Yeah, so 18 to 4, the final shot count. Um, we'll sign off. There's going to be um, an ice cut here. Um, and then uh, we'll maybe be back in a few minutes with, uh, we'll, we'll maybe have a chat with someone that's up here. I don't know. Yeah, there's plenty of people up here. Yeah, we'll maybe get uh, Sean Monkhouse on, on the on the dream. We can put the chair down now, Nick, so that he's at the same level. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, guys. See ya. So, um, hello everyone, um, and by popular demand, I'm joined by Sean, the world's tallest giraffe, Monkhouse. How are we doing, Sean? I really do not want to be here right now, but thank you, Aidan, for making us do this. Well, why but did you um, come up the stairs then? Talk to Eddie, really. <laughs> that oh, was really it. All right, okay. Here's a high. Didn't know if I'm going to stay around after the next game, so I thought I just may as well come up and say hi. I, I don't know when Eddie's staying here, too, but um, so yeah. Uh, 
Sean, in the, in the Vaz final uh, for you guys against the, the Spitfires, uh, how have you enjoyed the, the new format this year? It was definitely very confusing at first, be like pre last weekend, but it's actually pretty fun. It's, it's my first time I've ever got past the group stages, so it's good to actually have a chance to have games after maybe getting knocked out. Because obviously when we played the games early in the group stages, we would have been third, so we never got past any more games. So after a few years of being out, not having much hockey in the last few years with COVID, not getting there, it's nice to have something to play for, even if you're like losing games, especially against some teams here, which clearly probably shouldn't be in this tier. Uh, they're here for, well, whatever reason they're here for. But we probably weren't going to beat those teams, but it's good to have something to play for against some of these team, lower teams like... It's always just nice to beat the Mavs in the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that game was... Uh, you guys um, weathered quite the storm for most of that game. Um, and then Jonas coming up Jonas coming up big. What's the, what's the mood like in the uh, in the changing room after that game? Buzzing, really, yeah. Like, we, the first 10 minutes of that game, just we couldn't get our legs going. We were getting hammed in our own zone the entire time. The Notch team that we played against were a good team. We saw a few of those girls, a few of the girls playing earlier on today at the women's game. They played very well. There's one or two guys there I know who uh, can play at a high level, but they're playing down this weekend. So it's they, they, it's a hard team. Um, they've got they've got enough players to play very solid players in the C team. So we, we went into the game. We tied against them yesterday, so we knew that we could be competitive against them. And um, we've missing quite a few players this weekend. Missing one of our best team men, missing quite a few of our top line players. The players that have came here this weekend have just absolutely came out there and just absolutely playing incredible and we had a lot we're, we're just looking we're so psyched for the, for the final and we're just absolutely buzzing in the changing room yeah yeah now um we like to sometimes i like to ask about players in the team and stuff um who is the hardest player in your team and why is it ellen gallimore Ooh. obviously ellen is just an absolute animal Honestly, like she keeps us in every single game just blocking shots if if she wasn't absolutely knackered after the last cowing us the last two days then she'll be going coast to coast scoring like she's done in previous years. Honestly, she's just an absolute treasure to have. I, a few when she a few years ago she was playing for the Metros, and Metros B, and I was playing against Griffin C's against her. And honestly, even back then I was like, if we were gonna have, a, cause we've never had that like female defenseman who can just skate the puck up the ice, score at, score at will. Like our B team's always been a team where it's like hardworking guys that have made it up, for the, that played for like a few years and made it to the B team, never had like star players like others do have like that maybe drop down from like the A team or that because we've got a checking team. It's nice to have someone here who can just basically just have that experience, played for a long time, is happy playing at non-checking B level and like I said, I played against her a few years when she was playing Metros and honestly she was, I was playing the point when she was playing Dino, just trying to, trying to block shots and she was just scoring passes every single time I basically went at that game, I came off the bench for that one game and went, if we could have someone like that then we would be very, very good, and it'll be great to, great to have her. And three years later, she's now doing, a, a, I think, PhD in York with the closest uni, and she decided to, f to come over. I'd like, thank God for that. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yeah, and uh, how does Jonas feel after he broke Nick's heart and um, stopping the penalty shootout? <laughs> oh, honestly, we were on the bench going, How the hell are we going to win this penalty shootout? Because none of our players can actually score a goal. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> We've not got many good scores in our, in our team. We're very much a team which we play we played pretty solid D. Our goal is keeping us in almost every single game. And we were just on the bench. We were, we were absolutely buzzing. If you watch the live stream back, you probably see me jumping up and down on the bench because I was just that happy, with that, happy when we scored. And obviously, he made up for it after he got the two-minute penalty for roughing about a few minutes, late, a few minutes earlier. So we, we deserved it. And having a nice shot and the goal in the last two minutes against the Mavs, that's what else can we ask for? Yeah, yeah. And... Um, I, your, your goaltender this weekend been one of the one of the star performance of the weekend I would say in goal um, I mean I think he had something like 20 odd so saves in that game uh, yeah. to, to keep you guys in it um, uh, where did he come from? So he's been playing hockey most of his life really um, he's from the UK um, moved over to Hong Kong when he was younger it's like what I've heard from this, what he's told me and then just played ice hockey over there played water hockey uh, as a skater so you'll see him next weekend playing for our A team in, as a skater and honestly he's just He's absolutely incredible. He's keeping us in every single game. There was a game yesterday when we were playing against Oxford where we drew nil-nil. I was like, some of them Oxford players probably shouldn't be playing this team and we had no right to see the draw from him. But he kept us in that game. It was like, it was like 22 shots to one. And we had absolutely no chance in that game at all. We were hemmed, hemmed in our zone the entire game. He kept us in that entire game. Same with every game, really. If we didn't have him in net, we might not be in the final right now. But it's nice that we've got them. He might be moving up to our 18 next year, so let's see how it goes. But it's nice that we've, we've got him in there now. And as you can clearly see, he's, he's keeping us in games and 
he's keeping us in games and because of that we're getting some goals from him and he's actually keeping it and yeah so um I'll let you go in a second because I know this is something you really didn't want to do. But there's a couple of folk giving, uh, speaking to you. There's a uh, Richard Watson saying "Spunky Monkey," um, Aiden calling you "Monk House," Aww. Eric calling you "Spunk House," which seems a bit off. No, um, no, no, that's my nickname. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so a lot of people shouting out. But um, just is there anyone um, you want to give a big shout out to and give us your prediction on the final? Ooh, which obviously, your final? I thought it was the our final. Um, Look, I've not watched any Spitfires games this weekend, so I have absolutely no idea what they're, what they're like. But if Tom can still play the exact same way he's been playing all game, all, all tournament, sorry, no one's been able to get past him. The only team that's put more than um, one goal past him is what they, Glasgow, who, again, they've got a lot of very good players. So, not watched a single um, Spitfire game this weekend, but if he can keep us in this game and we can get some goals for him, I don't see why we, we can't. You get the thing? And. Shout out, obviously, shout out to Aiden for making me do this. I hate you so much. Um, and a shout out to all the Griffins who are probably going to watch this later on. So, shout out, shout out to all the, all the teams. Every single one of our teams is, who's played so far, apart from the women, have all made it to the final of A's. So, shout out to all those teams. Let's hope we can get one, we can get one for, get one for the team. Excellent. Well, thanks very much, Sean. Um, I'll let you go now because I know that was one of the most awkward things you've ever had to do. And I uh, appreciate your time. Well, thank you very much.
So I'll go back to in-game. So on the wide-angle lens, we've got the semi-final between the Mavericks B and the Glasgow Stags. Rambo is about to come back on live. I am, uh, Nick and uh, Rob even, and we will put the rosters up for a laugh. Why not? Look at this uh, Mavs B roster. Do you want to talk through it? Uh, yeah, um, the Mavs B, very good. That is uh, that <laughs> very <laughs> Your overall... Uh, Overall analysis, Mavs B, very good. Uh, this Hunt guy, he's very good. Um, uh, and we've got, a, even in down to the third line, you've got Pilcher, he's a solid player. David Astle in defence from Madison Wright, who I don't see. I don't know if she's uh, been lost to us today. Oh, no, is she on the bench? I have no idea. Right, oh, no, that's her now. So, the Stags roster, we'll just quickly get that up, the away roster. Same as last time, obviously, because teams haven't added any players. Um, Ryan Ritchie's still not here, so uh, just a 10, just a 10. Um, and uh, 77 viewers on, so a big shout out to everyone that's joining us. And we'll press that, and we should have pressed the away roster away. Um, and we've got 25 minutes of big tilt here in the battle for changing room one. <laughs> I love how you were able to uh, put the scorebook and look to the main camera, Rambo. Look at those skills you've got in your fingers. I know. Nick highlight, let's see what that does. Look, oh, highlight of the team going the wrench. Look at that. That sums you up, McKinnon, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. Stags versus Mavs. Oh, Barrett's going to drop this, the world's loudest referee. And it's a face-off here. Ready, go, Barrett. You can hear him. If you can hear him in the live stream, then it's, don't turn your volume down. That is just how loud he is. That does not count as a shot at all. I'm not giving it. From the front. It's Mavs team very quick. Here's Hunt. First game of the day as well for the Mavs. Oh, big save from Matthew Gibb, who's a little bit slow to get up there. I hope he's OK. Um, oh. Battle here along the in the danger zone, as it's called. I feel like this game's already started off with a high intensity feel. Oh, this is for all the bananas, apart from the final game, which is for more bananas. Um, and the Stags, of course, give a banana out to the player, the hard working player of the game. Um, but you didn't know that little fact, Totem. I didn't know that fact. Yeah, no, no, I give out chocolate bars, uh, which is custom to me. And I saw that you had to change your chocolate bar in um, yeah, we did a political statement the other day. We did change our chocolate bar. Uh, we no longer support Nestle um, for all the things they've done. Anyway, this is some excellent cycle play from the Mavs. Oh, and that chance almost in front of Bait. I wish he was left handed. Um, actually, yeah, he, uh, left handed. Come in. Play back. It's hard work by Hemlin. That Mavs second line, uh, sorry, Stag's second line out now. They've managed to change despite that pressure. Sanino, he'll flip it out. Hemlin, Hemlin's got Harrison. Oh, Hemlin tries to wheel past him. Harrison was ducking low. Hemlin gets out of the way. The old Madison right now. Another one that's played a lot of minutes today. Albeit, this is the first. Mavs B game as they played the finished their group last night. So here's Fleming. Fleming inside to Hamlin. Hamlin to Pre Oh, it goes behind to Preston. That's ripped round. Ellis. Cooper. Cooper will step inside. Good back check from Matt Preston. He goes for the change. This is definitely the highest intensity game we've had all weekend um, in this tour. And it's, oh, and that's a great stick lift there by Ellis as Aiken, and we know he's got a good wrister. It's that icing, that icing's not been called there. Oh yeah, because it was a stag fight. Oh, and Santelli drops. Chance, shot. Good save, Matthew Gibb. Shot's currently 2-0 in favour of the Mavericks. Agreed. Pass round by Neil Aiken, Nick there. Even his, sorry, even Rob's uh, agreed is more intense now. I'm being joined by Nick Ivel, I think, um, who's bringing in cakes or something. Um, Santelli, now picked up by Oliver Ebdy, who passes it. Oh, that's missed by Caddis. Caddis Asto tries to get it out. Oliver Ebdy. And 
Oliver Ebdy will go back behind. He's got Dealey that's harassing him, but picks up Sanino. Oh, bad geometry there. Matthew Gibble let that bounce off his pad. Sam, Sammy Cowan what picks nice, it up. What a nice Gip, guy Gib is, by the way. I met, I met him earlier for the first time. Oh, he's a great guy, isn't he? He was great on the interview. He, he had no idea who I was, but... Um, Did you not see your Rambo sidekick? Uh, no. <laughs> I ain't no. I ain't no Robin. Unless you're talking about Batman and Superman. I'm Batman. Oh, no, I would want to be Batman. Batbo. Batbo. <laughs> I'm Batbo. No, we're not bringing that <laughs> yes. back. Yes, Batbo's back. Batbo. Oh, there's Hunt. Batbo is back, baby. You're back checked by Sammy Cowan. Sanino. Sanino finds Preston. Preston. Looking for a way out. Oh, that is not a great place to do that. Oh, oh, oh that almost worked out very well for Brothwell. And that's taking a weird bounce. Now it's Harrison. Harrison, the danger. Oh, and that's a five-hole goal from Harrison. And that's 1-0 to the Mavs B. And, Matt, if you're playing the Mavs, be careful what you wish for, because that is some goal. So, um, shot count currently 4-0 to zero in favour of the uh, Mavs. Stags have had their chances, but just not managed to find the target yet. Got on net. That's wide. Caddis, Caddis, Harrison. Back to the point, it's Astle, shot, wide. That goal was by uh, Harry Harrison. Harry Harrison was his name. Yep, Harry, Harry Harrison from Ashton Johnson. Yeah. Hunt, oh, big save there by Gibb. Astle's not playing bad for someone who wanted to go home. Hunt, 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 out to Astle. Astle, I'm not entirely sure what Astle was doing there. Can he stick not bend around his body? I don't have no idea. Um, out to Astle, shoots a wrister. Nice, oh, Whoa, nice wrister there. That's off the off the post. It's uh, currently five nil in shots. The stags are being. You would suggest that the stags are on the ropes. They are on the ropes right now. Yeah, you too, man. That's Mel off. Oh, chance from Ebdy, maybe. I think that's at the end of his shift. He's just trying to get himself off the ice. He can't now. He's, he's, trying, to, he's trying to get his line mates off the ice. That's an unselfish play. I think he needs to get himself off now, though, because he's, yeah. oh, he's, like, he's still not going to have the chance. I still. Well, that is awesome. That's a too many penalty. This might be a great chance for the Stags now to get finally get some offense. Zach G says, Mav Z. Saying they're a snooze fest. I mean, they're a pretty, pretty good team, I have to say. And Isaac Cox says, Give us a big up, Rambo, and I will do it. Hello, Isaac. Too many players on the ice for the Mavericks. Oh, and that's a face off win, but was it? Well done, Sammy Cowan, reading that shot. Oh, and that's poked away. I see the Stags now, have, they've rocked out with Sanino and uh, Cowan on D here, two of their bigger shooters. Chance across from Hemlin, Hemlin shot, oh, and that's wide at the post there. Sanino, shot. No, I'm, I'm speaking to Andrew. Uh, Cowan, Cowan, battle on the wall. Cowan picks it up. Great battling from Cowan, but that's good penalty killing there from the Mavs. That's wasted valuable time on this penalty kill. And now comes Hemlin. Hemlin finds Preston. Preston, he'll step inside. He shoots. Oh, first save, first of the Mavs goalie. Second chance, third chance. They're taking away at it. Oh, and the whistle's perhaps premature, but that'll bring the shot count to 5 3 um, in favour of the got, Mavericks. Got a replay of that, Rambo? Yep, a little replay of this scramble here. I think the ref was probably right, although that possibly... And I've got... Uh, where is Philippa Wheeler when she's away? Oh, right, OK. I was going to ask a ref question there, but anyway. Um, Karras, empty trying to get the shot. Fleming passes to Santelli. Santelli flips off the wall. Santelli. Santelli steps in. Good back check. She 
has getting harassed and getting no calls there. Ebdy, Ebdy, shoots it. Oh, Ebdy with a great shot from the point there. Reese's car has gone missing in the car park. Reese's car's car has went missing in the, uh, the car park, folks. The license plate is NE14ABG. I don't know if that's, um, I, I don't think that's a joke, so. Uh, Mavericks back to the Full spread. Could you not do that in both headsets, please, Nick? Uh, yeah, Rob, that was everyone. an accident, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for anyone in the live stream that's, if they were listening. If that was second, head, second only to the brown noise. Yeah. <laughs> if that was, if any headphone users out there, we apologise at your loss of, uh, of hearing there. Um, chance, shot, good save. Shot's now six to four. on. Astle up the wall to Brothwell. Cowan. Cowan loses it. Harrison. Great save, Matthew Gibb. Good recovery there. A few times the Stags have been their own worst enemy in this end. Chester. Chester back up the wall. It's got Cowan. Cowan. Puts it in front. Matthew Preston. And that's a great save again. Shots now 6-5. to five. Agreed. Shout out to Lauren Mitchell, who's watching. Um, oh, Harry Harrison. Harry Harrison. Oh, great back check by Sammy Cowan. Could be the player of the hour right now. That's back round behind. Sonino. Cowan, nice crossover. I would have definitely collided with uh, them there. There's not enough room for me and another individual to cross pass behind there. Um, the wall. I still don't get the, the, the license plate. Do you get this license plate? Am I, or am I missing something here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it? I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I still don't get it. Do you know what? I don't get it. Uh, no, I get oh, it. Oh, oh, crunch. Oh, that, to be fair. I think uh, we might be getting the clock stop there. Ashley Johnson is down, and he is not moving a lot. Turn the camera away. Just hope that he's okay for a second. He's, that was a big play behind the net. And, uh, so David Astle's getting an abuse of an official penalty there. Just gonna, um, it was just a 50-50 battle. It looked like he just... Well, all joking and fun aside, folks, um, it's good to see Johnson back on his feet. That was a nasty collision. I don't think there was any malice in it. It was a battle for the puck, and I think it was quite awkward. The refs have seen it as a battle for the puck. Down. I, I don't know, I presume the Mavs have got a lot of support staff on there, so I presume they've got someone who's going to check on them. Um, we might not see Johnson again for this weekend after that hit um, along the wall. It's not really a hit, Nick, I don't think. Uh, I think it was a collision. I, it wasn't a check, but... Um, can, can you now explain this joke to me while we're waiting? Because I, I don't understand it. You might want to do it off, cam off the feed. <laughs> Rambo's been enlightened. I've been, I've been enlightened and I also would have said, that's, I ruined it because I said Eddie 14, didn't I? Anyway. <laughs> I love that you ruined that though. <laughs> so, um, Stags on the power play. Oh, and 
that's that goes wide there and we're back into action here and this game will get intense or this game is intense and it will continue to be intense I have no doubt oh and that's a butt end save from the goaltender there this is the most the, the Mavs goal he's been made to work this weekend shot away from Elliot Hunt Oh, and that's it. We need to have a bit more communication there from the Stags, perhaps. Santelli. Santelli. So just to clarify, Reese Clark has not lost his car. <laughs> really? Um, why Rambo? I realised this was now a joke, but anyway. Preston. Preston. Did oh. Simon Hopkins inform you of that? Mega. That was a joke. Oof. Ooh, well that was a, that was a bit hot That was a bit, of a, a bit of a risky manoeuvre there. And here's Aitken, Aitken. Aitken. Over. Chopping carrots a little bit too much there. Caddis on it. Oh, and that's great read in front by Harry Harrison. Doing it at both ends for the Mavericks B. Cowan, Cowan, Cowan. Pings it. Oof, great save. I don't, think you, I don't think you put Stags. enough into that. Stags now. Uh, oh, that could have. I think that was perhaps. That's one way. Sold a little bit. That's one way to clear the crease. Yeah, I think he just had his stick there, he skied over it. I don't think he can do much about that. San Nino! Oh, what was a sneaky little round the corner play? Empty keeps it in, does well. Caris gets it in. Empty, empty. Off the side of the cage. Aitken. Shots are currently 7 6 in favour of the Stags now. Stags have had more shots on goal. And that's icing now. He cannot skate back like that or they'll not call it. Like that. Yep. Oh. Johnson's back on, so he must be okay. That's another great save from the goalie. We're going to have to find a way to move this goalie. Oh no, it's a breakaway chance now. Hooper, coming the other way. Chance. Snared by Matt Gibb. And Johnson's back off again. Ellis shoots, big block by Hemlin. Right, Madison right. Hemlin, Hemlin, nice hands. Good strength as well by Hemlin. Can't find Preston though. Astor flips it. Hooper. Hooper to Chester. Come in. Hemlin. Rothwell. Tied up there. People being abused in this game. Um, the wall finds Preston. Preston. A penalty called on Jack Chester, who'll go to the box. Some people cheering for, I think they're cheering for the Mavs or the Stats. I have no idea who they're cheering for over there. But. That's flipped out of the zone there by Ryan Fleming. Down into the corner, the goalie goes and sort of loses in the wet patch. Oh, and Caddis almost got a lucky one there. But now Ashley Johnson coming the other way. Ashley Johnson. 
Handles, handles. Passes it. It goes to Harrison. Harrison. Dumps it. Rims it round. Sinino. Sinino trying to bank it and beat Astle. Sinino. Harrison and Astle battling for it. Harris. Bad, bad angle shot there. And angles wide. Very good, Zach G. Very good. I got that one. That was obvious. So as the top clock takes down, we've got less than nine minutes left. Emlyn, back to Bradley Santelli. Oh, that, that was definitely a penalty. Yep. I think Brothwell knows that was a penalty because he's not complaining as he goes back to the box. Or maybe he is, I have no idea. Minutes for tripping there. So, I was kind of hoping this would be a game without penalty shots. So, hoping the stags equalise. I'm not going to lie. And it goes to penalty shots, and then I don't care. Back it comes to Santelli. Santelli shoots right off the body of Hunt. Hunt, phenomenal player for this uh, Mavs B team. Smart, and look at this smart play though, although they're only essentially killing the four and four element of this. Madison Wright looks to build up ice. Oh, nice play to Harrison. Another danger, danger player. Hunt, Hunt. Oh, that could have almost been a penalty against uh, against the Stags there because Hunt was uh, definitely impeded on the way past. Harrison, Harrison has got Hunt somewhere. He'll be looking for Hunt. There's that Loughborough connection I've been told so much about from the people on the live stream. Um, push, put forward, Hunt. Hemlin, Hemlin, Hemlin. Emlyn and Hunt, and Hunt would maybe be aggrieved by that because there was a little bit of a hold there. And Jack Chester. Okay, this has been an excellent game so far. Oh, and Matthew Preston can't get the target there. Chester coming in now. Preston. Pilcher blows a tire in the middle of there. Nice. Hard working play from David Astle. He's taking himself a little bit out of position. Ebdy. Ebdy. He's only got the bad angle shot. There's nobody there though for Ebdy. And Ryan Fleming can't keep that one in. Caris. Caris can't get a hold of it. And goes across to Aitken. Aitken. Aitken's got Fleming. Fleming shoots it. Oh, and Ebdy pokes it wide there. Shooting Gallery. Oh, another. What a phenomenal save from the Nottingham goaltender. There's a, there's a, a Nottingham player covering that there, I think, but I think it's outside the crease. Oh, the referee is putting Johnson out of the game. I think that was a, was that a match penalty for kicking. That was a match penalty for kicking. A match penalty. I didn't. I don't think the camera caught it. But a match penalty for kicking from uh, for Ashley Johnson. So there'll be a five minute penalty. I think we're gonna have to get this set up here on the clock because it yeah, takes I a reset. Yeah, just the clock so we sort it all out. Five minutes on the clock now. This means that this power play is basically the whole rest of the game for the Stags. And the Mavs cannot recover their player even if the Stags score. So, if the, if the Stags are going to do this, then the, this is the best chance they're going to get. Um, but the uh, the Mavs are a feisty team and they've got some great players out there who can penalty kill, no doubt. Nashram down and here's Madison Wright. Madison Wright, she'll just dump it down, and that'll start off the penalty kill. Now, of course, for the first three minutes almost of the penalty kill, 
it will be um, running clock. So the Mavs. Pass across. Now the Mavs will also lose Ashley Johnson for, it, for the final um, game of the tournament because a match carries that. So that's dumped down nicely. There's no icing. That, that could favour the Mavs in a way um, because all they need to do is get the puck and, and get it out of the zone. Ashley San, sorry, Bradley Santelli uh, will come one way. She'll come the other. She takes a shot on, scooped by the Nottingham goalie. Current shots, I believe, are 10 to 7 in favour of the Stags. Out it comes. And Ryan Fleming back there. He's got Dealey chasing him hard. And Dealey not given any any quarter whatsoever there. Great forecheck. Aitken back to Ebdy. Ebdy does the right thing. He just fires it off the wall into the deep area. There's a bit of space there. Chancey tries to slot or thread the needle with a pass. Great. Great defence in the middle. I think that was a goal he got a piece of that. Sanino. Up it goes. Poked forward by Neil Aitken. It's a forecheck. Harry Harrison rifles it off the wall and they make sure. Or no, they don't. But it's back to Harrison and he will just slap it down the ice. And the Stags will have to come from deep once again. FD. Empty, nice reverse to Matthew Preston. Great poke check from Harry Harrison. Harry Harrison is the player of this game for the Mavs. There's no doubt about it. And he will slap it down the ice once again. He's scored the goal. He's blocked shots. He's made plenty of defensive plays. He's definitely the player of the game. And Hemlin. Hemlin now. Hemlin. What speed from Hemlin. 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 Oh. Oh. And that'll, that'll tick a few seconds off while the refs reset the net. Santelli comes on. She's got Sammy Cowan. With her in D. And we've got the Hemlin Chester Preston line. Here, two minutes to go. Chester. 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 Oh, he fans on that one a little bit. Goes round behind to Harry Harrison. Santelli gets kind of blocked by Killick there as she goes past the referee. But Cowan, great back check by him. Cowan have an absolute phenomenal tournament. Uh, shots and great. That's a great pass. Hemlin, Hemlin, Hemlin. Astle. Astle che slows him down though, and that's one of the, the best things you can just do. Santelli. Santelli needs to make sure that goes through. But David Astle, excellent play by Astle. And then it's fired down nice, and Cowan picks it up. Hooper, there's a stick in the face there. I'm not sure the refs have said there's nothing wrong with that. And now Bradley Santelli comes in and presses him. The puck's away. Cowan, looking ahead. Cowan finds Preston. Preston finds Hemlin. Hemlin kicks it forward. He can't get hold of it. We're coming down to the final minute of this game. Lemon to Sunino. Sunino. It's got... Sinino's got a head of steam. Sinino! Sinino! Oh! Oh, that offside call right on point. And I think that had went in the back, hit the back bar. I'm not entirely sure if that would have been a goal had it not been offside. Sounded like it was the back bar. But, yeah, definitely an offside call on the play. Oh, uh, yeah, well, the offside was called. There's no, no denying that. And uh, the stacks now... Maybe thinking about pulling their goalie here as this is knockout hockey. Didn't do it in the group game, but now is surely the chance. Well, not the chance, the time. They need to get deep in the zone. That might do it, though. I think that was the Mavs that fired that out. So Hemlin, Chester and Preston will come out. 46 seconds left. Face off at the blue line of the Stags. It's a warning. That, no, no, you don't. You don't change over now. You don't. You don't change over now. That's 
Hamlin. Santelli. Hero earlier on. Can she do it again? Santelli. Reverse. Gibby's off. Oh, Stags have got six on. Six on four. Preston. Poked away. Down to 30. Blocked by Hunt. Shot down nice. They'll have to come from deep and they'll have to skate hard to get it. Back up the ice. They've only got 20 seconds left. It's all to go for here. That pass to Preston. Back to Chester. Chester now. Chester. 10 seconds. 12 seconds. Hemlin. Hemlin. Preston. What a block by Madison Wright. Hemlin. Can they get it in front? Can they get the chance away? Oh, and the clock dies. What a game that was. That had everything. It had big collisions, had plenty of chances. It had a lot of stupidity. And uh, that's game, folks. What a game that was. It was breathtaking and arguably had the quality of a final game. That was incredible stuff. Well done to Stags, though. In the first tournament, every team coming here and making some noise. Nothing you can be disappointed about as a team. So I'll just take a deep, uh, a deep breath for a minute, folks, and calm down as we've got another semi-final right around the corner um, with the Manchester Metro Stars um, against the uh, Sheffield Bears um, C team. Metro Stars B, of course. The Mavs goalie, who is like the biggest player I've ever seen in my life, apart from Sean Monkhouse, is uh, now going to be the one who does the penalty box. Uh, Phil Eddie Fox will give him his due, walking over. Uh, to do the penalty box for the last game. Um, and that's, uh, that's all she wrote, folks, for, for the Stags of this weekend. But what a, what a tournament they've had as debutants. And uh, well done to the Mavs in the end. They had to fight off that five-minute power play uh, to the Stags at the end there. And they did it absolutely phenomenally well. Um, well done to uh, Will Fry and almost getting me um, to say something rude on the live stream. Um, also, um, Rob, but don't want to alarm you, but the scoreboard still says not on versus stags. It's not not no versus Stags anymore. It's Bears versus Metros. Metros in the navy, navy blue, shooting left to right. With the Bears shooting the other way, and here's Solosi. Solosi gets it back. Get out. Bell comes round to Tom McDonald. Leaves it. Richard Wang. Oh, pushed away by McDonald. Round it goes. Chance for Sheffield. Nice play. Carrot. That hero from earlier on that got them through the quarters. It must be tough for the Metro Stars. They've played one game today and then had a, a five hour break. Here comes Bell, Bell, Bell. Wang, oh, can it. Blocked in front from Bradley. Up to Cramp, Charlotte Cramp. Solosi goes in for that. Oh, joined by uh, Mary Dobbin. Um, hello, Mary. That was some game, Nick. Um, when you put your headset on, that last game, and now we're trying to catch our breath for this game. Yeah, what a what a great advert for our little sport here. And, uh, as I said, it had everything. It had a nice goal, it had great goaltending, and it had some stupidity. Yeah, everything that comes with hockey. <laughs> no big shot. Just pushes that to the side. Just 
to you. Whoa, 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 that was close. They did well there. Rob Young, though, he, he almost fencing with him at the end, and then he was right behind there. Tom McDonald. Battle of two really good goaltenders here. Yeah. It's going to be hard to pick just two net, uh, netminders in this, uh, just this pick tournament. The, pick the ball. I, I don't think we should do that again. It was funny the first time. But I'm not about it being funny. I'm talking about it being well earned in both instances. I think uh, for McDonald, certainly, he, uh, he's earned it. The Mavs Beagle, they finally had something to do there. Fletcher. Back the wall. Like Leckwin. Leckin? Whoa. Oh, well played by Leckin to keep his feet there. Hughes, though. Um, that was close, but it's deemed offside. Oh, he's calling a, There's a penalty being oh, called. Oh, he's called the trip. He has called the trip. And he will go for a trip to the box. It's number 45, Ackerley. This is indeed the semi-finals of the plate. And then after the nice cut, we will have the final of the Vaz. Sa uh, Bradley, Bradley shoots. Oh, <laughs> Nick Winters watches that one. Thankfully, going to his glove, and that's the first shot of the game, folks. Uh, one nil on shots to the Metros. I think that's probably going over the net. I think it was dipping enough that we can credit that. Well, I'm fed up with these dipping shots today. There's a lot of dippers, isn't there? It's like the old lob in football. Well, good hustle on the four check. And goal, goal he's out to play anyway. Ooh. Tom McDonald is, I don't know if he's a great skater, he's just so large that he gets back in the net quick. He's got a long leg. He is incredibly tall. Oh, nice move, oh, here we go. Hughes. Springer Hughes. Oh, oh, that was sort of, sort of fought off by Winters there. You know it's going to be, the other team is going to be tough to beat when Winters is coming, don't you? Mm-hmm. Two nil on shots. Comes up. I think Rob's getting this more discreetly now. Two nil on shots, Rob. You got that? He's got it. He's got it. Back it goes. Run up by Nick Winters. I think Ryan Rathbone's been here, but he's been playing like World of Warcraft for like the five, last five hours. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he's just been playing World of Warcraft for like the last five hours. Shot! Oh, that's right. That's another shot and another oh. save. It's 3 0 now. Springer, that, they, I mean, they shouted out. That might be an all the way -er. Team McKinnon being very kind there. I think that was, yeah, that was very kind. Rambo. Sorry about that. We don't need audible sound effects. What did I call it? Somebody's correct corrected me, World of Warcraft. And it also does really not need to be a 4D experience, <laughs> so that better not be uh, <laughs> what's coming up next. Oh! Good save. Oh, well, look at that pushing this over. Oh, Springer. Springer's getting in all the tussles now. Got a little replay of that. A little replay of the Springer tussle. Like a coiled spring. That's what you call them, all meat and no potatoes. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one, all meat and no potatoes. <laughs> Shit, I still feel fine, not like that. <laughs> 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 yeah, we want steak and sausage pie. We're <laughs> 
Or just steak pie. <laughs> really, just just a steak pie. It's a normal steak pie, like normal humans eat. Well, the world's <laughs> with mashed potato. You know, you know what I've got. You know, I've got a whole potato. You know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to stick it in this pie. Oh, big save winners there. Well, we always know that, like, to be fair, there's always going to be jacket potatoes. You know, you have to wonder where the jacket potatoes go that don't get used. I think mm. we know where the answer is. <laughs> in the pie. Everything's, good. Everything's better with pie. Okay. I don't want it. Oh! <laughs> currently shots currently 4 to 1 in favour of the, the Mavs. Oh. Agreed. Didn't, didn't. Why is Bond bin boy? What's what's Ign Ignico Fernandez Curvo? I'm sure I've ruined that. Who is Bond? Back Chance. to the point, Hendrik. Wang. Hendrik can't beat Wang. Can he not? No. Really? Does he need some assistance? Not on a, su <laughs> not on a Sunday this day. Anyway. Uh, Zane. Kane even, not Zane. Kane. There's a lot of stutter steps going on. Angle down. Chop, Kane. chop, 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 chop. Bradley. Oh, shot. Oh, 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 swing and a miss. Right, that's a new highlight reel. Of what? I don't know. And that guy aches after that one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, comedy names. Wang up the wall. Stopped by Carberry Power. Oh, sneaky. Oh, just talk to each other. Headman pass. Oh, kept in. Oh. So the uh, full first line restored. Uh, Solosi obviously getting a bit uh, long in the tooth to play all day. So um, he was actually coaching the game on the other on the other pad, and uh, obviously didn't make it back in time for. Oh, um, okay, I was going with the long in the tooth, really. You, but anyway, great save, Tom McDonald. Sometimes the truth hurts. Yeah. And sometimes the truth is factual. Shots now four to two. Depends which news outlet you listen to. Matt Springer, to. he's chasing Charlotte O'Brien. O'Brien off the wall. Nice little. First play by O'Brien. Not sure who this guy is. But anyway, here's Carrot. Carrot! Oh, hello! Oh, Carrot! Where's that been? Oh, oh great save, Tom McDonald. I, I'm going to say this really quietly, but like, Carrot's had a pretty good tournament. I know. Right. Oh, he's getting a roughing penalty, though, for afterwards. So. Why are you being off? I mean, he's went back to just being Carrot again after that. Have you ever noticed that the ones who played the longest are the biggest nuggets when they get penalties? Have you always ever noticed how square his shoulder pads are? Do you get carrot nuggets? Because I just saw one. <laughs> that was more like cabbage. So it's uh, uh, four to three on shots at the moment, Nick. Yeah. Oh. Show all. Show all. Show all shot. Show all the money. Fired. Oh, it's over his shoulder! Oh, no, no, no! Waved. Waved. No, no, no. We've got the back cam on that there, folks. Do -do -do. Just, we've not seen the, Do -do. the full shot, but we get the... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> no. Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him chilling on the goal. Well, oh. it's not as if it was an important <laughs> replay or anything. Oh, dear. So it's uh, currently four all-in shots now. The point. Oh, a flipper. I could go anywhere. That's the first time that McDonald's looked remotely shaky. Bradley. So forward.
Sing going the other way. Wang. Wang. I'll tell you. Farmer. To Ingledown. Next, you're not on comms anymore. I don't know why you didn't press your button. Round it goes. Carberry Power. I heard uh, if Carberry, Carberry Power was a Tesla, engine, uh, Tesla, he would have the best Carberry Power. Um, and that's an ice in it. So are you signing off now, Nick? Uh, you know what? I think I will. Um, if, if everybody's all right with that, I'll go check with the other guys. But... Um, Long drive, work tomorrow, dog to pick up, things I mean, to do. I can commentate on my own, but I do like having you here. I know you do. I, I could try and ring in from the car, but I don't think Joe's fully got that kind of... No, no, I think he might lose our temper. Although we are going to speak to Joe about a potential phoning interview, but I will speak to him later about a that. A phoning interview? Yeah, from, uh, from somewhere. Um, somewhere? Possible famous person. Famous person? Yeah. Pa Hendick. Was that Nendik? I I'm trying to get this. Can, right. you, can you not just ring? Oh, Max Springer! Can you not just ring Max Springer from wherever you are? But anyway, Fine. thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you again next week. Yep. Here's. See you next week, Nick. Thank you to Nick. And now Springer! 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 Slower than a week in the jail there with that breakout chance. Right, so I'm going to move over to Nick's seat because it's comfier and it's near the middle. Um, and I can put the live chat on at the same time. Um, so hold on, folks. So I'm back on Nick's and the, the Nick's side. Um, puck played out. Chance Fletcher. Rims it round. Hughes will pick that one up. Oh, nice play by Shalossi. Here comes Shalossi. Shalossi. Oh, what a save, Tom McDonald. I love it when I can hear Rambo having a drink. It's great. Sorry, everyone. It's Bieri on rear clock. Kane. Kane. Through the zones. Kane. Kane. Taken by Shalossi. Safe. Shots at the moment. Currently 6-4 to four in favour of Sheffield now. Shot. 7-4 to four in favour of Sheffield now. Keeping Rob on his toes over here. Kane. I got it. Farmer? Oh, Farmer. But the confirmation's always nice and gratefully received. Pass in front, Shalossi. Here comes Charlotte Cramp, of course. Shalossi, a Netflix celebrity, having appeared on Zero Chill, and that's a shot on goal for Nick Winter, so that'll be 7 5. Pass up, Farmer. Farmer. Farmer, knocks it in the corner. Here's Wang, Wang, the wall. Look to there. This game slowly ticking away. Down to below nine minutes to go. Shoal, Shoal, Shoal. It's a cross ice. Wang will pick it up. Wang. Shoal comes here in the cross. Now Springer Hughes is after it. Not really sure what happened then. 
there was a messed up icing call because uh, Sheffield were winning the race. Oh. So they're going to the middle of the ice. Mrs. McKinnon will not be happy that Mr. McKinnon did that. No, no, he's going to get his dish slapped later. Back it goes. Pass from Bell. Cross ice. Wang will pick up. Wang. Oh, Wang, Wang. Michelle. That's the audible noise of uh, Joey opening the cake box. You can hear in the background, but it's also the audible noise of Joe, which is really relieving for everyone involved. Um, and that is that is another blown icing call. This time, are they going to notice? That should be middle ice, because the <laughs> both wheelers, uh, sorry, both McKinnon's blown an icing call there, but this time they don't correct the mistake. It's because she's showing him who's boss. Yep, yep, they know, oh. they noticed, yeah. Oh, that was brilliant. Bell. Bell. Chance. Oh, it squeaked through. Keep the puck. McDonald's not conceded one all weekend. Bell. Bell ends the streak of McDonald. What, what a goal there from Bell. So the Metro's now got to find a goal to get back in this. Can they beat Nick Winters? Are we going to have the Bears see make the fight? Oh! Shot count currently in favour of the Bears, 96, 97, sorry, um, at the moment. But McDonald's been flawless this weekend, apart from that one. Ailsa Williams now. Chance could poke away from McDonald. That was the 10 shot on him. Lekin. Oof. Cramp. Wonder how much skating she's got left in those legs. It's been a long weekend for her. Up the wall. I think there's something to be said, Rambo, about having a five or six hour gate between games. Oh yeah, I think that, well, speaking of cramp, I mean, that's going to happen. Um, Rob Young here, he's the sco he scored an absolute scorcher in the group games yesterday. Oh, that is not the place you want to give the puck away. Tom McDonald, though, equal to the task. Still Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald, desperation stuff. In front, poked away by Lekin. Shalossi blocked by Rob Young. Hit away. Out it goes, thank goodness, for the, from the Metro's point of view. The Bears firmly in control now. Here's Springer. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, 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 dear. That is a too many player penalty. And that'll take away at least two minutes of attacking time, you would think, for the Metro's. Um, considering the shots are now uh, 12 to 7 in favour of the Bears, um, You've got to think that they're not going to generate much offence on the penalty kill. What a, what a goal. Badly. Nice. Wang. Wang. See you later. That's Nick away, everyone. Safe journey up the road, Nick. Here's, oh, 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 oh. Hughes blows a tyre there in a tyre change, or a wheel change if it's a train, I suppose. Can trains blow tyres, wheels? Who knows? Uh, Hughes, chopping carrots. Kids at home, don't overhandle the puck. Um, now Wang will chase back for it. He's got key on it. And that was offside. Kane, 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 oh, 
is he going to generate a chance here? Cramp, Cramp fires it off the side of the net. Oh, and <laughs> there's a stick in her took. Elsa Williams sticks in Charlotte Cramp's skate, <laughs> and they both have a bit of a chuckle about it. <laughs> Uh, Thomas Horner, that's um, for me to know and uh, you, you to find out. Bradley, off the wall. Bell. Bradley. Bradley now. Oh, Bradley. Fires it. Bell. Elsa Williams. Fires it in front. Carberry Power was there, but couldn't get on the end of it. Keane. 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 And Cramp now passes it back to Keane. Keane. Steps inside. Keane. Get back to Cramp. Nice. Teamwork makes dream work there. That's kept in the zone. Bell's got it now. Bell off the wall. Can't be collected. And now Carrot. Now Carrot. What can he do with it? Good poke check by Lekin. Bradley. Lekin. To Springer. Of the Max Springer fame. Oh. Now that would have been a Nationals redemption story there. Lekin misses it. Down to the final minute now. We're just just pat, we're just getting entering the final minute now. Lehman. Nice play by Springer Hughes. Skating as fast as he can. Nendick rims it round. Acres. Oh. McDonald's out the net. McDonald's out the net. This might be all she wrote, folks. Shot. Lekin blocks it. Rimmed. It's desperation stuff from the Metros now. Because that, that goalie switch there, that came at a bad time. Hughes, Hughes going to get it back in. Hughes kicks it forward. Kane, Kane, Kane. No, Springer Hughes. Oh, almost, almost a fairy tale. And Key, Key, Key. Bad angle shot. He may have helped them have the Metros. Lehman. Only got a few seconds left. He needs to pass it. They need to think quick. They need to get a shot off. Hughes, Lekin. And that's it. The Bears C will enter the final against the Mavs B. And the final's going to be the who's who of who cares, folks. Um, but it'll be good fun anyway. Um, yeah, so the uh, that's the end for the um, the Manchester Metro Stars who've been a, a delight this weekend with Tom McDonald in goal. I think he's probably a first ballot All Star player. Um, Max Springer will probably put in the fourth line even if we don't have one just for fun. Um, and uh, the Bears um, deadly when it mattered there from Bell. Uh, excellent finish, excellent goaltending all round in that game to keep it so close. I think the final shot count was 16 to 8 there, Rob. Rob's final shot, 16 8. Yeah, yeah, final shots were 16 8. 16 8 in favour of the Bears there. Um, but a good, a good semi final, and we're going to have the, the Bears C against the Mavs B for the final of the plate. Um, but before that, we're going to have the Vaz final, um, which will be. Um, I've, 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 it's been that long since they decided the teams in that one. It will be the Leeds B team against the Spitfires B team. So a, a north-south battle to start us off in the Vaz. Um, excellent stuff, folks. Um, we'll see you in a break. We're going to have the we're going to have the uh, Zamboni now.
So everyone, welcome to the final. So welcome to the plate, f uh, sorry, VAS final here between Leeds Griffins B, the Yorkshire team and Southampton Spitfires. Good battle in front from Jonas, the hero of the last game for the Leeds B team. Let's put it around behind, Bell. Oh, Murphy can't keep it in. Cleary had a chance here. <laughs> Cleary, Cleary doing well without a stick now. This guy does everything. He's got a massive fan base on the... Uh on the good old YouTube. Yep. You alright, Ryan? Are you one on the you want on the you want on the commentary? No. I thought we were I gonna know, is your mum co commentating? Do you want it you want to commentate, Bum? That'd be awesome. Isla, please go on. Yeah, go on for a minute. We're gonna get Bum oh, on. Come on, this would be brilliant. <laughs> put your headphones put the headset on you. Put the headset on you. No, oh, right. Well that's too big for you, unfortunately. Right, put that there. Welcome right. to the live stream. Welcome to the live stream, I agree. Welcome to everyone that's here this evening and stayed with us all day. You know, for someone that's normally like fully just, just, just verbal noise, um, that was quite, quite timid, Mum. You all right? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> She's totally petrified. This is hilarious. I don't think I've ever seen her like this before. I can't tell if she's laughing or crying. <laughs> Oh my! If you were up here, you would see the entertainment value of this. Uh, clearly, it's uh, <laughs> it's not great for an audio show. Um, so, how have you enjoyed the weekend? Well, I uh, mostly enjoyed the Steel Queens winner. Right. So there you are. That's but the only I can reason just, I'm here. I think that's oh. a fair comment. That, that's, that's a good save from the Southampton. It shots one to nil. Uh, Rob. Agreed. Agreed. Thanks. Um, so uh, yeah, mum. <laughs> By the way, for everyone that is listening at home, Mum is teetotal. She doesn't drink, um, so she's not steaming. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll keep you a minute or two, Mum. So, uh, why have you enjoyed the, the afternoon? You've been spending time with the Kings. You got given a heart, I think. Yes, they gave me a heart, and I will definitely and sincerely mean this. Treasure it for the rest of my life because it was such a nice thing to do. Look so at this replay with animation. And, and that replay was animation, was it? That's a great back check though by Gallimore, isn't it? We've talked about Gallimore at length this weekend. Right, um, Mum, do you want to sign off? Because you sound like you might not be enjoying this very much. I think maybe I'll just let you grab it on a load of rubbish for the rest of the night. So. <laughs> Is that what he's done for his entire life? Yeah. Well, basically, yes. Since he could speak. Some, uh, Mary Dobbins, on, before you go off, well, Mary Dobbins on here, uh, wishing you, saying uh, that she misses you and she loves you. Um, we've got Lewis saying, let's go Mrs. Ramble, Mum. <laughs> and uh, Don Car Carberry Power, mother of, uh, I can't remember his first name, Mr. Carberry Power, um, has said she thinks she should keep commentating, she thinks she'd be good. Oh, well, maybe I'll practice more and we'll be very good. A bit Come. like my son. I don't know if I'm very good, to be fair, but... <laughs> I just throw stuff at the wall and hope that it sticks. Um, well, you've been doing that for a long time as well. <laughs> Getting rinsed here. <laughs> right, so we've got Julian Chance of uh, Grob um, and Millie Clark. Let's go Griffins, let's go uh, Spitfires. Somebody, uh, Cleary is getting a lot of love on the, on the, on the live chat. Here's Cleary, the, the aforementioned Cleary. Of course, there will be a swimming pool in that corner, as there has been for every final today. Um, chance for Postal. Good save from Woods. You, you all right? You still with us? <laughs> yeah, I'm still, still here. Alistair, Alexander Grob saying this. Patrick, see. I, I, well, because it says Don Carberry Power, so I assumed that you were his mum. Maybe you're his sister. I don't know. Um, up put in the corner, kill it, kill it. offside's off, here's Jonas, jo as I say, that is a very difficult place, that I, ice is so wet here, it's a, a definite Yorkshire thing with the resurfacing ice, wouldn't you say mum? Yeah, I would say that, yeah. yeah, although it's much better than a lot of other places I've been in, I'm um, not going to name them either. <laughs> well, all the other Yorkshire places we've been in. <laughs> 
So, so there's only three. We've not been to Hull, so that narrows it down, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly does. Bradford might be the only place where ice got progressively better during the game rather than worse. Lovely part of the world, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Just in case there's anybody here from Bradford. There, there's nobody here from Bradford. But Leeds is nice. Well, it's awful then. <laughs> An animation. <laughs> well, sorry for if there is actually anyone listening from Bradford, um, but I think your only experience of Bradford is the ice rink, though, and the weather spoon. So, and the hotel that wasn't in Bradford, it was outside Bradford, so. Hey, uh, Hustler. James Williams is asked, which team are you supporting in this game? Who's playing? <laughs> the Spitfires and the Griffins. Um, I'll go Leeds. Oh, controversial. James Williams will not be happy. This has been quite a tight affair, cagey affair so far. Neither team broke, breaking the deadlock, but both got a couple of game breakers. And here's Bell, who set up the the first the first goal for Leeds earlier. That's a great block by Animation. And it comes to Baker. Baker. We've talked a lot about him and how he's been a consistent performer at every Nationals he's been at. Back to Cleary. Cleary, excellent move, Cleary. I think he was r winding up for that slap shot there. That's round behind. Bell, oh Cleary wins it. Rubbed along the wall there, Cleary. Cleary out to Baker, Baker! Great shot by Woods. Sorry, saved by Woods, great shot by Baker. James Williams is not happy. Charlotte says you're a woman of culture. Rory Butcher says Rambo's mum is the best mum. Yes. Rory the Butcher is on the line. Um, it's a bit quiet. I'm quiet or, uh, or, the, or the volume in general. I could turn the volume up a little smidgy. It's always quiet at the, the final sometimes of these things because people go home um, on the Sunday because... Uh, for some reason, hotels charge us astronomical prices when the Crucible was on at the same time. Who'd have thunk it? Um, that's out there. Collins goes back for it. He's got Murphy if he wants to pass it back. And this is uh, it's down to it's halfway through the first period. And the teams didn't switch <laughs> the start of the game. Oh no. Um, so, um, yeah, that we got wrong, um, but never mind. At least the home and chance and away chance buttons are working right then. Yep, yep. So, so far, uh, I've got the shots as, as 3 2 to Spitfires. Is that what you got? Uh, yep, that's what I've got. Yep. Shot. I've now got it as 4 2 in favour of the Spitfires. <laughs> hey, Rob, did you get that? I do. 4 2. Monkish, great play by Hustler there. Cleary, Cleary. Cleary has really impressed me this weekend. Excellent player. Nice little reverse there. Using his body there. See that shield in the puck, kids at home? If there's any kids watching at 10 p.m. on a Sunday. Uh, well, don't, don't let on, because um, your parents don't know. Jonas! Jonas! Oh, why did he take a shot from there? He had no one in front of him. Oh, dear. But he had a clear shot. I know, but he could have done a move or something. Anyway, that's uh, 40 on shots now. Maybe, uh, he maybe he doesn't have moves, though. Not like you, Rambo. And there's a penalty coming. I love the way that this ref does, does hooking. It's really elaborate. Like watch, watch the elbow action, if you can see this in the live. Essie, make sure you get this at ref here. Listen out for him as well on the live stream. You might hear him. Hey, watch, watch this hooking. Watch this. See that there, folks. Let's see that again. Look, watch. 
see that elbow action there, folks. You just don't see that nowadays. Largely because it's overly dramatic and not required, but um, still. <laughs> in front of him, but he decides to take himself. Leads collapsing in front. Murphy, what a play, and then a double collision there. I think I missed that. Sepke. Oh, let's see that again. Watch this collision first. Oh no, it's a, a blown tire there. And then Sepke, top bag. Jamaica. Jamaica, that finish, Mum. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it's for some reason Leeds have only got three players on the ice. Um, yeah. People from Yorkshire maybe don't have enough fingers to count <laughs> too many. Well, I don't know. I have a clue. What a finish that was from the Leeds Griffins. Is this an omen? Could this be a Yorkshire night? Well, it is a Yorkshire night, but could this be Yorkshire's night? Yeah, I don't know if you uh, were listening earlier, Rambo, but uh, Sheffield was described as the Hawaii of Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't even want to know how, how to describe Sheffield. I'm not going to try. Oh, what a save by Woods there. We'll see that again. Look at this glove action here. Might have been going wide there, but... Uh, no, no, it was wired for the top corner. I don't Leeds remember. Oh, no. Shot count now uh, currently 5-4 to four in favour of um, the Spitfires. Agreed. Agreed. Animation. Good little interplay there in front. Gallon Moore. And we're winding down this period. There's now, remember, there's two periods in the finals. Animation. It's 10 stuff here. Here is Pashier. Oh, Muir! Oh, Callum Muir there. That uh, was not the best uh, attempt. Oh, and a great save by the goaltend. Jonas in front. Callum Muir. Broken up. Gallimore and Murphy. Murphy now. See, he's changed his grip in short covers, obviously because it's a final for the Hollywoodness of it all. Muir, oh, that's poke checked away. Postal. Postal. Oh, he's put away from the baker. He's missed the baker and he's near the butcher there as he passes that one. Jonas. And that's uh, covered up by the goaltender there, and we've got a, got a replay there. Kicked forward. Hello. Are you all right? Yeah, nice to see you, man. That's uh, Richard Waring is leaving the house after an excellent run from the Metros on the back of some great goaltending as well. Murphy, oh, swing and a miss. And here comes Cleary, Cleary. Oh, he had Baker, Baker, shot, flips, flips, Woods. Well, that was, uh, that was... Uh, Check out the replay. That was a great replay of... Uh, well, well, that was a shot and goal, at least, uh, Rob. Did you put that one on? I did. What are we up to in shots now, Rob? Six I got 6-4, or you said 6-5? I'm saying it's 6-5, because Spitfires have had a shot since we last update. All right. On the Monkhouse, oh, the chance here for Pashier. Monkhouse in the middle. Pashier, oh, and he shoots, and it's now 6 all. there, yeah, Rob, uh, just to clarify. Um, it's rimmed down, Pashier. It comes out in front. Who's Hustler? Here's Gallimore. Gallimore. Gallimore steps up, shoots. Rister, oh, that hits something in front. Cleary. Cleary. But I would agree with that. Uh, uh, 
sweetie. <laughs> Rory the Butcher suggested a drinking game for every time I say Cleary you've got to take a drink. I, I think people would need liver transplants after this game. And that is the end of the period. 1-0 um, to the Griffins. Is that you finished? Right, mum's, mum, you've got to sign off. You've got to say, you got to say a few words good night, goodbye. Good night and God around. bless. And I need to cover anyone that's an atheist or anything. So, you know. <laughs> Right, I'm signing off now, and uh, I'll leave you with my son, Rambo, who can continue with his interviews with anybody else that happens to be here. I don't see anybody at the moment, but... but you've got to say, this is the warden signing off when you, when you, before you press that red button. Then. The warden? Right, and as the Steel Queens often call me, yes, I am the warden, and I am signing off. <laughs> Well, that <laughs> I, I enjoyed that. It was a lovely little uh, cameo that, for that, us. Uh, that was the most awkward I've ever seen my mum in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, are you on the stream? I am right now. All oh, yeah. right, okay. Well, you can kind of say things. Yeah, but I'm not. You're like, you're, like, you're like me sometimes. You have nothing to say, so you just say things as well. Yeah. So, yeah. That happens. But it depends who I'm on the stream with. Like, I found before in a, a Metro's game when I was on with, uh, with McKinnon, and it was, you know, the return of Matt Grant, and we just didn't talk about the game. At all, mm. and then Springer scored. James Williams says, "Night, Rambles, Mum. He's obviously forgiven you for saying you were supporting Leeds." Um, Don Carberry says, "Rambo, your mum is amazing." Um, or indeed, every time he says Gallimore. So there's two there's two drinking games on the go here. Every time I say Cleary, or every time I say Gallimore, people are people are going to take a drink. I think now at home. I know what game you can play here, Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> So let's see Leeds with their Cleary and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not even the right team in there. No, it's not. <laughs> but it's about you said it, so everybody at home get a drink in. <laughs> Only 30 seconds remaining of this period break. Yeah, the uh, the Griffins seem to have uh, got a bit premature with their uh, their chant there. Were there any uh, were there any standout plays for you in that first period, Rambo? Well, I think, uh, well, Sepke's finish stood out for me, yes. but I think the, the, the key to this game really is can you unlock Woods? Um, and no is the answer to that, because Woods are like big forestry areas that you can walk through, so you don't need to unlock them. <laughs> a, yeah, you make an interesting point there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to that time of night, hasn't Andy, it? Andy, what have you put in this tea? <laughs> <laughs> Shoots it on, Spitfire's goalie there. Pokes it away. Chance for Murphy! Oh, big shot there from Murphy. Animation. Very even final. If this finishes in regulation, it's going to be very interesting to celebrate because the goal is at the wrong end. I know, I know. It's that the one team goes to commiserate and they all just collide with each other in the <laughs> yeah. middle in some kind of foray. You never know, Gallimore and Cleary might bump into each other. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Collins, Collins. Nice move by Collins, beats one. Nice back check there. Chance for Moore, broken up. Here's Baker, Baker. Now, Jonas doesn't keep his own, he puts it back in. The ref's got his hand up, four offside. It's waved now, Postel finds Baker. That was close to being offside there. Jonas, shot, and that's it all the way from Barrett. Lewis says, good night, Rambles mum. Thank you. Keep this chatter up on the live stream. It's, uh, it gets lonely up here um, at times, and we like to hear from you. It's not really lonely. I know, I know. We just like you to think you were on your own on the uh, on the chat. Oops, I pressed the call button again. It's yeah, really that, was, that, was, that was horrid, uh, Rob. Absolutely horrid in my ears. I don't know if anyone in the live stream heard that, but it was horrid. Here's Hustler. Passes it to Cleary. Everyone's at home having a wee, having a wee two fingers from the drink. Muir. Callum Muir. Oh, good back check there. Up it comes. Sestra. Sestra tries to beat one. Now Cleary will back up, he's got 
Mason open, chooses to spin back round. Oh! I've got that, I've got that. Excellent. Rickard hands, clearly stick there. Oh. Well. It's one of those times where we want an offside or an yeah. icing quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big save. Oh, no! We got the goal instead, unfortunately. And there we go, it's 2-0 to Leeds now, and this is gonna be a long way back. A nice rebound, tucking in the trash there. There might be pictures on live streams, but there ain't no pictures on score sheets. What a finish there. Which, I've never been to Gosport. Is anyone else? Uh, I've heard it's not nice. I quite like Whitley Bay. There's something, there's character. It has character. Postal flips it. It's Murphy. Monkhouse plays it back in his own. Baker is forward. Murphy will collect. Oh, and that's uh, offside there. <laughs> Assist to Gallup. Oh, people are just making me see it on the last night. People clearly want to get drunk this uh, Sunday night. It's next week, this Easter Monday, folks. You cannot be nursing no hangover tomorrow. What is going on here? This uh, Southampton player lining up at the wrong side of Monkhouse. The ref didn't see it because I think she was eclipsed by Monkhouse, uh, which is uh, fair to say for most of the people <laughs> in the uh, the BIG. And now what are we getting a whistle for? Is that another offside? Icing. Off for Jonas here. Tries to win it back. Baker. Postal. Animation. Look at that pace. Stick lift. Chance. Almost. Almost. No one's there. Chapman knocks it in. But here comes Collins the other way. And it's oh, and that's it. It's 3 0. And the Yorkshire fans going mental. the butcher saying oh I went into this characterful pub in Glasgow remember That's did you get what the uh, who scored that because he, he read three numbers that were not on the that not on my screen uh, hold on a second we'll wait until the uh, you got the right a uh, jerseys up yeah yeah uh, we'll wait till the next stop um, and then um, we will uh, we'll hopefully there will be a stop that's not a goal and we can get a replay of it I um, also can hear myself through the headset commentating on this game because you've got the noise up on your pad. Oh, right. <laughs> Clear it. Clear it. Folk absolutely steaming right now. Oh! What a goal that was from Cleary. Finish your drink, folks. Finish your drink. What a shot that was. What a wrister. Oh, man. The Woods branch just not extending far enough there. And that's broken the deadlock for a uh, broken the, uh, moved the goose egg. Well, that was number 55 unassisted, Nick, uh, Rob. I can tell you that for nothing. Yeah, I got that one. Yep. Clear, yeah? No, yeah, clear, yeah. I accidentally deleted his name off the little uh, off the announcement before I announced it. I don't remember his first name. Sorry, everybody in the arena. So there are hundreds and hundreds of people here. The units of fans. I think we're doing well uh, for dress as a blue seat night, aren't we, uh, Rob? I mean, it's been a, a common theme this weekend, and I think people are really doing it down to a T. Now, I've currently got shots, uh, Rob, as 13 to 9 in favour of Leeds. Is that what you've got? It is now. Right. You've got who's got my commentary up really loud somewhere else, or is somebody watching? No, this is Andy Miller watching his uh, performance, um, not in Sheffield, but in Sheffield all day. 
Is that just because he enjoys looking at his own face? I think he's double checking his calls. Andy, I can assure you most of them are wrong. <laughs> oh, fighting talk from Cam Rayner there. When, I, when the question was posed, is there anything Cleary can't do? He said the one thing he can't do is, li is lift the Vs <laughs> or the Vaz in this tournament. Um, but there's time yet. There's seven and a half to go. Hustler, Rickard. Cohen. 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 Shot. Good glove there from the Spitfires goalie. Seven minutes to go. So to play for for Spitfires can't hold anything back here. He's clearly nice little reverse. Nice one move. He's got Murphy to beat. Cleary steps in. He's got Postle inside. He tries to throw it through, but there's too many Leeds bodies in the way. Sepke scored that first goal. Murphy flips it. Murphy. He's got Jonas. Ooh. Tantalisingly close for Jonas. And in a team full of big units, Jonas is a perhaps almost the biggest of the units. Um, perhaps only second to the Monkhouse. I mean, would you uh, class them as like, you see two units or three? <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting point. I, I have no idea. That was a lovely reverse there along the wall. Well, that's flipped out. Sestra, maybe a little bit too far away. Stopped in front. Sestra now can clear the zone. Oh, nice move. Throws the D off uh, balance a little bit, then it's flipped up the wall. And they'll chase in. It's collected, though, by Leeds. Oh, animation. Couldn't go on the end of it, and now Bell. Bell coming the other way. Bell flips it. Across it goes, Gallimore will pick it up. Everyone at home now having a little sip of the brewski. Gallimore. Oh, and that's offside there. Offside. Killick calling offside. The butcher just uh, spinning, you can't win the vase in that time. Chapman is going on an adventure here um, and will finally go off. So the ref's dropped the puck. Chance for Postal. He's trying to find animation in the middle. Finds Cleary. Cleary. Oh, nice move. Cleary. Oh. I think Cleary might make the All-Star team. I'm not. I don't want to give too much away right now, but I, I, it's a possibility um, distinctly. <laughs> I don't think I'll forget his name either, like I sometimes do with people. Um, off it goes to Baker. Baker shot. Oh, and that was was away from the bench. And we've got Andy Miller here, who I presume is going to be doing the uh, the presentations of the player of the game beers and the and the vase. Um, or is it going to be? Uh, Joel, it needs to be our committee member. Here's animation. Oh, nice play by Murphy, great D. Oh, big save by Woods there. Time is uh, slowly ticking away here. Just um, still got three minutes and 30 seconds left of the game. Still time for the uh, Spitfires to get back into this game. I, um, Lewis, I, I'm not entirely sure what the script is with that, um, but maybe if you could email in after Nationals, there's obviously a lot going on at the moment and we can see what, what can be done about that. I'm not sure. I'll try and ask the question when I get a chance to. Um, yep, three minutes to go now, folks. 
few minutes. Chapman, Chapman, finds Sestra, Sestra, battling to progress the puck. Good battle, Sestra, Sestra, nice manoeuvre. Sestra. Good block there by Ellen Gallimore. Oh, it's broken up. Oh, dear. Hustler falls. Baker, are the Spitfires considering pulling the goaltender here? And here's Hustler. He had Rickard there, an easy pass, but chose not to make it. Animation gives it back. Hustler. Oh, there's a chance for Leeds coming the other way now. Nice play by Baker. That was definitely offside, but the refs have not called it. Um, Baker. Baker flips it. It'll go to Cleary. Flipped out of the zone. Rickard goes back for it. Rickard, Rickard passes to Postel, Postel stops, pass across to Animation, Animation, looking up there, Animation, far right, um, the, the All-Stars is our team of the tournament, um, although we went a bit mad with the first one because the goalies, we were also impressed with all the goalies that we gave every one of them a place in the All-Star team. Rory Butcher, I think, was the starting centre. Um, Cleary. The goalie's, uh, the goalie's now realise these bench is screaming for him. As, oh, this is some time to do it. That was almost an illegal substitution. And this is why we have them swap round, because that was so far away from the other side. Here's Cleary. Cleary. Oh, a bit of hacking and whacking by Collins here. Short in front. Animation. Animation can be deadly from there. Not this occasion. Postal, Postal, oh, Postal flips that one by there. Shot on. Muir just needs to make sure. Pressed at this level, actually, I have to say, of the, uh, the players that are realising that shooting on goal is not the best trick. Let's get it out. Cleary. Bell. Beats everyone. And... The, Baker shoots. Oh, and it's all over. But the crying. Late final. So, um, Rob, are you doing announcements for this? I guess I am doing the announcements for uh, the player okay. of the game. Yeah. Oh, well. Hold on, I'm going off stream here to tell you the player of the game because uh, before you do them, I want them to be a surprise. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. So, we'll get the player of the game presentations. I'm going to stand up here because I, oh, stand up for a wee bit because, uh, uh, oh. You need to get that uh, circulation going again. Wobbling about here. It's like a lava lamp upstairs. <laughs> so, um, if anyone wants to take a selfie in their drunken state after that th th second period when you started playing the drinking game. What do you have as a final shot count there, Rob? I had nine and thirteen, but I think it was more than that. It was definitely fifteen to twelve. <laughs> Got to be distracted. <laughs> I was so engrossed in the play. It was a great game, excellent game. I really enjoyed that. Um. Um, and Mum pointed out that she supported Leeds and they won. 
I would say, yeah, well played to Southampton. Only having a short bench and they did really well. Um, All right, Rambo, I'm about to do the player of the game. OK, player of the game, see if there's any surprises here. It was Matthew Clay. Surprise, surprise. Two points for anyone that guessed. Drink. Ryan Sepke there, play of the game for Leeds. You know, it's a, it's a smart tactic, though. Here they come, the presentation trophy. It looks an awful lot like the trophy we gave out for the women's nationals earlier on. But that's the vase for Murphy. And that's good. So, folks, we'll take a short break, but just um, just saying there, it's a, it's a good a good job by Southampton. They're very clever as well. Get to the final, you got a short bench, double beers. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's yeah, fair. They, they're 18 pack, nine, eight skaters, one goalie, two beers each. Winner, winner. Yeah. Queens, 17 skaters, two goalies. Somebody didn't get a beer. So Wonder who's to blame for that. <laughs> Do you, I don't even know if you get 20 packs anymore. I don't know even if that's an option. Let's be honest, we're not going to get like, you can get 20 pack in glass bottles, but we're not getting glass bottles if Andy's handed oh, them out. That is very true. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he didn't want to go do this presentation. I was waiting for Joe to come running out and then go, oh, look, watch Andy fall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, well, on that note, I'm signing off, Rambo. I believe there's going to be a nice cup before, before the next final. There will be a nice cup before the next final. I may even have a wee chat with Ryan Rathbone. He's been up here lurking about, and you can tell me all about World of Warcrafts after this. <laughs> Thanks, folks. So everyone, um, before we get to the final um, game of the weekend, um, I'm joined by um, Biachi legend, um, lookalikey for the Penguin out of Gotham, um, Ryan Rathbone. How are you doing, Ryan? Yeah, not bad, Rambo. Not bad yourself? I'm, I'm okay, yeah. It's been a long, long two weekends. Um, and uh, yeah, so we've got um, one game left. What, have you enjoyed the hockey so far today? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been somewhat exciting. There's been some interesting games, a couple of shootouts there. So it's not been bad so far. Yeah, and um, no skin in the game for you this time. Essentially, you're here kind of as a neutral. I'm sure your heart still belongs to the Mavs, but um, what's it been like in that sort of different different role and different vibe being here? Uh, it's a lot more relaxed. Not got anything to think about. Not got times to turn up on benches for. It's, it's much better. Cool, cool. And um, 
Um, so obviously uh, you were on your laptop quite a bit earlier. Was that World of Warcraft? What were you doing? Oh, sadly not. Sadly, it was work today. Uh. <laughs> All right. Well, we, we won't go into what you're work, what you're doing for work. But um, yeah, so you, um, you're obviously the head coach of the uh, GBU Women's um, and the, uh, the GBU program head. Um, how's that been getting on? Uh, what challenges have you faced in COVID? That sort of thing. Oh, it's been a it's been an interesting period of time with COVID. Uh, a lot of the international games have, have stopped. A lot of training programs have stopped, as I'm sure everyone can appreciate. And we're sort of going for a bit of a rebuilding phase at the moment. Um, so we've just started back up again now. We've had a couple of camps. Uh, it's been really well attended. We've got quite a new, quite a lot of new faces there involved. So it's good so far getting it back started. Cool, cool. And um, you, you said you've got a few new faces. Any, uh, any. Uh, what was I going to say? Any word on when the next um, the next sort of international competition will be for the GBU teams? Uh, international wise, we're hoping to go to the uh, 2023 University Games Lake Placid, so that's January time, uh, depending on our entry of books. Uh, so that process is starting now, and that's what we're working towards. Okay, and um, next year, obviously, a lot of people are asking about the IES game this year. Didn't didn't quite take off this year, but we'll, something you're hoping to bring back for next year? Yeah, definitely. We'll have it back next year. Yep, yep, definitely. Definitely. Right, okay. Um, so you heard that here, fo uh, heard that here folks. Um, a few folk have asked me about it. Somebody actually asked me if they could send me an application. I could say they might have got in. Um, <laughs> but they're here next year, so they can still get in next year. Um, and uh, yeah, how have you found the IES games as a sort of a training tool for the, for the two teams? Yeah, it's good preparation. It's good to see the guys you know, in a competitive game. Uh, it's good to see the level of players that we've got across the University Leagues as well, bring them all together. It's... It's a nice event and it's a good showcase for university sport. And uh, I think last year, obviously, we couldn't do it because of the, uh, the elite training rules. So we, we ended up having, uh, I think it was Solihull Vixens take on um, the GBU women's, which was it was an interesting dynamic with the, the, some of the full GB players they've got. Yeah, definitely. It was interesting as well taking some of our own players out of the team because uh, they stayed with Solihull to give them a full strength team. Give us some of, our, uh, some of the players that maybe wouldn't have made the team initially. They got the opportunity to then play and showcase themselves, so it was good. Um, it really showed the level in comparison to the main GB team, so the GB University program's there to help people work towards that, we hope. Um, so it was good to see that. Yeah, and um, are you still spitting feathers about that disallowed goal in the game, or the goal that was never seen by the refs? What goal? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Definitely, I mean, it's disappointing when that sort of thing happens, but part of the game. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you feel obviously feel really uncomfortable doing this, because you're swinging about in your chair here, so... Um, and you're, you're media trained as well, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is, I, I'm just not sure what's coming next. This is, uh, it's taken a dot all over the place so far, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's hard to be prepared for this. <laughs> oh, Rambo interviews really are. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, what's up with you, Ryan? Me? Yeah. Not a lot. What's going on in your life? Fairly, fairly steady, busy with work, I'm getting old now, I have to concentrate on things like work and uh, a, lot, a lot less of the fun of playing out of university hockey. I'm in a... Uh, I think next, is it next weekend that we've got the, or a few weekends time, we've got the Nottingham Varsity. Are you going to be watching that? Yeah, I'll make an appearance to watch that. It's been a, well, the first time since I haven't played, so good to go and watch that see how it goes. And what's your what's your predictions for that game? Oh, from what I've heard, there's one very one-sided team, but I can't remember which way it is. <laughs> and who's, who's it? You played, you were a trend, weren't you? Yes. You were Trent, so you had those like... Well, fill. I'm going to guess, actually, Rhys Clark's on the Trent team, so I'm going to guess it's Trent that's still one side of the team. Right, OK, fair enough, fair enough. Well, I'm going to let you sign off um, and get back to, what was it, Pokemon or whatever yeah, you were yeah, doing. Yeah, Pokemon, yeah, today. Yeah, um, and, uh, and thanks for thanks for joining me for a few minutes and, uh, and having a little chin mic. No worries. Cheers.
ladies and gentlemen, a very special, come this way, Max, this side, this side. Very special ma Nationals appearance here. From now, the untainted, the unburnt Max Ringer. Has he, uh, has he seen the video yet, Rambo? I, I've, I had to see the video to believe it. You missed it, didn't you? I well, did, I was. There's a video doing the rounds right now with, uh, with the last, with the miss. Is that the Bradbury one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's also started peddling some merchandise in your name as well. Oh, yeah, he, 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 pro he, he probably owes you some royalties. Like, um, he was like uh, T-shirts that say, "I was, I was there where I, I was there when Max Springer scored his first goal at the Nationals." <laughs> um, unbelievable, Max. How does it feel? Finally, just relief. I'm just because it just preys on my mind every time I was on the ice, and when we obviously it happened in the, our second to last game. And it helped me be focused in that semi-final as well. Um, yeah, it's just nice to get the monkey off the back. It's a relief, and everyone else, everyone was buzzing for him, which was nice. Nah, it's nice, and uh, I, I know we've we've wound you up for years, um, um, but uh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, ironically, shot on a scored on a shot that was going wide. <laughs> yeah. um, but um, it feel, feels good, though, yeah. Yeah, it's just nice. It's, it's nice to it's nice to just get that off my back. It's just. Yeah, it's, it's good, and, I, 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 and now I get to, now the attention won't be on me all the time, and like the rest of the rest of the guys and girls will get a chance to express themselves as well. Trust me, Rob Young got plenty of attention yesterday after that shot. Oh, oh my God, the laser! That was a absolute laser beam. <laughs> um, no, you have got a lot of good players, um, and last week obviously uh, your your C team was was excellent. So, yeah. you know, um, good club. Uh, glad you changed the jerseys from those hideous things you had before. Uh, the bullet holes are great. Stop knocking the bullet holes. Yeah. Um. But uh. Yeah. So um. What you got any predictions for this final? It's tough because oh, we. So I found in the I found it play against the Bears that we had I, we had a bit we had the, I think we had the better of it in the neutral zone, but they had us well pinned when they were in ours and in their zone as well. They've got they've got a lot of good players on D that will be able to shut down some of these Nottingham players and obviously winners in goal. You've got the uh, Mavericks roster on the screen there for you. Mavericks Ross on the screen, so uh, let's have a look at that. I think Max is going to join me in colour here, actually. So um, at least so, that's where he's sitting now. So, um, so I know all about uh, we play we played Mavs B back in February, and Harrison scored six. I think he'll probably be one of the ones to watch. Harry um, Harrison, uh, yeah. I mean, if you're named Harry Harrison, you either got to be pretty good or ironically bad. Right? It is a good name. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get the uh, the Bears roster. They seem to have players that aren't here on the roster, <laughs> but. It's a very large roster. I yeah, mean, we all know about Zalossi. On that one. We all know about Zalossi. Um, he was very good on the boards. He's going to be good in the physical battles. Carrick can score goals. Seen that before. Um, Bell on D as well. He, I think he was the best player in the game that we played against them. Obviously, he, he's the one that's scored past Bombay. So. Oh, they realised the swap ends this time. That's because uh, McKinnon's on the ball. Um, yeah, they did swap ends in the last one. The goalie had to get pulled. So that was... <laughs> It, that happened, it happened in our final um, last week, and uh, Rory the Butcher tried to get off the ice onto our bend. <laughs> <laughs> he yelled him, wrong bend, you're over there. And then he tried to play the puck. Rambo, um, to give you a little heads up, the buttons are now backwards um, for the highlights. I'd also like to point out that this is the uh, first time that a BYHA couple has officiated a final for a second time. That's the first time for the second time? First time for a second time. Well, the, no, well, we have a BH couple, but this is the first time a married couple. Sorry, a married couple have officiated a yep. second final. <laughs> we, we, well, we, we determined that they probably weren't married before um, lockdowns have all started kicked off and nationals were cancelled. So. No, they, 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 anyway. were de they were definitely married before lockdown because well, they got married yeah. in Ottawa. Oh, no, of course. But what we're saying is that we don't think that they were married when they were officiating finals because... You know, besides, they've not done two. Don't take this away from the McKinnons. Big shot from still here. Oh, oh Quince, off. that was uh, that, that shot off Quince makes you wince, actually. That was, oh, that looked painful. He turned his back on that, man. It's going to be a physical game, for sure. Tries to force it to cut it there. Oh, right through the crease. And it's Harrison now. He's got wheels. He is a fast, fast player, isn't he? Very quick. Too, many, Too many players on the Mavs B. Well spotted by McKinnon there. 
It's been a few of those this evening. We got one as well. That's because there's been some terrible changes this evening. That's it. <laughs> it's nothing to do with the referee and picking up on things that they shouldn't be. That's because there's some terrible changes. Uh, somebody's just knocked the door. Ryan, could you tell them that it's not locked? Um, oh, just um, Ali Drury coming back with the the uh, presentation trophy there. Vaz slash plate. The Vaz slash round vase shaped plate. And here comes Hooper. Back to right. She's played a lot of minutes today. Oh, right. Right was incredible in the women's, women's nationals earlier. Hunt open oh, block. Oh, it's just outside. Playing D in this game. I'm really scared. I think Ryan will confirm this in the GBU program. Yeah. We think so. We think so. You would think so. There's a lot of hard workers on this Bears team, though. I mean, if they're, if they're, if they're closing them down in the right areas, then I think they've got a good chance of shutting down some of these maps players. Hope somebody's doing the puck there. Right. Good save by Winters. Juicy First rebound. shot of the match. Juicy rebounds. What it's all about. Hunt. Oh, oh, and that's three shots to nil so far, but wow. Winters looking sharp here, Winters Max. Is a good goalie. And great flow and great pads. Oh, there's, uh, I've just been told, 45, 48, 65, 60, 91 and 92. That's Carrot, there's 92. Last ever Bears game. I mean, Carrot's been there. He's definitely been, been there as long as I've been in, in, in the league. Yeah, yeah, he famously got a, a obscene gestures penalty in a Tier 3 final. The first ever game we commentated on. <laughs> uh, league Star Cup competition as well, I'd just like to say. Sorry? A league style cup competition. Yeah, league style. What did I say? You didn't. Oh, no. I said league. Yeah. Right. Got, got to do the little asterisks there. Sorry, Springer. Yeah. I'll redact my last comment. Yeah, please um, take that as being corrected suitably, any double IHF vultures out there. Um, face off. Chance. Oh, big shot. Big block from Carberry oh, Power. Coach is out of the box now. Coming in. Around it goes. Hunt. He's a good player, Hunt, isn't he? Yeah, Hunt's a solid player. Yeah. Big slap is big slap shots on him. It's Harrison now. Look to Dango. He's he is a quality player, Harrison. Key man in that Stags win earlier on. Um as he uh Scored the goal, it blocked and had an important shot block and an important back check. So, pretty much did everything in that game for them. Here's Hunt. Harrison again. Hunt and Harrison, the Loughborough connection. Farmer, can't get it around. Here's Hunt. Great play on the day. He's right. Under pressure. So, Lossy with a big poke check there. He'll flip it. No, he won't. <laughs> Thought about flipping it though. Has Harrison been off yet? I can imagine the double shit. Oh, like their, their bench is quite short now, actually. Malvin just noticed. Yeah, they seem to have been uh, losing people uh, left, right, and centre today for, for older teams. Got it. And go there. Shot from David Astill. That'll not do it, but here's it's Ben Ward, I believe. Number 65. Oh, nice handling. Chance. Oh, oh. right in the goal. Oh, it's, it's in. in. It's in. It's a goal for the Bears. That went off, off kind of the flap, I think, of the helmet, and somehow, no it's, idea how, it looks like it's sneaks down through his back. And that. Rob not taking his own advice and pressing the wrong replay button there. Um, oh, what? <laughs> Mike Zalossi with the assist on that one. Mike Zalossi, old man Zalossi. Sorry, actually, Kevin McGlynn's got that. Um, Got that wrapped up, the old man. So he's uh, the big man, Solosi, as we know him. It's unbelievable now. Are Sheffield going to park the bus, Max? What would you do here? What's your tactical play now? Well, we said even if, if we were to end up against the Mavs at the punt, you've got to keep 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 the box shape, have a man in the middle putting putting pressure on where he needs to, and just keep it tight. If you can get a, if you can get a breakaway like well, off, off off a puck like that, then you take the chance there, but. I think they're going to be starved for chances, Bears now, and Mavs will be 
I, th I actually think that was possibly the first um, first shot on goal on the maths. I think it might have been. That's what I got. One shot to five. Um, but it only takes that one shot for the Bears to get um, get the lead. I think it's what it does. If, you, if you've got a goalie that's cold, some of them some of them don't like it. Some of them struggle. This goalie, I think, has faced precisely the shots in the Stags game this weekend. <laughs> and possibly one dumping. Um against Kent or something, so he's not. Oh, Winters there, fights that one off. Back to right, now she's got an excellent shot and that gets through. Oh, another rebound and Ellis actually kind of helped them there because uh, pushed that away from the net. Back to right again, Madison right. Oh, it's just that was at the wrong side there. of the net, that one. It's Daly behind the net. Ellis. Ellis. Oh, oh and that's just not in the right place. And Hooper and Wright can't keep it in. Dumped in. Oh, and there's that breath's got his hand there for a penalty now. I believe it's on Mavs. There's a penalty and offside. Oh, it's an offside. Oh no, it's not a penalty, it's a deliberate offside. Oh, is it deliberate offside? Oh, so I saw body contact down by the down by the by the man's bench, and the ref's hand went up. Yeah, yeah. That's see. This is the thing. I'm going to say this so Andy Miller can hear me. This is why Scotland don't do the delivery penalties in a two-man system, because we all thought that was a penalty. Yeah. Is that still now on the right Astle. side? That's a nice shot on another rebound, but Manchester can't get onto it. Winners is uh, is playing his heart out here for them. You have to think the Mavs will get an end of one of these rebounds, but current, current shot count seven to one in favour of the Mavs. Agreed. The Mavs will just rip this one. Oh no, they won't. Brothwell pinches well. Harrison, oh Harrison. what a save! Great block of save there. What a save! Do we get that one queued? I have no idea. I got it. And very patient player. Astle comes through, that flips off people. Hunt. Carberry power off the wall. Astle there. And Ingo Dow chase it down. It's like you were playing a NHL game there and your controller lost battery um, for Astle along the blue line. Here's Hunt. That's a genius move. I'm going to mention that in the live stream in a minute um, when we get a, a break in play. If we ever get a break, it's been breathless stuff. Shalossi tries to find Ailsa Williams, but it's now Hendick. Or ne is it Nendick? I, 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 that was a weak pass in the middle, which will not do much good. And Bell, seasoned campaigner. Good work on the boards there against Harrison. Oh, that's flipped. Bell, Bell against Hooper. Scored that first goal. Whoa, and somebody's down. I think there's a Wait. slash coming. On Bell, I think. Slash on Bell. Right, let's see that save uh, there in the in the meantime. Watch this save. Oh, great blocker save. Blocker save is underrated, I think. Love that. Nick Winters, excellent mover. Lovely flow game as well. You don't see that a lot in the goaltending world. Um, Great idea about the uh, delayed penalties for a two-man system in the US. The refs have one uh, one uh, arm arm banded and one non-arm banded, and they put up the appropriate arm depending if it's offside or a penalty. Anyway, oh, oh, and that's close there. The shots now tick over to ten in favour of the Mavs. And still the oh, number. yeah, I didn't think that was just over the blue line. Still the number that matters is it's one nil on the scoreboard. Yeah, Thomas Horner is spinning that to us. That's quite a good idea, isn't it? Refs have one armband on, one non. And if they're given a delayed penalty, they put the one up on with the armband. So everyone knows if it's a delayed penalty or not. But help the comments. That's, that's, a, that's a simple solution. Yeah, I mean, look how confused we got. Shots, shots 10 to 1. But also imagine how confused the refs would be when they're putting up different arms all the time. Good save again by Winters. Oh, it's not one of those rebounds, but... 
11 1 now in shots. Dragnik, no, she can't keep, not going to come out to keep it in. Have to reset again. Oh, can't be stopped. Chance for Brothwell. Last really flipped the clear there by the Bears, and they're now going for a change in the long change period, and that'll bring in Carberry Power in 1D. Uh, not entirely sure who it was, comes flying over. Great poke check by Lehman. Lehman the demon there with that poke check. Out in front, Asto. That's blocked by someone. Carberry Power there. Oh. A captain's block that one. Right. What a Another block by block. Lehman. It's been a long day for some of the from the female players that were playing earlier in the women's nationals game. No battle on the balls, but Ackley comes away with it. Oh, and there's been a bit of tangle. Hunt. Hunt. Hunt steps in. Oh, oh nice move, but... Hunt. Oh, what, what a, a save. save! What, what a one. save! Amazing Breathless double stuff. save. Breathless stuff. And now a chance the other way for Ingledow. Ingledow. Astor's teaming across. Oh, what and Ingledow wide. shoots it wide. Bears might be calling a change here. Shots 13 to 1 now. What a poke check from Nendick. Quince. Quince and Nendick combining to make sure the zone's clear. Elsa Williams chases after. She's got her Oxford socks on now. Harry Powell's still stuck out there. He's been out there for a long shift. Harry Power has blocked two, made two big shot blocks in this game. And shot blocks we know can be game changers. What a poke check by Harry Harrison. Harry Harrison now. Streaking. What speed. Nice hand. Shot. Oh, Thanks and I'm not sure. Was that a poke check by Quincy? Let's see that chance again in front. Oh, we've got to see that from the back angle. Watch this again. Look at that. Go, go, gadget leg, and then he blocker saves the second chance. He loves chance. the blocker saves. 13 to 1 now uh, on shots. Shalossi. Shalossi. Oh, oh there's a, there's, looks like there's a call. Shalossi, the you're champion of Netflix. I'm not entirely sure how, uh, how Bond can be complaining about that. Kinnan's carefully explaining to him. Well, he's uh, not 007, 77 with a license to trip you up. 45 seconds to go in the period at the moment. I think the Bears would be quite happy to just kill. Oh! oh there's a big oh, this oh my word! Watch this! It's a lossy, and it goes off fast still. It looks like it goes off Astill. I think it goes off 65 here, which is absolutely fine because it doesn't direct it. Is, it is, yeah. Yeah, so. It's off the shoulder. 65 from 27 from 92. One sec. Still catching up. That. Right, go and give me the, the numbers again. Wow. Wow. Did you see this coming? No. I mean, it was, I knew it was, it was definitely going to be a close game. I think a lot, a lot were expecting because Sheffield are a hard working team. But I mean, it just shows. You just got to take advantage of your chances. If you've got a goalie, but if you've got a goalie behind you, making all the saves, you've got to reward him. And they have. Yeah. No. I'm going to say this right out. This goalie from Nottingham isn't bad. But that's, um, that's two shots, two goals. Um, He's so cold, I think, um, he's not faced a lot of traffic. Nick Winters, on the other hand, 13 shots, 13 saves. Um, well, this is what... Um, the scoreboard there briefly showed, <laughs> should have been 4-1 to Nottingham. Um, but it's like um, it, McDonald says to us, he prefers it when he gets a lot of shots on him because it keeps him in the game and it keeps his, it keeps his, head, keeps his head in the game better. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to check with Rob. He's got the same shot count as me, 13-2. 13-2, I do. Yeah. 32, Rob, Rob doing well with the shots over there, Max. That's the, I mean, he's normally like you, normally misses them. <laughs> See, you can laugh that off I can now. laugh now. 
Oh, I'm saying that what, my goal came is, from what this. What is Boffer? Am I missing something? What is Boffer? Just in some news for you, Rambo, we need to congratulate Max Springer because he's one of the first people in a long time from hockey that I've accepted as a Facebook friend. Oh, Ooh. so not only did you score a goal today, but you also um, have made a Facebook friend in Andy Miller. And our scoreboard's going absolutely crazy over there. It is 2-0 to the Bear C. I'm not sure if that needs updated, but it's flashing 4-1 as well, which is... And the minutes are flashing yeah. as well. <laughs> well, then the minutes are the period break. Um... This one. Do you want the cable as well? There you go. So Max trying to check in with his tweeps, I'm sure. Did you see the Bush Springer post yesterday? Yeah, the, the, the Bushwhackers reference. I didn't get that because Pete sent that to me. Did you, did you enjoy that? That was quite good, I thought. <laughs> Very niche, though, for people that uh, don't watch wrestling, I think. Uh, I, watched, I watched wrestling a long time. I used to watch it all the time uh, a few years ago. We were hoping you'd come on the ice and do this thing <laughs> the next game. but Don Carberry Power, the scoreboard needs resetting. Um, so does my heart after that period. Uh, and they're starting with that line that's scoring the goals. Scoreboard on TV is wrong. Yeah. How, how so? Yeah, because shouldn't say one nil. Um. Now it says four one. Yeah, it's definitely two nil, folks. We'll keep you up to speed here. What is Boffa? Is Boffa a person or? Uh, some can somebody explain what Boffa is? I might do a quick Google. Can whoever say do that in my ear? Stop, please. Here's Na Nathaniel Bell. Nathaniel Bell. Shot. Oh, oh good block by Madison right there. Hunt. Hunt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this good stick for Zalossi, and that looks off. Zalossi rolling back the years with that back check. I hope he's okay though. He's went down hard. Carrick clears the zone. Oh, not quite. Still got on the blue. Ooh, it's a cross ice. Good save, Nick Winters. Two double save, and he covers it up. In. 15 shots to two now. I think Ryan Fleming might be steaming on the Stags' first journey home because he's just—I don't—I don't fully understand what he's saying or what he's typing. <laughs> Do you understand what he's typing? I understand. Probably best not said on the live stream. Is it something for the kids these days? Something for the kids. Right, something for the kids. <laughs> Stop oh, and a oh, bit of collision, collision the there. The way. Then Nick dumps in. Do you know some of the some of the bears have different font on their jerseys as well? So I think that there's still some of the old Rhino jerseys, but I think they switched to jersey 53. Quite right. Um, see, I like the rhinos. I, I prefer the rhino jerseys. Ones we, 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 we've worn rhino the think, whole time. I've, I've been at Metro. Yeah, first. there's definitely, yeah, because this guy's got like a different one here, isn't he? Key. Ingle Dow. And the Bears will quite happily just keep f firing the puck in the zone and that's see, that's you know, come at us and we'll, we'll, work as, we'll work as hard as possible to keep you pinned in there. Key. It's a good bit of pressure from the Bears now. They're just, they're just putting it back in the corner. Here comes, Here comes David Astill. Astill. Oh, it's like poetry in motion from Astill. Oh, oh what a save again. Astill now coming round. Astill fires over. I think he might oh, have tired himself. Oh, that oh. got away with one there. Maddie Wright with a big bump along the wall. Carby Power with the block. And Ingle down, fires it out. Hooper. Hooper to right. 
right to Hunt. Hunt. Hunt steps in. Hunt. Oh, Ilsa Williams takes a swing and a miss. Right. Oh! Why is he he's definitely, he's he's definitely happier with the blocker uh, side. That's uh, 15 tune shots. Uh, 16 tune shots now. Tumble here. Oh, and the rest arms up. I think I got the tumble on the replay. Yep. Hey! <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Done it again. <laughs> the, uh, and again here, the Bears will be happy for the clock just to run down here whilst this is taking a while to set up. Oh, the power play. Two minutes for holding given there. Well and I tell you, he wasn't holding them tenderly like any kind of Johnny Cash song. I don't know if Johnny Cash has a holding tenderly song, but I would like to think he does. Some country singer will. Yeah. There's Astor, he pushes it to the side. Solosi! Oh, chance oh, again! Oh, that is the first save for the Mavs goalie. So shots now crank up 16 to 3. Here's Solosi. Shalossi. Back to Ward. Ward. Steps in. Shalossi. Shalossi. There's Ward ahead of him if he wants to play that move. It's not Bell on the point if he wants him. And again, it's just calmness from this line and calmness from Shalossi with those years of experience. Oh, nice little move there. Oh, Shalossi oh, comes. Stick like that. Bell pings it. Oh, oh. that is hand eye coordination of the first order from Harry Harrison there. What a break player. Away. He's got a breakaway now as he rounds Farmer. Chad, right, a, right in the right in the coop in there for Winners and he stays on it. From Zalossi there. 17-3. Zalossi giving everything. Asto, save from Winters. It's now 18 to 3 in shots. But still the scoreboard reads 2-0. I'm not entirely sure what that was a replay of. Oh, that was a kick save. I was just testing, I was pressing the right button as well. Have you got 18 to 3 on the shots there? Correct. Bond. Back up to Maddy Wright. Maddy Wright back to Bond. Bond. Ooh, to Ackerley. Covers up. Ackerley. This means a lot to this Bears team. Everything they've got here. Key. Key fires in front. Oh, chance. Ackerley shoots. That hits someone in front. Ackerley turns now. Shoots again. And that goes wide. Key. What can he do? Key back to the point. Quince. Oh, oh Quince. On it. That was not a good idea. But he manages to recover well. And Key has Showell. I'm not sure exactly what he was trying to do there. Showell. <laughs> that was like he was flipping pancakes. And oh, the right idea there. Like, Quince. There's a lot of it. It's kind of like watching a sort of junior football game here. There's just a lot of crosses, isn't there? Uh, but nobody getting in the mixer for them. Aston plays his own now. Nice in. Nice in there in that. Manny Wright will have to come back out. As we tick down to eight minutes to go. We know how good this match team is. You can't rule them out yet. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And it might just take one to get the belief going, but... The Bears are giving everything they've got. Ilsa Williams, excellent play by her along the walls. Brothwell. Hunt. Finds Dealey. 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 Steps over the blue line. Good little play there by Fletcher. Lehman. Lehman picks it up. No, he does. No, she, no, she doesn't. <laughs> Mary Wright. David Aston. So big block for big block again. There. This Bears team do not care if they go home battered and bruised. They will throw everything at this. As Mary Wright steps in. What a block and it's offside as well. The Carberry Power, even if it wasn't, that would be Carberry Power's third shot block of this game. And in a short game like this, that's a lot. Mama Carberry Power at home will be um, enthralled with her son's performance here. 
Charlotte O'Brien on nice now. Another GBU prospect. Ryan will be eyeing keenly what's going on here. Oh, oh chance. Oh, that was a good chance. kick by Bell there to stop that. Oh, oh no. well, that was a dangerous one. Yeah, that's, that's what it's going to take to beat winners is one of these deflections or a scrappy goal in front of one of the rebounds. Mavs can't overcome. Oh, a nice push away there. That's the 19th shot on him now. Ward. Ward. Flips it around behind. Harrison. Good poke check. Carrot. He'll happily ice that puck. And they're not going to force check that. They'll quite la happily let that be iced. And then Solossi sort of does that half four checking thing. That's a veteran maneuver. He knows it's, knows it's running time. I'm going to go up to the blue line. I'm going to slowly circle back. And then he's going to have a chat to someone about the positioning. I'm going to get back there. Oh, number 65 is going to line up on the wrong side. He's going to make a mistake. And then look at that. And that's what, 20, 30 seconds? Yep, that's 20, like that. 30 seconds. It's also, it's also saving energy. And look at that. There's a chance for Carrot. Carrot now with Chris the game on his stick, potentially. Carrot. Oh, oh my God. Carrot with the Do goal. you believe in miracles? Do you believe in miracles? What a goal! Four shots, three goals for the Bears. Oh my goodness, what a finish. Look at that. There's definitely a partisan crowd in here. <laughs> oh my word. Hero shifts from Carberry Power defensively. Carrot, Ward and Shalossi with the offense. With eliminated oh, offense and then we get that. And it all. Oh, oh, side call. Let's see that again. This sums up how things are going for the Mavs right now. That's, that's how things are going right now. 3 0. Adam. It's Adam Carrot. I've, I've completely lost my beans here. Um, Carrot. With the finish. Adam Carrot, yeah. yeah, it's Adam Carrot. I, I'm, I, He's got to that side with the night, Rambo, I'm forgetting names. Oh, Ackley now. Ackley! He's got key in the middle. Has he got the secret to unlocking him a fourth time? Nendik! Another niche 90s reference there for everyone at home. And oh, and the slips. Keep shooting it. Madison Wright with the unintentional block. This is outrageous stuff. Here's Asto. One of the better Mavs players this weekend, actually. Farmer, shot. Asto. Looks for the... Pilcher, can Pilcher get there? Winters comes out to fire it. Dealey. Yes, Dealey stick. Key. Key's dropped. Oh. <laughs> Bit of shenanigans in the corner there. I think that was just a tangle. Here's Hooper. Hooper fires it in. Ackerley, chance for, oh, that's blocked. Doesn't even get through to Winters that time. The Bears know how big it is. They, they know the Mavs are dangerous. Ingledow here. Oh, he might get that now. Chance for Ingledow. Ch oh, oh, and a glove save. save. Five, fifth shot on the not on a Mavericks goalie. Fifth, sh fifth shot on the Mavericks goalie. We're sorry that Essie forgot to move the camera. We've got the rear view. A lovely replay behind the play. And Harry Harrison now. Harry Harrison and Bell. Look at that back check. Oh, and another that's another great save. save. That'll be the 20th of the match for Nick Winters now. 20 to 5 the shots, but it does not matter. It does not matter to the Bears. Down to three minutes to go. Can't power, power. Shot. Secondary shot. And that'll be the sixth and seventh shots on the Mavs goalie now. It's just more time. The Bears. They, they are happy the for him to cover that. They have absolutely no issue not scoring that there. Watch Ailsa Williams hustle here just to pick up that rebound and actually just make sure essentially that that's going to be covered up. She lost it. Oh, and he tries a quick snapper. Oh, and that's it. He's. he's He's, He's drawn a penalty, an emotional there. penalty from David Astle, who's losing the tatty here. I actually missed lunch, so I lost the baked tatties earlier on, but 
I think from uh, Astle's point of view, this is worse. A lot of frustrated Mavs players out there now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Shot count's currently 20 to 7 in favour of the Mavs. And it's just. It's just some nights are not your night for when you don't get any puck luck in front of the net, but Nick Winters has been. He's essentially. And I hate to coin a phrase and, and, and uh, use Game of Thrones references all the time, but he's essentially. He's essentially the wall back there. You know? He's given given the Bears a chance, and to be fair. Oh, the Bears the Bears the Bears are essentially Castle Black and he's the wall. They've defended him like crazy. Shot! Oh and Harrison there. You do feel for him because he has been something else this tournament. Madison Wright. That's blocked. There. Bears, have they got their lines good? Keeps it in. Winners was happily. Oh, and down to the last, last minute almost. Of course, the Mavs now playing with just four skaters. Shot from Harris. Good Harrison. Save. That's a 21st save for Nick Winters. Chance now. Oh, and Ward can't get by him, but he'll be happy again to see them going backwards. And here comes Wright. Trying to Sheffield again, and they just give it back. And Madison Wright steps in, shot. Blocks. Brothwell. I don't think anyone saw this coming, Max. No. I do not think anyone saw this. That's a bad line change. Is that oh, so? And, and it's a too many penalty anyway. And so look at the chance here. Oh, it is a good save. He will there. not care that they didn't call that penalty because that wasted valuable time. And I think that the Bears, the Bears have done everything here that they can. They've blocked shots. They've Block shots, battled on the boards. Goalie's given them every chance to get the game, and they've sealed the few chances they've managed to, they've managed to make. Another opportunity before on the, uh, in the camera. Yep. This opportunity here is that the, bear, the Mavs players collide, miscommunication, shot, lovely save from the goaltender. Shots 21 to 8, which I think uh, Rob will confirm in a second. And after the, 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 the group game between these two teams, I, I'm not Sheffield surprised. The Bears, the Bears are going mental. Careful you don't hit anyone in the head with a stick. The Bears are going absolutely bananas there. We've got the back cam on for the celebration. Love that, look at that, that's what it means. That is a huge, huge win for Sheffield. We're getting a call up here from the rest. I think it might be an extra penalty. And that is a big, big win. You see what that means to the Bears C team. I know a lot of these Bears players, they're a great bunch. So I'm like, makes me feel a bit, obviously it makes us feel a bit better that we lost to the eventual winners and also, but they are a great bunch, they deserve it. They've done really well all weekend. It was a. It was just that once they got that goal, they just seemed to frustrate the Mavs to the point where they just couldn't couldn't do anything in front of the net. And uh, we'll get the players of the game in a minute. I think we know who it's going to be for the Bears. I think. Uh, I think it's safe to say for the Bears who it's going to be. Carberry Power's mum will be very proud. That was three big shot blocks he had in that game. I'd love to have seen a block count for Sheffield in that game because they would just throw themselves in front of everything. Are you saying it off camera, Rambo, who the players game are? That might be the first truly, 
truly shocking result. Of That's a huge. Thing. It's a big upset. I, I, it's, everyone in this weekend was saying, "Yeah, we might get. We'll see what we get. But if we get Mavs B, then that's where you. Will, that's where the weekend will probably end." But I, I, I'm I'm being honest with you, and I'm, I'm not. You know, obviously, no more of the Stags players. Just having engaged with them more because they're they're nearer to us. But um, I genuinely thought the Stags Mavs B game was the final, um, almost because of just the way they've. The, the, how good the Stags team are and how good this Mavs B team is, but wow, that's why we play the games, right? Yeah, and they, they've been so good. I, I, the bits we caught of the Mavs Stags game was a great game, and this was a really, really fun one to watch. I think Harry Harrison not only deserves it based on that performance, but also just his performance to get them to the final against the Stags. I mean, he was just their main threat the whole time. Yeah, he uh, scored the goal, blocked plenty of shots, back checked like crazy, and he was doing it in that game. <laughs> and winners, I think. Uh, I think everyone saw that coming from the Bears there. I don't think they needed to. I <laughs> think they needed to uh, <laughs> look at that flow. You've got your trophy here. So Carberry Power come over, get his trophy. <laughs> Take it off. Show it from one of the players in there. <laughs> Charlotte O'Brien. I don't know if we got that there. Did we get it? Yes, yes! we did. <laughs> oh. uh, I hope she watches this back because that was funny. <laughs> Very big cheering crowd from uh, from Yorkshire and people from. La What's the deal with people from? Lancashire shouting that. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to question it. I wouldn't be chanting it myself, but no. no. Mind you, there, there seems to be this sort of love affair between the the, the Metro Stars and other people. You still call them Metro Stars? I think it, it officially changed about three years ago, but I think you might be. You, you still call us the Metro Stars, and a few. I, I quite enjoy the Metro Stars as a name. We still have so uh, we have an award at the end of each year for the players sort of contributed the most and like got the extra mile and that is still called the the Metro Star of the Year. Oh, that's pretty cool. But not everyone calls us Metros. It says Metros on the jerseys. So just walk around. Just the name is the Metro metros. Stars. <laughs> it will never officially be changed. <laughs> well, folks, um, we're starting to draw a conclusion to proceedings here. Um, well, I'm going to sign off from my position, so it's been a lovely weekend. Thank you, everybody, for listening. And Th I'll uh, pass you over to the, the main people on the commentary thing. And thanks, thank you very much to everybody who's been in, listening to the whole weekend. Yeah, thanks to the people on the uh, on the live stream that have engaged with us. And uh, thanks to Rob for his help over the course of the weekend. Um, covered him for me this morning. And uh, thanks to Nick for all his help. And Joe for um, just but generally being Joe and being alive. Um, and to uh, Dave Rogers, who's been actually excellent all over the place this Proclaiming weekend. Claiming that he was better than Joe at one point this weekend. Uh, I think that was a bit bold, but let's. I do uh, too as well. Yeah, um, and uh, you know, and thanks to the people who joined us and done camera. AC, who's down there pre presenting the trophy. Um, thanks to Charlotte O'Brien for falling. That was very funny. Um, <laughs> thanks to all the teams. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Here. Thanks to Mama Gray. Thanks to. Uh, Thanks to Ryan Rathbone for an excellent interview and playing World of Warcraft most of the morning. And thanks to Miller for something. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. And, uh, and thanks, to, thanks to everyone. Thanks to you, Max, for sticking, out, sticking around and taking that abuse over the years and finally right. breaking your duct. Thank you for having so me. well done. Cheers. Thanks all. Good night. God bless if you're into that sort of thing. Cheers.